around we're gonna play games until about not 8 30 8 8 8 30 p.m 8 something and then we're gonna do the box box watch party uh and that's gonna be with box box himself we have the top 12 and we're gonna be watching all these people we got kira h howie trish is a birdie legit korea in advance we got like tacticians ironic saber and all of them and then uh kurum appies rain and tea lines that'll be fun to watch we'll be watching that tonight watching that tonight so suko asa yby all in uh the high triple digits we'll see dude these people are all diamond one if i queue up right now i might be able to snipe some of them let's queue up Kurum needs some lp yes he does yes he does i mean regardless of how these people plays this is a good achievement top 12 just look at how stacked the the boot camp is just getting top 10 top 12 is really really good shout out to uh shout out to re replay for uh you know putting on his trial this is the best he's ever done in boot camp i think he's been eliminated a lot uh earlier in boot camps so it looks like he's making top 10. yesterday we got press of man down to zero Andy Andrew ran down to zero. Stunt ran it down. Everyone ran it down yesterday. Except Emily. She didn't even uh she was traveling, I think, for the most part. Alright, so if you guys missed the patch note stuff, we'll uh post this a video tomorrow, I think. Did I miss the patch notes right now? Yeah, you did. We just finished it up. <clears throat> Hi Frodan, I love your TFT Academy website. Do you have plans to make a mobile app for any TFT mobile players like myself? Uh not yet. May maybe down the road. For now, we want to make a good website before we make a good app. I think we don't we don't have enough we don't have enough resources and momentum right now to make it an app, but that's the plan, hopefully. It'd be cool. When's boot camp in like two days? You can you can look it up on mobile, yeah. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. Za USA, Zasa, thank you for the six months, man. Half a year already, my god, my god. <clears throat> uh, yeah, you could you could use it mobile already, but they're talking about like an app, right? Um. Eventually, if if this site continues to do well, maybe we can continue to try to scale it up and see what we could do. But for now, there's two things we want to do with TFT Academy. One, we want to build out this tier list. By the way, we updated this about 24 minutes ago. I, I walked everyone through what uh, changes we made. Uh, we want to build out more reasons for you to click this tab. I have a couple of ideas and we also want to work on the podcast. But that's stuff coming up soon ish. Disopen I, that's right. Disopen I are going to do a, a weekly podcast. Oh. I voted L only because it's such a big patch. Hopefully it turns out fun, but big patches always feel like they have the chance to unintentional swing the meta too hard. Yep, yeah, fair enough. You're, you're more of a small changes kind of person, right? Tactician's crown. Okay. What comp is better with tactician's crowns things that like usually struggle to fit things on like a certain level so if you're like rolling at six but want to go to seven for traits oh heavenly generally does better that makes sense i have a vola bear where's my ink shadow tattoo of vitality you are such hideous creatures so in the spirit of easter if you get offered egg you have to take it sure that means uh but th th that means that you have to hmm. yeah, you, you, you have to give me something what do i get in return you know locks Man, I'm getting more dogged again. My destination is clear. Half of the Titans, half of Hodge. You get the holiday spirit. Great. 
exactly what I wanted. Smurfs, thank you for the tier one. Thanks for supporting the channel, you guys. We got some uh we got some upcoming things I want to talk about with the co stream as well, but that's gonna be about a week or two from now. Not for a while. Duelist crown. Auto boss one for me. Duelists. My God, what is this? I just do this as an item holder. I just level for what? Level for. I can't even level for anything. I can level for a Garen. Oh, actually, isn't should I be doing an Ink Shadow? Fuck. I messed up. Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Just tempo. Just tempo. It's all good. It's all good. Who holds this? Aaron? The ink item is Tattoo of Vitality, which is actually really good. <clears throat> Oh, Volo Bear, the stage two demon. No. Yeah. Waiting the minute TFT overlay. I mean, I use it. Do that with what you will. I uh, I want to play Duelist uh, Yone. Uh, Duelist Yone, I think, is really, really good. The thing is... I could have slammed Death as Heart. Probably Stone Plate makes sense as well. But I kind of want the Titans for Yone as well, so maybe I slam Quicksilver. Quicksilver, Giant Slayer... No, I can't, because it's Duelist, so it's like Titans, Duelist, BT, isn't it? I can play around this and have double components as well in the Carousel. I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to... yeah. When you don't know what else to, to do, just say you're playing around the carousel encounter with double. You're like, oh, why are you not slamming your items? Just be like, oh, I'm playing around carousel. And they, they can't even argue with you. I see why why haven't you done this? Oh, I'm playing around carousel, man. Like, what do you mean? Slam fun on who? Darius, probably. Are we Darius? On me. All right, simmer down, buddy. Simmer down. Down the loon. calls Yone, so I just said same. I don't even know if I'm going to actually commit to it, but he has two-star Yone, so yeah. Oh, I'm so broke. Four cost champions! Oh, God. I just take this lease in. Okay. <clears throat> you are playing Yone Porque. Uh, because you called it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what should I say? What should I say? I don't know. 
Uh, also, also because Duelist Yone is very good. <laughs> Me have five Yone. Cool. Is this guy on like a... Is this like Sub-Zero Arcs team or something like that? SZK? Does Sub-Zero Arc have a pro esports team? Well, now we are committed to Yone. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't have to play Yone. That's the thing. I, I can just play eight duelists. I have to do this to make gold. Uh, sell this extra Kha'Zix. Probably sell it. Probably, probably, probably sell this. Oh, I mean, the, the proper way to play is uh, to go for a duelist ASAP. But uh, griefing Yone sounds funny, too. <clears throat> duelist Udir. I guess. <laughs> is that really one really better than Tristana three? I don't think so. But eight duelists is like enough to top four. The funny thing is you can all squeeze because of fawn. You can all squeeze it in on seven. Oh my. Wait, it's not next patch though. I'll figure it out, you guys. Don't worry. I'll figure it out. Sunfire. Yone. Fuck it. Me, Duelist Yone. <laughs> It's time. Here we go. Um, actually, Sunfire even shot is pretty good, isn't it? Utility wise, put it on uh, put it on Vola Bear. Wait, this guy has Yoni as well? Perfect. Perfect. As long as we all grief this guy's Yone, I don't care, man. We're the best duelist bat users. It's Yone. I'm not even joking. Uh, you guys think you think you guys, this guy thinks I'm memeing, but like just just go ahead and look at Duelist emblem, and look at the best holders. It's Yone. L look at the Delta. Yone is really okay. For it's it's better than that. Trust me. Um, no. Oh, Reaper Crown. <laughs> Radiant Refractor. Oh God. Oh jeez, this is pretty bad. Maybe Radiant GS. Yeah, Radiant GS or something like that. I'm not about to I'm not about to play a three-way contest for Yone. That, that, that's actually just that's actually just bad. Oh, 
I didn't use it. I didn't use it. That's okay. It's because I haven't decided yet what I wanted to do. I think it's Radiant GS. Radiant GS sounds really good on Tristana in particular. Okay, that's a Radiant GS diff. Don't worry. We just need to find uh, six duelists. We need to find Yasuo and Tristana. They're all Yasuo, Tristana, Irelia, Lee Sin, Bola Bear, and then uh, Kiana. Isn't rating even trap really good? What's your source? <clears throat> so I'm pretty sure it's actually one of the uh, worst uh, rating items. <laughs> Dude, what happened there? Did everyone just focus fire the unit? Okay, he was too weak to put in the first row. I suck. 73 HP with this start? I'm terrible. Wait, tactical loss to get the right component? Okay. I don't even know what I want. Completed item. What do I even do with the spatula? Heavenly spat? Oh, maybe, I guess. I mean, IE is really good for Tristana as well. I'm going Bola Bear. <clears throat> Go for a spat for the double crown bug. Yeah. I'll, do, I'll get right on that. The power of a dragon. Um, I already have Sunfire as well. Maybe just like just utility. Just play Tank Volibear and GS. Oh, I don't know actually. Kha'Zix, because I'm only playing this temporarily anyways. Kind of scuffs, but I, I basically have to play my best board and, and try to see if I can get to uh, level 7, preserving as much HP as possible. <clears throat> Eatlin 3, 1 star Senna. Interesting. Hey, not a bad loss. As you wish. Working out with set makes you bigger. Hooray. Three, four, five. I mean, until it, while we have it, right? This guy has two Faded Emblems and a Tactician's Crown. He's one more Faded Crown or Faded Crest off of uh, 10 Faded at 9. He has 7 Faded on 7. What the hell is this? He has 8 Faded. Sorry, 8 Faded on 7. Okay. <clears throat> I 
Maybe the Yone guy is going eighth. If we hit, uh, if we hit just on a two, if we hit just on a two and we hit, uh, all of our two stars, we're actually in a pretty good spot. I think, uh, I think I want damage reduction with the resistances. I think I want Malphite probably. Oh, Yone pair. Unlucky. As you wish. You forgot to bow. Okay. Oh wait, it's the guy. He's one Yone off. Um, what do I do with, I guess I go, I go Runins, Radiant, I don't know actually. Have to roll with this for a while. Best friends, crash dumps, tummies. Probably not best friends. Stationary supports. Heroic grab bag. Stationary support sounds pretty good if I can get like lock or something like that. Zeus is not very good. You might get faded crest. No way, man. Oh, we could salvage bin so we can get it. Oh god. I need combat augments. Oh, unified. Unified's pretty good. Uh, roll for Volibear too. Okay. I need to hit just two. Seventy seven percent win chance. The power of a dragon. Okay. What if I just the hit two least in twos? Diana. What? Can I can I hit a Tristana two though? I would love to do that. I don't think I'm going to get to A for a really long time, so I'm just like playing basically this kind of strategy for a while. Uh, now I kind of feel weird about putting Titans or uh, GS on on the Lee Sin or uh, uh, Tacticians kind of on Lee Sin, but we'll see. Titan or BT. Faded, faded, ghostly, faded. Yone, Yone. Invokers. You forgot to bow. 
Oh. Legends are told in word and deed. We don't have Yasuo? How's that possible? Wait a second. Wait, how is that possible? What? Also, I didn't uh, unite unified resistance. because there's too many faded players that's why dude what a crazy ass game this this game is unreal I'm gonna take out Yone at this point Sana, six duelists. Okay. Bro, I don't know. I'm literally rolling for Lee Sin 3 on 7. I can't, <laughs> I can't find Tristana 2, and I'm going to go for Lee Sin 3. <laughs> what? what is this game? This game is actually ridiculous. Oh, my God, man. Where's Yasuo? Well, there's four faded players in the lobby, so... Kind of impossible to hit. Also, I think I'm going 8. Okay, uh, least in the shop and a duplicator drop. Least in the shop and a duplicator drop. Least in the shop and a duplicator drop. No one's holding a single least in. They're all playing the same tree. They're playing ghostly faded anchored around the same units. No one's playing this least in units. No one. No one. Duplicators. Any duplicators? On a two. I have to roll past that. I need to roll for Yasuo. Where's the Yasuo? Dude, I am so screwed. <clears throat> so the I'm, I'm actually uh I have more than one life I think two lives two HP <clears throat> I might not get eighth. I might not get eighth. Oh, sad. Dude, what a freak game. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. He exists. He lives! I mean, it's way too freaking late. I missed my tempo window, but maybe I can like fight for like a, like a, like a seventh or something. I'm so behind the tempo curve. Dude, this game was like actually so sad. <clears throat> I 
I mean, that game was depressing. Someone legitimately had a Lowey 3, Shen 3, uh, Aatrox 3, and everything like that, and I couldn't even find Tristana 2. I found seven Lee Sins at seven. It was just, uh, yeah. Those Volibear items make me sad. I, I, I don't know what you want me to do, man. Volibear is actually the tank of the composition. I think my spot was actually totally fine. I just, I think I just got screwed. Um, I probably could have like played for better placements, but I don't know. I think it was okay. <clears throat> like if you look at uh eight duelists if you look at du eight duelists and you look at volibear it's like if you play like even shroud redemption it's delta neutral like even shroud like this is totally fine they make you sad like it's it's totally fine like it's exactly what it is do you could I have better items? Yes, but I didn't get the chance to do that. Also, I my 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 prismatics. All right, no, I never mind. Forget it. It's just not worth it. I probably should have just taken hedge fund, radiant refractor. Obviously, I missed the window, but like my spot here was actually really good HP wise. And then I probably should have just rolled on three stage three instead. I probably should have just taken hedge fund. I think that was smarter. Yeah, I should have rolled on three two. My prismatic was like really really bad. That that's where I, I think I made my macro mistake. But it's it's all good. My opener was fine. Prismatic, I mean, Prismatics, I could have also hit, like, a bunch of other things. It's a tiny bit but I could have hit Combat Augments. I didn't hit any of them. My Prismatics were really, really bad. Radiant Refractor was okay, but, uh, pretty bad still. So, I got Prismatic Gap. Run it back, Titician's Crown. Oh, wait, it, it actually tactician's crown. Oh, fortune game on tactician's crown. That sounds really scary. Fortune game. Who's ready? I'm going to take plus one damage per round. That's not good. Oh, no. It's like Lethal Legends. <clears throat> oh, what the? I can't even react. I don't even know if I want to actually play around this. Oh, I'll probably, I'll probably play around Kabuko too. Cut above. Having an item up is pretty good. Learning the spell, heroic grab bag. Um, tattoo of toxin. 
It's probably a cut above then. Oh, nice. That's a big hit. This world needs hope. Whoa, doing the doing the Darth Noob tech. I'm playing Kaisa. I have big duplicator, which makes me think that I should be playing for a four cost. The Kaisa game. That is correct. The Kaisa game. Sivir, Riven, Bard, Chemo, Kaisa plus one. Who am I missing? Another bruiser. Oh, I lost. Why AP? Because it buffs uh it buffs it buffs your 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 units. Gives them AP. And uh you you get to you get to preserve a lot more HP that way. Because late game you don't really care about like the attack speed stuff like that that much. And the shred doesn't really matter with trick shots because you go to the back line. My bard is trapped. Don't do that. Don't do that. <clears throat> Greeted too hard. Greeted too hard. I keep forgetting about that. That's the thing that you have to keep in mind about for sure. Exercise my next units. Um, always do something like this. Two healthy Teemo. That's actually smart because of the Tactician's Crown. Gargantuan Resolve, Bola Bear. <clears throat> oh, Heavenly plus Behemoth. That's pretty good. Everyone has uh, the Teemo start right now. What changed with TFT Academy? Many things. I explained at the beginning of the stream. Maybe uh, just having Morello would be good. Play around this for now and then just have like a decent anti heal source. Okay, so I have this. The interesting, the interesting thing about uh, this version is that you can actually play ink shot with the four bruisers. Because you, because this gives me an extra slot, so I can just play like another ink shot unit. I'll pick in uh, this oh deer, but yeah. Good night, Raptor. Have a good night, ma'am. Sell this, uh, sell this Tom Crunch, probably. First, hit an early Kaisa. Wait a second. Is Kaisa like three way contested? Might be. That's not good. Oh, 
Okay, it's good. Heavenly, Behemoth, Ink Shadow, Faded, Story Weaver. I mean, he's going to eventually go into more Heavenly, right? Duelists. Okay. I mean, it's only one Kaisa player. I think it should be fine. Do I sell Teemo? Possibly. Just to... Actually... Print a gold, print a gold, print a gold and win, print a gold and win, print a gold and win. That's the play. Can we just do that. Print a gold, print a gold. Damn. I'm back for Teemo. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. Hey, Baron, thank you for the prime as well. Thank you, everybody. So I'm going to just try to see if I can play around Riven soon and then maybe a four, uh, maybe a four bruiser opening soon. Belts. Spatula. Ooh. Um. I want this guy actually for Faded. Story Weaver. Oh, this is actually really interesting, huh? Ah, uh, it doesn't. It doesn't. For whatever reason, I just I just feel like I I could play I could play Virgil Story Weaver and play into Irelia, but I I took blue. <laughs> So it's not very good. Also, do I have to roll at 3-2? I think I might have to roll at 3-2 if I do that, because I have to play for uh, Story Weavers. Sorry, it doesn't do anything right now if I say I'm Story Weaver. I only, have, I, I only get three or Story Weavers, so it doesn't do anything. I'm hoping I can print the gold here. Zaj was not able to. Our wills align. Oh, double story weaver crest. Okay, that is interesting now. Let's just do that. Wait, I can play for 10 story weaver at uh, at nine. If I get another Story Weaver plus one. Oh. Oh. Am I actually doing this? Oh my god. This is tech. This is tech. Let's roll a little bit. Emo pair. Riven two. Okay, that's pretty. Oh, I, I have seven Story Weaver. Okay, it can't be that bad. I have seven story weaver on stage on, on stage three. Like, how bad could it really be? How bad could it really be? It's not. It's not that bad. There's no way it's that bad. You're playing pre-buff. I mean, it is what it is. Like, what can I say? Like, it is what it is. Boom! Look at that. Boom! Look at that! Look at that! Okay, this is this is this is looking not so good. I, I might go. I might be going eighth. You guys. <laughs> I might be going eighth. Oh my! Hold on a second. Hold on. What do we have here? What do we have here? Whoa! That was way too close. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. 
I, I, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit people sweating out here. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think this is actually that good, but we'll see. Oh man. Probably go for like, uh, so I have shred. No, I don't have shred. I, I probably go for redemption next. Boom. And what boom, man, this is the game. This is the game. You guys, this is the game. I'm going to, I'm going to hit 10 story weaver this game. I just feel it. I just feel it. No shred of death. Like, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do with this? You, you want to make even shroud for my AP Kale? Yeah, I, 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 this even shroud is kind of useless. And then I get, I hit, uh, I rail eventually. So I have anti armor. So I just, I just make a redemption for Galio. It's quite simple. Man, I'm getting more dark than dead. <clears throat> Stop. What up, Eli Wood? How goes it? 32. The thing is, this could be this could be an EXP based one, so I'm gonna not do it for now. Do we stage four fortune? Shit, you might be cooking. I shouldn't have sold that Teemo then. Okay. I mean, that looked kind of good. This guy's level eight. This guy's level eight with nine units on the board. That, that was that was pretty promising. That was pretty promising. You have to admit, that didn't look that bad. Against melee comps, it's kind of cooking. Uh, defense probably. It's just good for Galio. Defense. Okay. Let me show you darkness. Yeah, this is the patch preview, you guys. This is the patch preview. Patch is out, but not uh, not really. Patches out, but not really. I need to hit another Kale. So Spar Timo. Irelia. Beeson. Oh my god. I just look over it. Kale, Kale, cast again, cast again, cast again. Kale, cast again. Wait, what was that? Dad, nah, no way. That was a bug. That was a bug. What happened? She didn't cast. Oh my god. I got skamaz. What was that? She just literally didn't do anything. Stage seven, play this. Um, I'll reforge one. Oh, stone plate. I'll reforge one of these. Uh, again. Shiv. Nice. Actually, really good.
Okay, you guys are laughing and everything like that, but just like, just wait. Boom! Oh no, she didn't do anything. That's not good. Oh wait, this AoE, this AoE. Yo! Okay. Not bad, not bad. Looking kind of good, looking kind of good. And then all of a sudden, Story Weaver Crown. Who's ready? Story Weaver Crown. Damn. Unify is pretty good. Harmasis. Not Bruiser. Although I could go <laughs> six Bruiser. Nah. Bruiser's not that good enough. Oh, Salvage Bin! Wait, 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 wait. This is the this is this is how I get it. This is how I get it. I'm going for the tuber. I'm going for the tuber. I get 10 story weaver somehow. Who does this go on then? I need the vest. I guess I'll just put it on like Rek'Sai for now or something like that. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. Burr, thank you for the two months. Boom! Man, look at that damage. You guys, is Blue Kale broken? Wow! My god. I like seeing Kabuko on a board. Thank you. Blue Kale can miss. That's a risk I'm just going to have to take. That's just a risk I'm going to have to take. If I hit Galio. I think I just go Galio too, right? Because I'm not going to hit uh, Irelia too. So I basically, I'm not going to use a duplicator for Irelia too for like a really long time. So if I hit Galio pair, it's just Galio too. Also, it might be like Sage. Actually, I'll do this for now. I was thinking Morgana is good if I cut these two, but the four Bruiser is actually anchoring my front line. Like, not, 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 not even joking. This Kobuko is actually a, a key part of the team. Look at that! Look at that Kabuko! He, he lasted for 15 seconds! Okay, why does it look like, uh... I'm getting bodied. Oh. Oh. That was not very good. Maybe I should roll a little bit before going to 9. Galio pair. What do I do with this belt? Warmogs? Oh god. Actually so bad. Okay. It is what it is. Cut these two bruisers and put in some more units for more damage. I need more damage. I thought that was it. I thought that was it. So that's a, that's a that's a good unit to hit. That's a good unit to hit for sure. Can't be mad at that. Um, trick shot. Can't get mad at that. Uh, story weaver here, and then like more mogs. Someone that I can't sell, Emo. Come on, Kale. Oh, wait, she only has two out of three? Oh, she doesn't get in mid fights. Oh, my God. That's a. 
God damn it. Morgana. Shall I prove them right? Into the dark. I did it again. I didn't put the Garen in. I didn't put the Garen. I should have cut the Soraka. Fuck. I can't. I, I'm, I'm trying so hard to upgrade my board. Nah, Seven Story Weaver is not even that good. Dude, why do you think no one plays blue? It's not even that good. Yeah, I need to play Zyra over the, the Soraka. <clears throat> Boom. That's how it works. And I get uh, an extra component. I had the I had the right idea. I had the right idea. You guys, it's all under control. It's all under control. Relax. It's all good, okay? It's all under control. <clears throat> I've got it. Uh, 64. I need to hit Dyralia. GS, even Shroud. I'll probably reforge this then. Uh, sure. Now we're good. We're actually good. Don't worry. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Man, I'm getting <clears throat> more dogged again. Cross, thank you for the tier one. Oh my god. Look at that. What was that? The seven storm mirror character went crazy. Oh man, you love to see it. You love to see it. I mean, I'm not even surprised. Like what? I knew that the whole time. Zipper replacement, which is really big. Going to nine. Play this Soraka. But I want to play four trick shot actually. A lot of damage with the Atimo. It, so it's, it's either it's either play this two for four trick shot. I'll roll. Maybe it'll. Ch oh, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. New plan. New plan. New plan. New plan. You move a con this side, but yeah, the outrus is really good though, because I'm playing uh, these one stars. I'm not selling it, so I still have the possibility for it. I'm just. Wukong's a really good team buff. This guy has set two at seven. Why does he have set two at seven with Aphelios three? What? What? Wait, what? How did that happen? I'm gonna die. That's not good. Okay, I need to hit Irelia. I need to hit Irelia and Zoe. Oh, no, 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 no. Skip, skip, skip to clean the offer. I need to hit Irelia. And I need to hit a Zoe, actually. Zoe's here. Okay. We have the team. We have the team. The power of a dragon. Galio, two. Zyra, two. Uh oh. Oh no. Why do I get a stinging feeling I'm about to die? Just duplicate Wukong. 
to make sure that I can get like uh some semblance of a better board person everybody has a really a two and way too oh that's bad that is bad that is really really bad I'm dead this guy has way too and I really have two at nine wait a second wait a second hail living am i living i'm living okay any spat any spat off character surely there's an emblem there surely there's a single emblem there's a ghostly emblem there's a mythic emblem you can't take both you can't take both from me i'll take the ghostly emblem for more uh I just need to find Irelia now. Out, out. Right here. Okay. I can do this. I just need to find Irelia. I just need to find Irelia. Any Irelias at nine? No. I did it. Legends are told in word and deed. Our wills align. Who's missing? Zoe. Oh my God! I got it. Ah! Ah! Okay, 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 okay. We did it. 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 Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah, baby. Woo, man. Okay, 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 okay. My God. What happened to his board? What happened to his board? It just all disappeared. <clears throat> oh, man. Top five. Feeling good. What does Amulet of Ascension even do? Let me look at the stats here. 540 AD 592 oh yeah that's the stuff man that's the stuff that's the stuff oh and she buffs oh she buffs like around as well wait do you guys know that this might be trolling What does she do with her buff? Whoa. I mean, that is, that's just cool. That is just cool. None will escape my grasp. Don't think it matters. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm just curious. Like what is she AOE buffs? Is it just 20 AP? It looks like it's just 20 AP. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Yes! Faded is so OP! Nice. 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 Perfect. Hey, how many of you guys were believers? Actually, I wish uh we I wish we put prediction on the line. Cause I feel like a lot of you guys weren't believing. One sixty. Oh, it, it doesn't look like anything happens with the buff. None will escape my grasp. Let me upgrade because hitting upgrades is a really big deal. Any two. Oh, so we two upgrade. Oh, 600 now. Okay. Galio. I'm just gonna like put more stall in the front line, I guess. Like, because KO just kills everything, right? <clears throat> oh man, it does not matter, man. It just does not matter. Her autos go insane. 24,000 damage. 
<laughs> oh man do you have shred yeah i, I have i really and i have shiv okay so this upgrades it 6,684. This is the current stats. Oh, it didn't even upgrade her stats. What? It's a story weaver holder though. Weird. Just kill this set before you can do anything. Just attack the set. Is uh, set couldn't do anything. <laughs> All right, well that's uh, that's an easy first. That's how it's done. Nice. Blue kale, right? Man, that felt satisfying. That felt satisfying. Never doubted even for a single second. Sure, sure, sure. I I saw you guys when you guys were like, "What are you doing?" Duh. Huh? Blue kale? Duh. Okay. I mean, to be fair, any kale. If I, if I went triple green kale, it would have been the same result if I uh, hit ten story weaver. But uh, the reason why is because uh, Clement was tweeting. Let me see. Clement was saying uh blue green blue blue from joke to meta so uh that, that's why I was saying like I, I wanted to try a green blue blue and I I trust this Clement guy so yeah visiting friends is fun but goodbyes always makes me sad good news though we got absolutely amazing Canada for the next dating show and for the first time in a year I feel extremely motivated to actually try to get better in TFT I think she says this twice a set. <laughs> Her years must be like 30 days long. I think third blue is the best third scroll, but second blue is bugged. I can see that. Set 11 is clearly fun. Oh, set 11 is, is a great time. I'm having a lot of fun playing set 11. I mean, that was fun. Like, I, I feel like, I feel like the tubers are actually worth chasing, if that makes sense. Okay, why do I have two of these open? Okay. Uh, so real quick, during ads, someone asked, what are the changes for TFT Academy? Uh, we move, we, we put like the new Ghostly Kindred, for example. Uh, that was, uh, something I updated this morning. That's like something ba basically it's, it's, it's not at very broken. It's just like a, a conditional comp that you want to hit, uh, pretty on curve, like standard. It's just another way you can play ghostly if you want. I'm trying to see if I can play a game of that today to try to get a good, uh, video like view of it. Um, I played only one time and I got third. I moved a bunch of hero augments down as well because like for example you're not hitting shen 3 ever so like why are you even trying to take this hero augment when uh you just can't hit shen 3 so it's like it's not that the power level is low also uh he's gonna get buff for a reason next patch so yeah same thing with yorick and timo and nico and all stuff like that we, we just moved a bunch of things up and down I'm in your lobby. Good luck, buddy. Oh, Bard. Thank you for your TFT guys. They help a lot. No problem. This world needs hope. Fortune. I have early Bard. No bows. Oh. 
Well, I mean, I don't have any rods. It's actually better to play around this Aatrox than play around these pairs. Aatrox, Gnar. I sell these, these three on the right. Actually, I buy Kogma as well. I kind of have like this ghostly opener on the right. Sage Crest. I mean, nice. I have next patch, next patch, next patch. Sage Crest. Um, if they gave me a Zyra too, I would consider it. No. Caretaker's favor. A cut above my tattoo item. Tattoo of Fury. Idealism. Wandering Trainer. Heavenly Dragonly. Oh, wow. Um. None of these seem particularly really good. I think I just take, like, Caretaker's Favor. Gold Mancer Kabuko. Is this a bard game? I don't think so. Caretaker's favor implies I want to level. So I don't think it's a Kabu. I don't think it's a. I, I, I don't. I'm not getting the vibe that it's a. Like a Kaisa game, probably. Tattoo of Fury. So then. It's probably adaptive then in the front. Man, my board sucks. Oh, Fortune. Oh, sweet. Three wins. Ghostly Nar build here. <clears throat> I want. Buy this, I guess. I'm down for a Nar Senna Senna Aatrox Aatrox shop. That sounds good to me. Riven. I mean, Riven's better. And this. You can sell these to make gold. Probably not Nar, actually. I lose all these fights. Uh, there's not there's not a single fight I win. Okay. <laughs> just just plan on losing. Um so sell kindred. I'll be selling Gnar then. I don't think I'm going, uh, I don't think I'm going Gnar. So I'm not re-rolling. And like Gnar is like not really good unless you're re-rolling. Diana, Volibear, Lissandra, Yorick, Garen. take here red buff I guess <clears throat> hey bard
Dude, my board sucks. Why not Rod? Oh, I'm trying to build Kais items. I think it's like Shojin IE, and I have this, so I'm I'm gonna play like No Last Whisper. Did you release the Yone video yet? Let me see. Did you check? <clears throat> I did not actually. Man, so many pairs. What the heck? Another pair? Uh. There's no way I hold all these pairs. I should have sold something. What the heck is this? This guy has 50 gold. I'm at 10. Oh, man, that's not good. Okay, but if I actually hit the board, isn't this board kind of sick? You only videos in 12 minutes. Okay, there you go. It's probably not worth actually playing on the Bard. If I hit like, if I hit these two stars, I think these board is cheaper. So I just sell Bard pair and hold on to Teemo and stuff like that. Dude, this is way too expensive. Way too expensive. Crap. Do I just sell all of this ghostly on the right? Probably. I'm so sad, man. That's okay. All right. Uh, let me see. Morello. So I have anti heal. Morello, Teemo, and then uh, adapt to this, and then get ready for IE. I mean, it's fine. So broke. I would love to natural these pairs. Trick shot. Level six. My bard is bugged. Oh. Is he using the bugged arena still? <clears throat> okay. Is that is that still a thing? Radiant Refractor. Radiant Relics Unleash Arcana. I think I need. I don't like this as much. Overwhelming force. I get a lot of items anyways, which is why I don't want any of this. Okay, Riven 2. So many pairs. I want to roll and hit. For 2. Okay, reasonable. I still, I mean, these are pairs. I still have four pairs. Hmm. Four pairs, roll one more time. 
Pair, 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 pair. Make 20. Losing here is like a really big deal. God, it's so awkward. Man. I'm just too broke. If, if I roll here, I'll be broke and I can't I can't even get to 8 till 4, 5 and Unfortunately, there's situations where I can hit stuff like uh like I think like if I hit like Shen 2, it's not going to be that big of a deal compared to hitting Bar 2 here. <clears throat> A lot of people didn't roll, looks like. Oge Milks just gifted five community subs. W Glaze. Hey, OJ Milks, thanks so much for the five gifted. That's really generous, man. Thank you. Hey, you made my day. It's really sweet. Five gifted goes a long way. I'm going to use that to improve the stream even further. Thank you, thank you. All right, I got stone plate. <clears throat> thanks for being an active chatter. Thanks for uh, supporting. The it's always nice having you around. Okay, we have three people streaking, two people streaking. Target hey, Shen two. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. Oh, you more thank you for the three. Thank you so much, man. I really want to replace this unit and put these items onto Shen, but I can't really. Do Is it actually better? It actually might be better. I think what I'm supposed to do is I think I'm supposed to sell this bard, play four ghostly right now, and then uh, and then make thirty. And sell uh sell the Garen. Just like cut cut the scale. Well Garen cast again. Oh, cast it again. Ah, I lose here. Unfortunate. Level six forty. Hundred streaking though. Working out with set makes you bigger. Oh. Alright, enjoy it while it lasts. Oh. Ah. I was the Reddit Glazer too. <laughs> nice. So I was saying is I cut like this. I'm supposed to cut this. I think I'm supposed to do something like this. And I like, put these items onto uh, onto Shen. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. NATO King, thank you as well. Level seven fifty. Jesus, I, I'm in. Uh, I'm in a really awkward spot. He's at thirty one HP though. Oh crap. Okay, nice. Another win. Should I have a treadmill for Sivir? I just sold the bar. Mm. Mm. Make up your mind, man. Make up your mind. It took you forever to get here. I'll just have you as a backup now. <laughs> Excuse me. Same bard? Oh, yeah. Thank you. I'm going to choose to believe that, you know. Oh, wait. Bard 2. Okay. Level seven. And. Uh. 
I need like a sword here. Maybe like another adaptive or something like that. Man, nothing's dying. I wonder if I should roll at seven for the four trick shot. Maybe. Get to the fallen stationary support. I kind of need some combat. And poor cash. Mm. I mean, gifts of the fallen is higher value than usual because I'm playing more units. Teemo two. Okay, I'm just gonna go for that. I think I just roll here. I go where the trouble is. Finding a Kaisa would be big so I can stabilize. The power of a dragon. Anna. I good enough to do this for now. Just stop here. Four ghostly, four bruiser, sniper. I just want to stop rolling but then get to, and push levels but it's like it's actually so tough man it's actually so tough oh it's close it's close Oh my god. I, it's okay. It's, it's, it's a fine loss. It's a fine loss. Okay, that's good. Timo is good enough to ride to eight. Sort of, sort of. But you saw, you see how I'm like, I'm like losing these fights? Like, yes, but also no. Kane. Just drop, let's just play this instead. Kane plus this. And I get to sell. That doesn't look that good. That doesn't look that good, to be honest. Is this six ghostly Kaisa? It might be. That's a Galio too. Not great. Not great. Lesser champion duplicator. Doesn't I really? Uh... Oh, God. I can't even use this. I really, though. I just gave I really to the duelist player. Six ghostly, six ghostly. Mm, am I still rolling here at seven? 39 HP. I think I have to. I'm like losing too much. Silas too. Gotta play that. Isa. Oh god, it's the bugged arena again. Oh, that sucks. The bugged arena units in the bottom corner uh mess up their attack and this person's playing it so it's like bugging my attack 
it's a known bug so it's like at this point it's kind of like basically bug abusing but it's what it is <clears throat> even if it's not intentional it's just, it's just like it just it just messes it up um i just played this Corey weaver three bruiser and just like put this all on uh on this guy for now i need the shred Fifteen. Not looking good. Not looking good. I try to see if I can get to eight, but uh I think at this point I'm probably just dead. Dude, okay, every time I try to play this comp, it's really it does not go smoothly for me. I think I was too weak early mid-game and now I lost all of stage four. Couldn't find Galio. I had to roll on seven. Stuck with like no gold. Tough spots. <clears throat> if I can get to if I can get Kaisa too though and get to eight and play Galio though I think my go my board is actually good it's just I'm just struggling right now Last Whisper I mean do I want that even though I have Shred maybe Roll level Roll Oh, I have a Galio. I have a Galio. Let's kill this. Oh, I have a new deer. Oh, what the heck? I had to do something. I hit too late. I used the duplicator on Kaisa because Kaisa 2 matters a lot more than Udyr, doesn't it? I feel like it does. Uh. Galio. It's Wukong too. I can't switch sides because of the bug. Crap. Also, I need to put uh, Udir in the top corner. Okay, I should beat this fight. I should beat this fight, I think. I think I can come back. I think I can come back. Oh my god, that was so close. So close. Not an eighth. We take those. LP preservation mode. I definitely clicked that. That's okay. Uh, not okay, not okay, not okay. Thought I, I, I definitely thought I clicked that. I should have clicked it to guarantee it. My bad. One thing I could have done was actually duplicate to uh, get a three cost and buy the Galio. I just realized that because I had this duplicator that I'm not using. <clears throat> Man. 
man. This is my fault. Oh, God. It's so frustrating, man. I know that I could have played this game like way better. It's all good. Uh, I should have rolled really hard on seven. I think I'm, I'm consistently misevaluating in these kinds of like uh, prismatic lives that come out of nowhere. And I, I could I can definitely uh, I can definitely stabilize better. But like the level six was like super harsh. That was like a really difficult uh, spot. No, I think it's actually good. It's just, uh, it's just, I just been, I keep man mismanaging my mid game. My mid, my mid game is where it keeps uh, messing up, but that's why you got to keep practicing it and keep playing it. No worries. Next game. I wasn't trying to play like contested, uh, Kaisa in the sense that like, I didn't, they didn't look contested, but the people. I didn't have a I think what it I think what it is is like I needed to uh I haven't I haven't hit a good enough opener to justify playing for that. I think you can play Kaisa without a really strong opener. Okay, also the YouTube video should be out. Here you go. <clears throat> Here you guys go. You guys want the, the latest YouTube video for Yone? Here it is. Yone is currently one of the most debated three costs currently in set 11 Inkborn Fables. Many people agree that he is very powerful and is capable of taking over lobbies completely. But what is the best variation of Yone? Well, in this TFT Academy video, we're going to dive into the 50 shades of Yone and figure out which Yone slaps the hardest. Huh? So let's start things off by trying to understand. Okay, so uh, that's the intro of the video. If you guys want uh, to understand every variation of Yone, You can check out the video if you want. No way? Yes way. When will the patch be live? I can't stand reroll comps. Well, uh, I hate to tell you, reroll comps are going to be around next patch as well. So if you can't stand reroll comps, uh, you're probably not going to like the next patch because reroll comps are still going to exist. Zoe. Start off with this. Sell. Maybe a fortune start. I have double Soraka. I can make 20 here. It looks like it's a gold opener in general. There's a lot you could do differently in your early mid game. Sure, I think after taking care of you, want to make sure you can get as soon as possible. You're going to four components on the lobby, so you can save, save HP and prison. I'm going to hold me in pairs. Agreed. Well said. <clears throat> Venerable piggy bank. They're bank they're buffing it next patch. Probably not this setup though. And United. Uh not know your enemy. Oh, too healthy. Too healthy. Actually, I want to see if I can try to play a Teemo game. Caretakers. Caretakers is also uh pretty strong if I want to keep pushing levels. But Teemo's also fortune. Oh wait, he doesn't give me a team. <laughs> 
I was like, I, I can just take this for the Teemo hero augment. But um, that's not what happened. I'm just going to lose streak. I'm not strong enough to push levels here. Gear up for uh, the two healthy board. Let me see. It's been a while since I've tried Teemo. It's Teemo, Riven, uh, Shen, Yorick, uh, Sivir, Zyra. Oh, it's two out of three Exalted as well. An item remover. Well, that sounds good. I like the sound of that. Ooh. Okay, it might just be. It just, it just might be Senna. And then sell. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. It's a lot of gold to sell, but it's good. A lot of people are kind of like playing slow, playing slow. Yep, the Yone video is out. We let people know, right? This person already has Senna too. Oh, right. Nice. Plus two HP. Plus two HP. I just sold my... Okay, whatever. It's fine. Unlucky. Unlucky, really. I just sold my Zoe, but it's all good. I'm not sad or anything. Fifty gold already. Crazy. What's the best item on Senna to start things off with? I'm pretty sure it's uh you wanna start off with like Last Whisper or something like that. Because the last whisper just allows you to shred for the ghostly and whatnot. I think it's I it's last whisper over IE. Oh, I'm uh I'm winning. Okay, I, I'm actually I'm actually second pick no matter what though. Emo the bow. If I don't get that, then what? Sword. IE. Okay. N2, I guess. Redemption is good. Redemption's really, really good on uh, Shen. Redemption stone plate. <clears throat> and Senna. Okay. Senna and Behemoth unit. Boom. Got him. Now we sell this, sell this. Doesn't ghostly get applied on pre mitigation? uh there's a lot there's there's a lot of math that goes behind it but basically you want shred you want both kinds of shred for ghostly <clears throat> it's uh sourced by mort dog himself
well, let me get this straight. Ferdinand's goal today is to hit master so that Soju can be in low elo. Yeah, just like your goal is to get timed out for one day for making a comment like that and, and flaming my elo. Boom. <laughs> Dude, I mean, Soju's actually not even really hard stuck. He's just not really dry. He's the same thing as you. People are just like memeing this guy all the time. Just har straight up harassing him. I mean, he does it to himself, though. Like, why does he keep saying he's going to get one more, one point X master class? Oh. Oh, my God. I almost won that. All right, I'll stall. Probably Teemo here. Senna. Congratulations, Shuck. Kind of funny to see people flame pro streamers when they don't even have the third of the elo. Oh, I mean, I don't think that person was flaming. They're just joking. He's just, they're just messing around. <clears throat> Most people who like are, are poking fun at uh, high streamers, they're just, they're, just, they're just joking around. It's all just fun and games. Do I have Senna 2 now? I have Stone Plate. I straight up, like, uh, don't have any offensive items, so I might take an offensive item next. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Riven's, like, another bruiser that can go in. Kindred. I'm just holding all these other two costs. Glove on Senna. Why not? What's my tattoo? Bombardment. Bombardment. Okay, looking good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, roll down here in a sec. <clears throat> Ghostly crown. I mean, that seems pretty good. And a bramble vest and a shan. I'm just going to commit to it. Why not? And this guy. Do I have this? Sign up hair. This guy for the... Oh, I mean, it's a two-star behemoth. That's fine. Ghostly. I need another ghostly unit. Oh. Yeah, that's a ghostly unit. I'll ghostly Gnar for now. I'll bramble this guy. And then I will... Sell, sell. Sell, sell. That seems fine. Reasonable turn. Still lacking the offensive items, but I got the four ghostly in. Go Senna. Yeah, it's, go it's ghostly Senna. It it's it's got to be. I think this person's playing uh, Kaisa. I'm playing too healthy, so I I I'm forced to like reroll, I think, it from this spot. You, you could theoretically play too healthy Kaisa as well, but uh, my, my spot is much better for Senna, I think. Oh, oh, Gold Collector or Sniper's Focus or, uh, oh. Oh. uh, actually, what's the, what's the best, uh, Orn item? Is, I, I, my instinct says Diamond Hands, but I'm wondering if Eternal Winter, oh, it's actually so close. Eternal Winter versus Diamond Hands. There's a lot of Rage Blade in the lobby. Oh, yeah, it's, it's probably Eternal Winter. I get a lot of resources anyways. In darkness, we find ourselves. 
this, this, Ramble Nar, I guess. <clears throat> What's the average uh, player base rank? Um, kind of like uh, pro probably like 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 uh, plat, gold, gold plat, maybe lower. Not diamond, copium. Snapshot this, confirm, drop, Lowey, Aatrox, um, in. Another spat. That would be ghostly emblem. Number two. Okay, can I get, can I get a sword? I think I'm gonna go for bow. No, you guys, you keep taking it from me, man. All right, I guess I have to take IE. Like, I got it. I have to take some kind of offensive item. Dude, next patch, this gives a stone plate instead of a uh, instead, instead of uh, instead of a bramble, which is like, thank goodness. I know. Again. Darkness, we find ourselves. I mean, I'm not going Nar 3. It's just that I don't have Ink Shadow yet. I mean, I do, but I don't want to. I don't want to ditch the. I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't want to ditch the Nar yet. Okay, it's actually, I don't even have Warden Inks. I don't have Jack. Why am I so attached to it? Also, this Eternal Winter Shen is just doing the Lord's work. Also, you know what's crazy? I can tech in Bramble versus the Aphelios. If I know I'm going against Aphelios player, I can tech in Bramble over Stoneplay <laughs> and then just have Eternal Winter Redemption <laughs> Bramble versus the Aphelios player. That's actually so crazy. <laughs> oh, man. The, the, the Infinite Magnetic Remover might be one of my new favorite things they've introduced at TFT. Just because it feels fun to play. It feels satisfying. My friend is gold three and top six 18%, so it's probably silver. Okay. Good to know. Do this. And let's do this. Sure, I'll just do this for now. Our wills align. Asians. I level the play allow we. I mean, obviously, I want Jax instead of the Volibear Bear too, but it's, this is all about streaking here. Hopefully, I can hit so I can free up my bench space. Okay. <clears throat> Very funny, more dog. Very funny. Ah, oh, damn it. It does technically combine, I think. But it wouldn't like for like Aatrox, for example. Oh, I'm just gonna stop here then. Oh, it's a Jack, it's a Jack. Okay. Now we push levels. It was, it was a Senna. Okay, whatever. Ghostly on Jack. Uh, another Bramble? You gotta be kidding me, man. What, what am I gonna do with these two Brambles? Isn't it Edge of Night?
gonna spread it out for now. Wait for my next augment. Next turn I play this ribbon. <clears throat> Yeah, edge, edge of night. It's probably edge of night. It's just that I want a third item for. I just want a third item for Senna, right? So. Sell this. Crown guard. Oh, I kind of like that idea, actually. Sniper crest. Oh, ascension is good, I think. Keepers is also really good. Oh, heavy hitters. Heavy hitters. Oh, or you know, wow, I think I hit like really good stuff. Okay, heavy hitters. Both are really. Oh, never mind. Heavy hitters is a, a tier of its own. Complete tier of its own. Never mind. Leveling here is really expensive. I'm going to try to. I think I can go to nine this game pretty easily. So I'm just going to chill also i think this goes here i think yeah that's good i don't have anti-heal either so i have to make edge of night the next item i gotta make is uh if i don't if i go edge of night the next next item i have to go is uh morello also i don't have shred I don't have anything. I don't. I, want, I don't. I don't. Have, I don't have you guys. I don't have anything. <laughs> oh man. Level eight is probably Orn, right? For the Behemoth. It's, just, it's Yorick. It's Yorick. Okay. The more I'm thinking about it, the more it might just be Bramble. Because I. I think I need. I don't know. It's, 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 how do I have so many vests? One, two, three, four, five vests. Because one of my one of my items gave me a straight up ramble. That's why. Isn't everyone AD? Uh, not everyone. Not everyone. Bard's mixed. AD. Uh, hybrid. AD. AP. Actually, Yone. Um, uh, mostly AD, but hybrid as well. My God, dude, this Shen also just does a lot of damage. Oh my God, 1200 true damage. Okay, so now I push levels, play Orn until I find Yorick, play another item. Okay. I think anti-heal matters more. There's a belt. If I don't get the belt, then what? Bow? Alawi 2. Giant Slayer. Giant Slayer is good, right? Can't go wrong. So, uh, a behemoth to help give Shen some uh, extra oomph. Yes. I can see why they nerfed Shen 3. I mean, Shen 3 is the nuts. He is uh, a very silly unit. Actually, I should have Orn next. I should I should give these items to uh, to Alawi. Oh, okay. Because I was like thinking about the unit the unit that Orn gives items to. I want to give it to Alawi too, instead of uh, Aatrox too. Man, this is uh disgusting. Okay. This is a spider booty. I know. I'm, I'm just. I'm literally. Like, the game's over, man. Like, I mean, turn. In terms, like, even if I don't go first from here, it's like there's nothing else for me to do except just press the F key. So I'm just waiting. I can do this on him, and then I could do this on Alawi, 
And I kind of want to like make sure Orn is buffing the Alawi, so this is the correct ordering, I think. And then, uh, I guess I could just like always like vest these two, like. I'm hoping that uh, Orn will give Alawi like Sunfire or Spark or even Trout, something like that. Redemption. Not bad. Like this Aphelios uh, has Radiant Rage Blade and he just can't get started. This Eternal this Eternal Winter won me the won me so many fights. I'm pretty sure that if I got baited by Diamond Hands. I would have missed it. Aatrox. What's the patch rundown? It's a, um, the patch rundown is me watching the patch notes and then kind of like talking about it, like giving commentary, additional commentary of like what, like if this is a good change, if I agree with it, disagree with it, what I like about it. Uh, maybe another reason why they're changing it compared to like what more dog said. It's just me adding additional commentary. React content, if you will, right? The, lo the lazy low bar of Twitch streaming meta. Oh, I just, I just hit in his ear. Good job, uh, everyone. Also, I've been picking up a lot of Aatroxes along the way. It makes me wonder if I should have... What is this? It's just an... Okay. Spark, I guess. The only thing I can take. I, mean, I just I just have to do this. All I can do. Did you miss it? Yeah, it'll be up on YouTube tomorrow. It'll be up on YouTube manana. Dude. What was that true damage? This Shen did 1755 in true damage? Oh my god. Okay, I can level to eight or nine. Play this Riven, which gives me two healthy value. Actually, it gives me 99 HP and then also, uh, and then also uh, Bruiser. So it gives me 200 HP across the board, which is pretty good. Okay, I was, I was waiting to see if this guy would switch for his Zephyr, but he did not. Also, I think people want this unit, so I'm just going to sell. Straight to 10? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a fast 10. And try to see if I can close out with Udyr 2 and Hue, I guess. And Lissandra. Maybe I hit another, uh, maybe another Ghost Emblem. I don't know. Oh, that's pretty good. Shall I prove them right? Helios 3. Okay, this Aphelios is attacking this, uh, this, <laughs> this Shen and can't do anything. Wow, Shen got closer to them? Oh man, he is so fucked. Oh, man. He 
Jesus Christ. Four slots open up. That is true. I can drop two ghostly, right? Oh, 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 eight ghostly? I mean, I should go for the eight ghostly one last time, right? It's ghostly on a morgue. Like, come on, man. What? Oh, wait, he's playing ghostly. That makes sense. Uh, Gunblade, I guess. Gunblade's fine. So, at 10, I could play... Uh, actually, I could even play around Exalted if it makes sense. Wei, Shen, Civ... Oh, it'd be... Oh, this Exalted is super awkward. I mean, the only thing... The only use I want to play are Hui and Shen. Do this for now. Oh my god, that's true damage. Bro. That is, that is insanity. Ash connects with porcelain. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And I have a sniper. It, it, I, can, I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. Okay, so the exalted would be drop Jax. Uh, drop Morgana. Drop Riven. Uh, let me drop this. Uh, Alessandra, Ash, Way. I think that's two. That's three exalted. Okay, cool. R three TK. I mean, this this comp counters Bard for sure. Also, I have Edge of Night, so. Maybe I should uh, put that on. I don't know, actually. Who does that go on? He has eight ghostly and he lost. I took my eight ghostly and lost. Badge. He has Lissandra too. Oh, wow. Uh, big crab. I'm gonna sell this ribbon. Not gonna play it. Can you go for a three star five cost? I might be able to. Irelia, I can't. Wukong, I can't. Rakan, I can't. Lissandra, I can't. I think the only one I can right now is Huey and Azir. I might be able to. No shred, just GS, I guess. Late game. Oh, this is a da this is a mana item for Huey. Bro, where's my shred? GS, I guess. Man's dead. Okay, so now I push to 10, I think. Oh, what's the encounter? Offers you a temporary item. Last whisper. <laughs> um, sure. Why not? Or two. So I have Ash. And then who's the exalt? Oh, I just roll. Ash. Reveal our way. 
can't hit Rakong 3. I can't hit Wukong 3. Horn. Sell. Sell the moment I find the other guy. Do I even really need to go for a tro uh for uh what's her name three? Alawi three? Probably not. <clears throat> Udir goes in, you're right, you're right, you're right. Roll past that. Ooh. I'm coming for you. What? Okay. Okay, he uh, probably thought I was gonna Zephyr me. Oh, he's going for Huey. Oh, interesting. Jack, Horn. Probably not his ear. Oh my god, this Senna. Can I can I even chase this three-star legendary? Another ghostly emblem. Fine, why not? Why not? Who cares? Who cares? Another ghostly emblem. Sounds good to me. Hooray. <laughs> I get Kane in and then I get to go for eight ghostly. Some oh, I really uh... Shall I prove them right? All right. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? Sure. Must press on. Uh, ghostly here, I guess. And then ghostly this. Man, this is freaking crazy dominance right now. Position. <clears throat> All right, eight ghostly. Let's see it. Boom. Wait a second. That was kind of close. Like one more round of Irelia, and I think my entire backline died. All right, GG's. It was cool to win with eight ghostly is all eight ghostly dominant victory 69 lp not bad I mean, that's why we put in s tier because uh when you when you get when you when you when you get to uh a state like that you just dominate the the mid late game and they just go nine and ten and i just like i basically just didn't do anything so I just like press level and, press, and roll for five cost the average in the twos, yeah, it, it was just, it, it was a complete stomp, raffle stomp for the most part. Senna's is broken. Senna's is very broken. Senna is very broken. How you doing, Jeef? I got you. Jeef's, get, Jeef's hitting me up with uh, some Battlegrounds coach and I owe him. Froden just gifted a sub to GFHS. Okay, business. Okay, business. I mean, there's a reason why we put this in like S tier because like it's actually just so unreasonable once you hit everything. I mean, I I, I had like some of the Giga Nuts. I should probably also put in um uh I should probably also put in uh heavy hitters as an example of this. The Senate is very strong. How come Senna was uncontested? No, there's there's there was people playing Senna. I just I had the I, when I, when I have too healthy, the other person knows that they shouldn't try to contest it because like then we're both gonna probably like struggle. So 
they just pushed level like the person that was playing senna just decided to play like really safe and got like a third like very very safe my spot with senna was like way too good so dear soap knows everything and you're good at conveying the information i mean that's th but like it's like it's like part that's like 75 percent true i tell dear soap things too you know you guys, I tell Dish Soap things too that he didn't know. Come on, man. You gotta, gotta give me a little more credit than that. Like, Dish Soap didn't know about this comp. And then I showed it to him. He's like, oh, it's actually looking kind of good. And also, I added this one. And, uh... I, 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 I added... I basically got Heavenly Yone because he was convinced a different Yone version was good. So I added this. I added this. I added this, but th th this is not that big of a deal. I would say, okay, in and also in terms of actually building it, I build around, I actually like physically am the one inputting and doing all the back end stuff, about like 70% of it. Yeah. Is there a spot where you can see what tattoo is best on who? Yeah, you can uh, look at the data of it, so. If you, uh, for example, the way you can do is Explorer uh, and just look up Senna. Or actually, you can just look up the direct item itself. So you can write like Tattoo of, let's say, Vitality. And then it'll show you. And it's like, oh, it's really good on Udyr. <clears throat> because the placement's high and the Delta is pretty low in the negatives. You can try to sort by Delta, but you, you start to get some like really weird sample size like this. Like 100 games of uh, Lissandra's pretty low sample size. You can like filter it lower if you want. They have more games but like tattoo of vitality could go on a bunch of different five costs wandering train sure why not wandering changers time uh usually a lot of times when i look at this though i try to ignore the five costs because the five costs have good data because you're always playing five costs so you you can try to separate them and look at like okay who are some four costs that are good with it kane is pretty good with it Silas is really good with it. Shen is pretty good with it. Stuff like that. He's like, okay, so you're like, okay, I put it on melee camp champions, not like range champions. Because if you scroll down and you look for like Senna and Kindred, it's like, oh, where are they? Senna? Oh, God. 4.96. It's not good. Yeah, that's how, that's like, that's like one way you can tell. So that a site called tactics.tools. It's a it's a data website. Titans. Oh. Never a dull moment. Don't buy this Caitlyn two yet. See if I want my gold. See if I get dropped gold. I'm in Kuramex's game. I'm in T Lies's game. Oh my god, two fortune units? What? I just got straight drop fortune. Such a waste. When life gives you sour Wait, what? I've never seen that before. Three. Okay. I guess. Me fortune. Also, shouldn't I... Shouldn't I sell this Kabuko? That's nah, fine. Fortune emblem? Oh yeah, fortune emblem. I get to I get to do the thing. On fire GS Titans, Theric's Gauge, I uh, Edge of Night, No Nashers. You guys going for twenty gold? Tiny Titans. Oh my God. I have tiny Titans fortune. You guys. I, oh my God. It's the juicer. I got the juicer. But, the, but, but this guy's, there's one guy that's griefing, right? There's one guy that's griefing. 
Okay, I have to wait till 20 seconds and then do it. Also, I think I need to play Kabuko instead of Tristana. I think Tristana is too strong. Lakabuga, yep, 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 yep. I like listen, I, listen, I'm trying I'm trying to sweat it. I'm trying to sweat, I'm trying not to give it away. Hold on to Tristana, sell Timo. The question will be what I actually want to play with this though. I mean I can just play like any exile. Oh, Galio Kaisa game? Okay. Okay. Galio, Kaisa, who else is exalted? Who else? Galio, Kaisa, and just like throwing like a random Shen or something? Sure. And then just build like Riven, Sivir, Trickshot, Zatra, Zaya, plus uh, Mo. Keep that Teemo in. Rakan, Soraka. I mean, that's good enough. Oh, I have lovers. I can't play Rakan. So, uh, probably just like Udi or something like that. <clears throat> He's good enough to me. Four trick shots. It's like a reasonable goal to hit. I mean, that's, that, that could be part one, and then part two would be like transitioning out of it. But this looks solid. I want Ink Shadow. Oh, that's true. What is my Ink Shadow? Had to a Fury. That's pretty good. Maybe I cut Soraka and then I play. Um... The thing is, man, there's no good. There's no good uh, Aatrox, I guess. Yeah, and I just play Bruisers. Okay, but I can't fit that all in. I can't fit that all in. Ah, whatever. I'm just gonna. Okay, everyone's slamming. Everyone's slamming. You can play two. Like play Rakan instead of uh, Zaya. I'm last pick, so I'll just take whatever I can get. I'm really worried about like this person, but they this time an item. This person has Teemo too, so they're gonna win. This person has item slam, so they're gonna win. Double swords. Push my luck. And push ya four. Four's doable. Four's good. That means I that means I do have three two. That might mean I'd be able to play for a cash out. Uh sorry, no, I, I that mean that might mean I'd be able to play for a six, a full six, and if I have multiple lives. Do I kill this? No, I don't. Even if I say I'm like one item, I don't kill this Shen too. One hundred. That's good. That guy's level four. I need to keep the possibility of playing around Janna as well. We're not going for the 30 Toma trade. Oh, no. I'm going for uh, just straight up, like straight up cash. The, the the farm, the farm 30 is actually like. 
um very very first array very first array like you basically you, you can play you, you, when it wins it wins like so convincingly but it's very first array nice wait no not nice this guy griefed me oh my god dude i got griefed why man all right, take his just just pivot into his comp. This the Sphinx. <clears throat> Bro, man, I thought we were cool like that, but we're not. I mean, I actually have Titans BT. I can still, I could totally go for it. Man, I can't believe that he would go and do that. I mean, it makes sense, but it sucks. Okay, I guess. Badge. New plan, I can't do this. Did you play three fortune there? I mean, yes, but like I didn't, uh, I wasn't paying attention because I was talking to chat. So uh, that's on me, I guess. You can play. Oh, yeah. I mean, don't don't I want to revenge grief this guy because he's he's trying to play Yone. So like I just take his Yone's. OK, probably not. I just like play for a cash outs. Oh, duelists. Okay. It, it, it's actually correct to do this. It's actually correct. Oh, Yone. Forget the past. It only clouds the future. Um. No, guys. It's not. It's not actually correct to do that. Come on. I'm. I'm just. It's not. Don't. 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 Don't actually do that. Unless it actually is correct to do it. You forgot to bow. If it's correct to actually grieve do that then go for it but it's not Who holds Morello in duelists? Does anyone know? <clears throat> I'm playing. I'm playing extended duel. You guys, I, I have to. <laughs> I ha I'm. I'm going for. Uh, I'm going for duelists. And you guys are vengeful. Wow. I'll be cash out here. Open uh, support armory. Lock it for duelists. Really good. Do this. Remind me never to grief your guys' uh, <laughs> fortune cash out. My God, you guys are you guys are a vengeful bunch. Oh man, that's funny. Okay, so I level, I roll. Uh, who, who are the other duelists I need? Wukong, Kane, Kindred, 
Uh, Yasuo, Darius, not Nico, uh, Vola Bear, and then Irelia, Lee Sin. Probably like Gunblade, Even Shroud, Gunblade, uh, Tristana. I have to roll a lot out anyways. Just even shroud, I suppose. I don't have any last whisper, so it's gunblade, uh it's gunblade Tristana, even shroud, lockets, and then uh play for play for just a standard six duelist comp. Push one more cash. Are you insane? Stand back. Strong Nico coming through. Heavenly. Bullet Bear. I need Lee Sin. Let's make this for now. Dude, this tattoo of protection can't kill it. Um, probably Yasuo just holds this as well for now. I just have to see if I can win this fight. Man, this spot is so bad. I don't have like uh man. I don't have I don't have uh, I don't have anti heal which is kind of hard to get past some of these units as well. Maybe I just do this. Put these on Vola Bear. Titans BT even shroud and then Gunblade uh Tristana. Home? What about home? What about home? Spats? Uh, what do I do with spat? What do I do with spats? Heavenly spats? I mean, I'm gonna prioritize that last. Forget the past. It only clouds the future. Sure. Um, all right, Gunblade Morello Tristana. <laughs> Not great. I need to find Lee Sin.
He has two duplicators. Sivir's rallying cry makes you speedy. All right. I have my sword, dynamic duo. Uh, I mean, know your enemy? Not really. I don't have many people that know my enemy. I mean, tons of stats is kind of the same thing as you have my sword, I guess. I don't need the sword either. Man. Oh. Sin. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <clears throat> I reforge this, uh, this vest, right? What do I do with another vest or another belt? That guy already has Yone 3. Offers you an item remover. Oh, wait, isn't this actually really good? Yeah, this is actually really good. Um, I guess I send after Carousel to see if I can hit. Uh, see if I can hit. Yo, uh, build Vol Bear three. Push levels. You really want Volley 3 if you can get it. Like, because if, if I push levels, I'm only ro ro rolling for Irelia 1. So the question is, do you want Irelia 1 or do you want Volibear 3? And I want Volibear 3. I didn't kill a single unit. Wukong. Okay. Man, everyone's just griefing today. This is so sad. You didn't even want it. He's waited for me. Actually, you might want it. You might want it. I don't even know what he wants to do. He's just... Ah, oh, man. Oh. I'm actually getting griefed a lot this game. <clears throat> My destination is clear. Deny me no longer. This is necessary. Not making any progress towards Volibear either. Yikes. This is looking like a bot four. I mean, my setup is actually still pretty good, all things considering. I just, it's just not good enough. I guess I'm playing for seven. Uh, 
Uh, some people are starting to lose as well. I mean, I need, I need to hit Volibear 3. Holding Volibear as well. Wow. He's, he's actually just straight up revenge griefing as well, man. That's so... Ah! There's no justice, man. There's no justice. There's no justice. He's like holding Irelia as well, right? Like he's just trying to do everything to grief me right back. <clears throat> well, I got I lost on every front. He griefed my streak. He held my units. He hit anyways. All good. I guess I mean I just got I guess I just got wrecked this game. It happens. All right, it's all good. Eat some food. I mean, it's a one in three as well. Like, uh, getting grief was one in three. So it's like, it's pretty unlucky, but it is what it is. I should be better about that stuff. I did not hit a spat I can play, so uh What do I even do? I make Nashers? It's so weird. <clears throat> Umbro no, um, doesn't really do anything though. He just gives me a 250 shield. Which is really nice. The execute is like not that reliable. Oh, but, oh, Volibear! Oh my god. Twenty-five. Okay, may maybe maybe Umbral now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh man, I guess I got a level to do something. Okay. Oh, heavenly, heavenly, heavenly for the stats. Maybe Irelia. Probably not. Our bigger red buff. Red buff on a duelist when I have Morello. I guess that you're saying I also have even trout, so like what's what about that? <clears throat> Wait. Ten Kerm eighth? Kerm's got me? Kerm's got me. Oh man. Thank goodness, man. Thank goodness. It's fifthable, it's fifthable, it's fifthable. I mean, this was this was like griefed cash out into like I was pro I'm probably going eighth eighth, you know? So going seventh here is pretty good. Also, these guys look so strong. They look so strong. What the heck? The 
Senate player who hasn't lost in uh, two stages. He hasn't rolled, which is a good thing. No, man. Ah, six is okay. Like, all things considering, this is a really unfortunate six. Six is okay. You know what, uh, you know what Meta TFT said, by the way? Check this out, check this out, check this out. Meta TFT about that game said, great scouting. <laughs> when scouting is the reason I lost. <laughs> great scouting, sure. Yeah, if I paid attention, sold everything. I lost the matchmaking, but. I should have sold everything. Could you play? Yeah, I could have just played three uh, fortune units. I would have won. I would have lost, rather. That's on me. You're taking 40 HP to get like 12 cash out plus getting grief on news. Yeah, six is actually not bad. I'm okay with that. All right, does anybody have any dank spatula tech? Who's, who's got the spatula tech? Hit me with it. Who's got the spatula tech? And mythic. But how do I get to 10? Faded spat. All right. All right. <laughs> Slow down, buddy. Don't get too crazy here. We want viable comms. Yone or, or cocaine bear. That's too a vitality. Maybe my turn to Yone. <clears throat> Never a dull moment. Nine Umbral. True. Actually, I've never seen have it, has anyone seen Nine Umbral? That is so unpopular that it, it's actually shocking to me if uh, anyone has seen it. This is really good. If I get, if I get a vest or a cloak. Pretty good. I lost to it last week. You need three spats. I mean, that sounds like a lot. Dude, why isn't it? Oh, dude, Master Field was spatula. Master Field was spatula. Beast Company, Prize Fighter. I don't feel like I'm going to win many rounds right now. So it's probably not Prize Fighter. You have my bow. I can go red bow. Oh, it's really good for. This is actually really good at feeling times if I go red bow. You have my bow. Lucky Ricochet. Oh. Ah, <sighs> Breeze Company. What's 
the worst thing that could happen. I got an Aphelios. <clears throat> I got a, a loon. I think I don't play Aphelios because I think I'm all faded out. I think I played too much faded over the course of this match. Working out with set makes you a big... Dude, I'm in the middle of eating dinner, man. Okay, probably sell this then. Just make 10. What up, Showtime? Yes. It's probably just Yone then. I can just take any vest or uh, cloak off carousel. Me, Yone. <clears throat> and just like start off with a little bit of an econ lead. Sell a loon. Isn't this girl fake? She's fake as hell. She's a full-on mean girl. Regina George. No! He was about to swipe! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, man. That was close. God damn. Like that was like a bow or glove diff, but like I oh man, it's probably like a bow on Darius diff. Damn it. Do I make gold? I might make gold here. Just sell all this. Come back for it. Next unit in is uh Malphite. I lost my streak. Kind of focus on making a little bit of monies. There's a Yone with a bow. A bow name. <clears throat> what up, Jim? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, I should have uh I should have itemized uh Darius, but it is what it is at this point. <clears throat> it was my bad. I didn't I had Darius one at the time. And uh I was just like, eh, I'm not gonna hit Darius two. I'm not that good. And then I realized I am that good. I should have just believed in myself. I, I didn't realize I was that good, you know. Um my bad. It is what it is at this point. Maybe I hit Yone two though. Maybe I get the infinite item remover. <clears throat> That's why I like the infinite item remover. It doesn't punish my mistakes. Or rather, it helps me fix my mistakes.
Air pair. Uh, if I have to sell something, probably sell Nico. I'd rather hold on to these one star heavenlies. Faded Mythic. I mean, I'm just going to stay here. Oh, blue kale. Oh. Guy's okay, trying to do the tech. That's a big win. Making 30 here, so that way I don't have to sell this Nico. Yone pair. Okay. <clears throat> I need to add snapshots and then cut this. I need kindy. I need uh cane and then woo. What else am I missing? Eco. Seems fine to me. Do you guys like the behemoth version of Nick uh, of Yone at all or no? I could try other variations. I wanna try duelist Yone the other day, but didn't get a chance. Tristana. Oh, I have a duplicator. What the? <clears throat> I feel like actually using this immediately on Yone is a good thing because I'm not. It's gonna be a while between I hit Yone two or Yone three, and like I'm on two streak, so I kind I kind of like this. Is last is for Yone bad? It actually isn't. It actually isn't. You take Chogas offer for three items, minus one bench slot. Probably not from this spot, but uh, in general, I like taking it. I'm optimistic about life, you know? I think I can hit. Can't be that bad. I don't think there's a wrong version between the five Yone's. Yeah, did, did, did you see my video? Is that why you're referencing it? The 50 shades of Yone. Oh, golden remover? a lot worse now because i don't really have items to juggle so oh silver veil like what am i gonna what am i gonna remove <laughs> i guess i can remove uh last whisper at the very end but not about it that's about it that's like that's like taking an augment for two stages for now too far down the road Oh, I didn't. Oh, yeah. I, I at least I released a video about an hour ago about all the versions of Yone to play. Hey, Frodan, is there a one cost? Yeah, in Discord. Or tfthub.com. Is it on tfdf.com? Let me see. Game info. Missed connections? Oh, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Loose subscription. Fortune. Utility sources. Bonus loot own information. Bag sizes, augments. Dude, how much information is there about this game, man? My God. <clears throat> so much going on. Dude. All right.
right, let me uh, message our TFT folks Discord. Uh, we need uh, a missed connections image. Where it points out where of the 13 one. Wait, who attacked me? What? Okay, uh, so I'm looking for a vest. So one cost, uh, the one cost show gas. So I, I should, I should be able to get it. What milk? No! What are you doing? Oh, he needs a choke He needs a chat. Oh, ah. Man. Come on, buddy. Okay, I got the, the cane. Death Defiance. Oh, uh, Death Defiance is not best. Yone's best item, uh, Orn item is, uh... Oh, uh, is Infinity Force. Infinity Force. <clears throat> you forgot to bow. They had six. Don't over level. Lethal Legends. I mean, it is a little bit more aggressive than usual, but. Or Heavenly. Alpha A3. Maybe that belt ends up helping. This person looks very tanky. Kind of kill two more units. Okay. <laughs> that was uh, an unreasonable amount of tankiness. Naked Aphelios. Yep. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. Evan faded. Two item anvils. Oh, not bad, not bad. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <clears throat> Titans. And I think I'm gonna save this one because I don't know exactly what I want, and it's gonna depend a little bit on uh, what I hit. Also, this. Eh, I was like, this could be a little bit better for the behemoth. Behemoth. <laughs> behemoth. But um I'm about to I'm about to like sell of it anyways, so. Actually this might be better. It might be better. It makes the behemoth a little bit more tanky and reliable. And kill the rest of the front line. Yeah. <clears throat> Milk guy. <laughs> the hum up. One, you know, do you guys remember the uh the, the dragon stuff like the Bahamut? I used to that used to be so hard for me to say. Bahamut. Yes. Behemoth. <clears throat> Six Yones is looking good. Forget the past. It only clouds the future. Uh, anti heal. Morello. And then gauge, I guess. <clears throat> I 
I need one more for, uh, I need one more Yone, and then I, I could have sent it probably. I said I didn't have a streak to preserve. Oh, Kaisa too. Jeez. What? I have two Kaisas in my shop. What? Okay. Heroic, gra oh, Grim Harvest. Oh my. Another Kaisa, why not? Really sick spot. Save for even try. I have last whisper. I have last one. I don't need it. <clears throat> if we go first, we are masters. Ah, yeah, you know. I totally was thinking about that. I definitely was not uh, purposely staying in diamond or anything like that. Masters. Yes, that's the, that's the goal. That's the goal. <laughs> I will okay I, i'm saying i will say one thing i i kind of like being not masters because i feel like the progression between the divisions is way more fun than like the zero to 500 you know what i mean like i'm gonna get the challenger but like the small dopamine drips of like oh diamond four diamond three diamond two diamond one just feels way better than just like okay i'm like masters xlp out of nowhere you know it, it feels nicer. I don't know. I, I kind of wish that there was more stepping stones, I suppose. I, I guess I guess I'm addicted, but. <laughs> you disagree? I mean, I think it's, it's just different for each person, but I, I, I kind of like the I kind of like it. There's a lot of people that are complaining like, oh, it's such a grind to get the challenger or whatever. And I'm like, huh? like because we, some people don't want rank resets and I'm, I think I'm OK with it personally. I think Yone can take a little bit of punishment, so... The thing is, I don't want to be... I don't want to be... I don't want to be next to, uh... Senna 3. Because the Senna, Senna 3 focuses... Okay, but the thing is, Yone might dash into it anyways. All right, so she kills this. Oh, wait! Oh, my God, wait! Oh, no, he dashed up here instead of that to the back. Would have been crazy. Wait a second! Oh, it was nuts, it was nuts. I'm a genius. That that positioning was accidentally genius. Man. How does he do it? Agree, but when I hit matches, I just start cooking instead of following comps. Yeah, I mean, this is different for each person. Oh, oh my god. A heavenly emblem. I mean, you're probably gonna take this Wukong for sure. I'll take uh what? You're joking me. Oh, okay's business. What? <laughs> All right. I just got a Wukong. <clears throat> uh, as third pick. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Nice. And I have a, a heavenly emblem. And like uh hopefully okay if i if i don't have a he heavenly emblem you can also play you can also play umbral emblem and also on the very low key you could probably also make a uh a ghostly emblem it's like it's not it's not it's not that terrible it's actually not that terrible Yasuo to uh, tank. <clears throat> Yone 3 to shut down the Faden. That was huge. Uh, I need to hold on to Soraka. 4, 7. Wait, I miscounted. Okay, never mind. Arithmetic can be hard. Not everyone passes. That's why they call it a curve. Porcelain Yone would be strong. The thing is, I don't have a porcelain unit, right? The reason why I'm saying ghostly is because it can fit within uh, Kane. 
Uh, so I'm trying to think about like the thing. The nice thing about Spat and this Heavenly Yone comp is you can make a Heavenly Emblem. You can make a Ghostly Emblem. You can you can you can make an Umbral Emblem if you want as well. You also could uh, even make a Dryad Emblem, but like I don't know, Dry Dryad Emblem does not sound very good. But at least you have something to do with it, you know. It's never fully dead, is what I'm trying to say. There's like there's no way you can miss. You gotta hit something. Pew. Wukong is such an insane. I know. I can't believe they let me get Wukong, man. They let me get the Woo. Six faded, seven faded, story weavers, Bruiser Kaisa. Um. So I have ghostly, I guess, if I want. Tom Kench too. Gain. No heavenly? Dude. I'm brawled. Satch. <clears throat> oh, ho, 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 dude. A Yone diving to the top right and getting the Kais on the second cast. That's what you want. The second cast is what you really care about with uh, Yone because the first cast is always like whatever you can't really control it. Second cast the re where you position Yone is often trying to uh, catch. Him. I don't think it's Umbral on Kane. Who, who would it be on then? Wukong? I can always sub it out later. Just, I'm more I'm much more likely to hit Kane too. Way. This is the part where Backline. Nice. Sell so, uh, this Hui, I guess. I mean, Hui can be what I play at 10. I can also take out Soraka. Did... What's, the, what's the heavenly bonus? 200. It's a lot. 200 is a lot. It doubles everything. <clears throat> Tech the Hui for the three star Malphite. Six turns. Mm, okay, I mean, if I had if I had another Malphite, maybe actually, I could see that actually. Want the mana reaper. Also, why is Nico here? Nico should be in the front. My bad. <clears throat> I have my my tank stacked away from uh, Yone here. That's pretty bad. I mean, I'm just so far ahead. Doesn't matter. I'd rather drop four Reaper. Oh no! 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 Oh no! Don't 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 drop four Reaper. There's a reason why they're nerfing this trait. 
Reapers deal bleed enemies for 50% true damage. Don't do that. Don't do that. Hodge for Wukong. I can also take blue buff for Kindred. I can also take Redemption. Take like some like actual friendly items. Uh. Damn. Let's put this on Kindred, I guess. Have her casting a lot more often. It's actually pretty good. It's kind of like blue buff. Okay. I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of these small decisions might end up being the reason why I don't uh, win this lobby. I I, th I feel I get the feeling I'm gonna be stuck in this game. I'm not sure why. Or rather, I I know why. I'm just saying I'm not sure why I feel that way exactly. I just get the vibe. Is adaptive Wukong bad? Oh, it's not bad. It's just the way I'm thinking about it is uh, my kindred is just like I want I want to stack my Reapers, right? Like the, the whole point is I'm playing Heavenly Reapers. The heavenly is there to support the reapers and uh the reapers are my carries because i'm playing grim harvest so the more i stack my reapers the stronger that they'll be and, and kha'zix is like the least important reaper so i just want to like and if, if i wasn't going to get hodge for wukong that'd be my second option. <clears throat> me versus the seven faded bosses Man, it's actually tough because top left corner. I don't think I reach because I, so I, I have to give up the umbral execute for the top left. Hmm. Oh, Wukong's here. All right, because I wanted to do the thing. Second cast for him goes top. Oh, it actually goes top right. Oh no, it went to. Uh, went almost. No, Yone, slide! Yone! Yone! Thank you, thank you. Oh man. Okay, if I did the Huey strategy, I would have I would have actually had uh, Malphite 3 by now. Uh, whoever was like, uh, you should have done that strategy. In hindsight, yes. But the other question would be, would I have won all these fights? <clears throat> maybe, maybe not. But maybe that's not what's important. I could actually cap out higher. There's an entire possibility of that, too. Don't be mean to Kha'Zix. He's trying his... I mean, yeah. He's, dude, Kha'Zix is a valuable member of the team. You have to field nine, nine uh, players, right? Actually, I, I, just, I wait one. Blue Wukong. Blue Kong. Like, you have to field a certain amount of team, right? <clears throat> Switch sides. Boom. Long term, I actually want to probably put Edge of Night onto Wukong and then sub out of it. But I don't know. Look, look at this cane go crazy, man. Are we sure that was an Umbral cane? Is he going for it? No, he can't. He can't because they're both playing Faded. They're both playing the same tree. Unless I'm missing something, they're like playing like Orn 3, but they're both playing the exact same tree, so they can't. Stick to the plan. I'll just end it here. I'll just end it. If, 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 I, if, I, if I like lose here, then... I don't know. I guess I'll be sad, but it is what it is. <clears throat> oh, I'm lagging.
Also, should I have shouldn't I have Wukong in the front because I use blue buff? Doesn't matter. Rushing victory. Ooh, watch out! Hey, it's a first. Never mind. It was a it was a very easy dominant first place. <laughs> I don't know. Just I guess I guess part of me just worries that these players cap so high that I just lose. But uh, easy dub. All right. And what's the verdict? Loading. Congrats, bro. Thank you, Beef. Kha'Zix is providing four Reaper and 20% crit chance. What more can you ask for? That's what I'm saying. I feel like, uh, hey, we did it. Oh, man. It took really long, guys. It took really long this time. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> also, do you guys want to see... Do, do, should we just recap what uh, my scores were? Let's just let's just recap real quick. Let's just recap real quick. My scores were one six, one seven, one eight today, and a six. <laughs> uh, I think that's called tearless brain, where it's just like you just keep going for things because you know the best in slot conditions, but like you follow the guides a little too much. I think I think I have TFT Academy brain. I, I, I have like, okay, this has to be like the, the conditions for the win out. Looking for the game channel. All right. Sounds good. Where's the game channel? Uh, oh my God. Wait, my wife got the gold four. Look at that. Playing Kog'Maw reroll. And then what did she also get? Oh, she's a Kog'Maw one trick. <laughs> nice. Congratulations. Uh, can we get a round of applause for Tay AFK hitting gold and Frodan hitting master? <laughs> All right. Okay, so in about one hour and a half, we're gonna start uh watch partying box box boot camp with box box. Are people still streaming? Range streaming, taxation streaming, I don't actually. Okay, a lot of people in this range of streaming. I think it'll be fun to watch Platinum Emerald 4. That's good. Don't worry, it took really long, but you were having fun. I did have a lot of fun. I did have a lot of fun. I mean, that, this climb the Masters took longer, but. Hey, we got there. Okay, so we got a little bit of time before it. Um, let me see. Ooh, ooh. How about this? How about this? Uh, is there any... I, I, I might just do a sub giveaway right now for a sub coaching giveaway. Maybe watch... Uh, I'll, I'll backseat one sub right now. I'll, I'll do that. While we have like an hour. Actually, let me do that. Let me do that after this game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play one more game. And then if you are a sub, uh, we'll, I, I'm going to just randomly draw and then I'll just do like a live sub uh, backseating like coaching session. It's not going to be a serious coaching session, Man, but it'll be I'm like a, a backseat coaching one. So I'll do a random draw. I'll do Nightbots TV and then I'll do a, a log. Oh, okay. okay. It didn't ask for a password. It didn't ask for a password. I'll just do a giveaway to subs only. That'd be fun. Because I need to do something to kill like an hour anyways, so I'll just do like one or two of those. Blue Lunar, thank you for the Prime. Can you backseat if I'm TFT mode? Okay, so the only thing is uh, you need to be able to join my Discord and join this channel at the very bottom. So in my Discord, there's a lot of different things. But at the very bottom, uh, you go to one-on-one -on -one coaching and then you would join it with me and it's, it's just, it's, there's two people max. It's only me and you. Batsy Taylor. <laughs> uh, she doesn't like when I backseat her. Not because I'm not good at it. She just, she, in her words, she doesn't want to fail in front of me. Uh, and 
she because she she feels like she's getting judged even if I'm not saying anything. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I think she feels like uh, if she I, I think if she feels like if she's playing uh, with me, then she's gonna be like, oh man. Look at all the mistakes she's making. I'm not really thinking that, but it's it's something that she says she that that it's like a mental block for her. So yeah. So I'll play this game and then we'll do uh one or two games of that and then we'll join Box Box. So Masters is low elo now. <laughs> Why is this a thing? Why did more Why is Mork Dog torching me, man? Unpin man, after. I'm Mork Dog again. Let's go. Oh man, hide for yourself. <laughs> Jamin, thank you for the eight months, man. Thank you, thank you. All right, someone said that like now, uh, Soju is officially Frodan low. Let me see. <clears throat> is that true? He is. Oh God. Oh God, that is not good. I mean, look at it. He's literally playing fortune trick shot. He's just, he's just, he's just trying to game. He's just trying to game. Okay. Whatever. 1k LP today. Tired of getting harassed. I feel that. Why are you so low elo? Oh, I mean, part of it was uh one. Uh, uh, it's hard to climb early in the set. Regardless of what you think, Masters is... Let me see. Masters is top 200 on the server. So that means... this is if, if they were to make a challenger cut right now, this is technically challenger. Challenger source for the top 200, right? 250 or whatever. So this is technically like based off the percentile challenger so that's one the other thing about it is uh this is a really hard set and then the third thing is also um uh wait i forgot it was a really good point it was a really good point what up bloody yeah, that's right i'm masters hog Oh, 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 uh, I, I was, I won't, when I got eliminated from bootcamp, I went into tier list mode, which is like, you, you guys, you, you, <laughs> do you see these comps in B and C tier? Who do you think is playing them between myself and Disso? One, one of us has LP and one of us does not. So who do you think is the one playing? You tell me. Like it's not it's not like it's not like I'm not like making excuses. I'm just saying. I'm just I'm just trying to observe. Just think about it. One guy has LP and one guy does not have much LP above zero. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not making excuses. Wait, guys, it's not excuses. I'm just I'm just I'm asking questions. That's all it is. Okay, what's my ink shadow? Tattoo of Fury? Three. He trucks. I got a Morello. Not today. Boy, boy, scrapper. Tattoo of Fury Morello. It's really good. Uh, not today is like more for like Reapers, like Yone. Probably not. I don't have that spot for right now. Reaper crep. Yawn. Okay. Well, I'm going to let him have yawn then. Mulched. Oh, I can play Kindred. Wait, can I? I mean, whatever. It's just, just try it. Just try it. What's the worst that can happen? I go eighth. I'm mulching. We're mulching. I 
I lost. That's not good. Okay, uh... I need to pick up the Kindred. Or, uh, the Ari. Morgana offers you a choice. Oh, wait a second. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hold on. Hold on. I get a free uh, two-star Kindred. Can I play Shoujin Kindred? Shoujin Kindred is like much worse than Bubo Kindred, isn't it? Let me look it up in the statistics. Kindred with three items. Uh, blue buff versus Shoujin. Oh yeah, it's a lot worse. Well, it's like it's like 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 a two tenths. <clears throat> but it turns it from like a winning item to like a average item. Oh no, it's actually it's not the worst thing in the world. Dax two. This one's got fire. Okay, but like, where's my uh? Where's my kindred, man? I want kindred. The cool thing about kindred is you actually don't really even need the three star other ghostlies. You just play ghostlies around kindred three, and in this instance, I might play around Nar three as well. I don't think you're supposed to play around Nar three every single game though. <clears throat> The data shows that Nar is like not that impactful. I can't tell if it's a hard set since headliners are gone. Actually, hoping to make massive sets since the mechanic is rather neutral. Can't high roll, low roll as much as every game. Rest say thing. I think you got this, buddy. You got this. I'm pretty sure if your goal is to get the masters, you can 100% do it. I think masters is like a good goal and a completely attainable goal, even if it's really hard. <clears throat> And I'll just say right now, like, uh, if anybody like says like, oh, masters is no big deal. It's so easy, whatever like that. That's like a good sign that that person is not worth your time. They've, uh, it's, it's always nice when the, when the trash takes itself out, you know, Should I take a tier or take a kindred. I'll take a tier. <clears throat> Itemization matters a lot more. I'll, I'll, I'd rather do uh, I'd rather do Morello uh, tier item than be stuck on no tier item Kindred. Hey, and there we go. And there you have it. Golden finale. I don't know why i think you know what it is man i think i hang out with tft players too much it just sounds suggestive to me a golden finale like this is this just comes completely innocuous and yet i win <clears throat> So it's uh, snapshots, cut Senate Jax, and it's uh, the ghosts. Shen, Aatrox, Ilawi, and uh, Caitlyn. Confirmed. It's going to be really unlikely that you hit the four ghostly. So you got to play like more flexibly around it. But this is like one way you can play it. The other is to play around Faded. So, like, if you don't play around four Ghostly, you can also play around Faded. So, let's say you don't hit Caitlyn and you don't hit, um, uh, like, Aatrox. Then you can just play, uh, Thresh and, like, Ari. I personally think this is, like, stronger than four Ghostly. But the thing is, I think hitting Thresh is hard. So, I'm just going to add all of them. I'm just going to add all of them. Actually, let me position. Okay, never mind. I didn't position. Also, this guy's level six. Kanju, please, man. Okay, we're good. We're good. Yeah, I thought for a sec this Kanju guy was about to just hit me with the level six. I mean, if I lose, I lose. It's all good. Uh, Aatrox and uh, okay. Kanju. 
Damn. Wayne there would have been a big deal. All good. Galio. Hmm. I wonder if I should have... Eh. Most wants me to play more vertical Dryad, right? Dryad deal 10% additional damage. I mean... I guess so. Darius needs a buff? I mean, not really. That guy, that, I'm pretty sure this Darius unit is so OP in the early game. Rod. Senna. Got me any kindreds? The buff? Oh, blue book gunplay is pretty good. Blue buff gunplay from Morello. Those are great items, actually. Drop, uh,. I mean, I just picked up this Galio, right? It's an early Galio. Like, surely. Surely we play early Galio. Um. <clears throat> so, I level 6, and then I look for... I don't know. Another Reaper. You're supposed to play like ghostly eventually, but what is this? Titans, Titans, BT, Yone, perfect items. Oh god, that's not good. What's the best possible augment I could get here? Dryad crown or something? Dryad crest? Oh, no, no. Uh, uh, the Prismatic Dryad one, because 4-2 is golden finale. Kindred, dash the Yone! Yes! Yes! Okay, this is partially what makes it good, is that Kindred is a counter to Yone. That's exactly... Okay, well, he's Yone one, but... Razor Crest. Round Guard. Okay, this is bug, though. Big grab bag. Station of support sounds good to me. Oh, heavy... Oh... Heavy hitters. Heavy. Mm, heavy hitters. Do I roll a little bit here? I have Aatrox pair, Rek'Sai pair. I mean, if I hit like another. Oh. Oh. Ooh la la. Okay. Wait, I don't have. I don't have Shad. I mean, it's fine. I rolled a little bit to get stronger. I think I got stronger. It's a Galio one. It is. It, I do have Bruiser, but I have no items. Galio. It's naked Galio. This is probably better. <clears throat> Bear on the Faded. Because it gives me. It gives Kindred a little bit more power. So, like, Kindred right now is getting defended better. Which one I link Kindred? No, I mean, I want, I want, what, what are the, what are the, what are the stats I want on Kindred? I want, uh, AP and I want resistances. That sounds really good, isn't it? Wait, it only works with the paired units? Oh. I knew that. In that case, uh, I want, <laughs> I probably want this then. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> yeah. I probably want it. Yeah, I probably want it. <laughs> do I want, uh, do I, do I want Ink Shadow item? I mean, I want this on Kindred. I'll just play this on Ari. Like, all good. Okay. Thresh almost didn't cast, which makes me think it should be Thresh and Kindred. Also, this was so troll. No worries. You guys love my no. Yeah, you guys love my no ghostly, ghostly Kindred? Shen 2, Senna 2, 
Aatrox too. Hit the goal. Well, if I'm playing Gnar, gotta start working on Gnar items. Hook makes sense to me. <clears throat> I'm down for him to parent my kids and I'll read. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, you're talking about me. This guy does nothing but TFT. I mean, I wish that was true. But uh, TFT does take up a big part of my life. That is, that is, that is, that is true. Okay, I think it's these two. I think I think Ari is uh, not it. Uh oh. I I I I feel like everyone's really strong. All right, what's my dryad stacks at? 33? That's not bad. Oh, it's because of mulch. Mulch is giving me more stack. Kane drew. I faded. Okay, I found it. This is what I wanted to play the whole time. I mean, it's not good this. Ari too. I know. No, you're just ditching all this. Sad though. Oh, that's kind of a high roll. Oh my. Hitting that? Of all things in a faded lobby? Okay, isn't actually this comp kind of bait because of how many people play faded? I'm pretty I'm pretty sure way too many people play faded for, for, for this to actually be feasible. I'm looking around, man, and there's like six kindreds gone. And like the worst part is they, they're not even trying to grief me. They're just like they're just playing faded. <clears throat> they see uh, they see pale unit. They click pale unit. Also, I just got railed. Okay, I'm starting to think I'm, I'm going to go eighth with this. I was in a pretty good spot here and then I just like lost three fights by like five units. How many people actually use Kindred? It's also in Yone, you're right. You guys, I'm starting to think that uh, this build is not very good. Our wills align. I, you're, you're like so contested in every direction. You're contested by the Ghostlies, you're contested by the Faded, you're contested by the, by the Yone players. It's like perfectly positioned to get griefed. <laughs> <laughs> Adjacently by everything else. Etrox. We play Kane. Uh, hold on. Okay. Also, I'm not making any progress on this kindred as well. I mean, Nar too. Hodge Nar. D Claw. All right, I'm stacking Thresh. Not Morgue, I think. Probably not this. I don't have shred. That's a big problem. But I don't know if I can greed. I need frontline items. Okay, come on. Yone counter. Yone counter. The Yone counter. And the Yone counter. Countered. Boom. See, Sia knows a thing or two. That's exactly what they're talking about. <clears throat> guys just holding Kindred 2 on the bench. Okay, isn't that really bad? <laughs> I, mean, I think I'm in a really bad spot. Oh god. Uh teaming up. I mean support cash. I'm not looking for four cost. Armistice. Reinforcements. I think it's just support cash. I also can take harmistice, just take triple combat. 
there's not like i mean the only thing okay so support cache has uh not only combat stuff but also has obsidian cleaver which might be good yone three. Oh god there's too many kindreds out I'm looking around. There's three kindreds out. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen. So there's nine kindreds left, and I have to hit six of them. It's, it's literally impossible. And, and you know what's crazy? I hit. Uh, I only hit one kindred because I, I technically got the stars were born augments. Okay, this is a this is a gigabot for. All right, never mind. I'm staying away from this comp from moving forward. Oh, I'm coming for you. What do I do here now? Just level. Is it? Uh, it's pretty cheap to level. I'll just do this, and then go to eight to play four ghostly, and then die. Sounds good. <clears throat> Man. He's just getting out tempoed by the meta comps as well. I should I should, it's on me man I listened to reddit also like wait this entire lobby is griefing each other it's crazy everyone's playing the same thing oh Azir okay we're back hold on hold on hold on now I just level and play find Orn Wow, it's literally two Yone players, two Faded players, two Ghostly play, two Senna players, and then one uh, Sage player. Interesting. Nar. Okay, let's try it. Boom. Wow, look at that look at that that is a beauty or dryad oh another nar oh wait what hold on <clears throat> okay i'm down to hit nar three at eight that'd be kind of cool That over Ari? Oh yeah, you're right. I was thinking about uh I was thinking about again Alawi and the ghostly. You right. That is better. It's a myth. Oh, 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 oh. Now imagine if I had shred. Okay, I have this Aatrox guy. Or uh, this guy now. Do this. Uh. Okay. I'm just dead. Or Ghostly is way better than three faded. Okay. I also think Thresh 2 is way better than uh, one star, one star Alawi. Live for Shen. Do you guys think the do you think the warden really matters though? Like the three behemoth kind of matters for each other though. Like it's not even like behemoth's bad stacking. 
I guess I get like a warden, but it's like making my Nar too. I guess it does have odd. Narcanist. Oh yeah, you're right. Ah, uh, I don't really think I can do much though. I'm not sure if Alawi actually uh, wins this though. But, uh, let me see. Oh, the comp doesn't look that bad though on paper, in terms of the synergy bars. Okay, so this plus and minus this and find a ghostly. Okay. I have no frontline items though. No shred. Oh, I got a bunch of items. Set. Oh, what the? My fate on anybody. The last time I ate a plant. Do I want to play this as ghostly. Never a dull moment. Oh, my. I didn't hit anything. Wait, I have to. OK, whatever. <laughs> just, 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 just kill me and get me. And I'm just going to take my eighth and I'm going to go. I'm going to take my eighth and I'm just going to leave and I'm going to stop playing. I'm just not going not to play this comp. <laughs> I learned my lesson, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh all good this was a this was a cursed lobby to even try it because like if you look at it across the board it was like three four players were playing kindred oh my god it, it, was, it was insanity there's like there's no way you can actually hit it this is actually ridiculous all right never mind good try good try good try <clears throat> all right i need to redeem myself after that one and then we'll do uh we'll do a sub sub give a, a sub game i i need to redeem myself back like that one didn't count that one's like uh let me turn on my turn off my night settings Oh, I'm in Asa and Keen's lot. Okay, I got I got a sweat for this. So I can't just give him free LP. Okay. Anyways, I'm pretty sure this comp is uh, it, it you just need to not be contested at all, and it's very it's very situational. But I can see shreds of it doing really well. I got the Kiyun, Asa, Weijin, Philip, Sweat lobby. Actually, low key, this is like a regional lobby. Champion duplicator, gold opener. I'll play gold opener. Oh, degrees in his lobby too. <clears throat> oh man, this is like serious lobby. Golden finale. Last augment offered will be gold tier. Hey, what up, Scotty? Okay, okay. Enough nonsense here. Malphite pair. Pretty decent start. Behemoth. Aaron, Yorick, Diana, Volger, Lissandra. Um, I'll sell Yorick. Watch this. 
Was this supposed to hold York then instead and try, try to see if I can play around it instead of Riven? Probably. I would have had York pair. <clears throat> Kogma, why not? One, twos, threes. Uh, I don't have many pairs. Silver Spoon seems more consistent. Archangels into Thaded. Golden Remover. It's not very good right here. I didn't save Kabuko either. I think it's uh silver spoon probably. I do this. That is Wednesday. Yep, that is correct. I think I'm going to pick up Ari and uh, probably sell this. I'll take a Rek'Sai pair. Fine Vintage Asa. Okay. All right, let's scout around and see what people got. So we got Caretaker's Ally. Uh, into what looks like to be Yorick. Oh, wait. I can't tell. Move 4-2 to a random round. Okay. So Degree has Find Vintage. Over Encumbered. Find Vintage. Oh, God. Switching gears. Last Whisper. Rage Blade, one, two, threes. RE2. No faded though. I wanna play Yone instead. Probably. Is Heavenly better than Dryad? 150 HP versus just like Heavenly crits. Two yeah, it's fine. I'll probably just save it like this. <clears throat> What if we play Heavenly Kindred reroll? I mean, guys, I'm going up against some of the best players in the server. <laughs> if you guys want me to meme and go eighth, I guess I can. But like, um, I don't know. I, I, I'm trying. I'm kind of trying hard right now. How do I make gold? I can't. I have to sell RE2. Uh, but I have to play best board. I guess I'm just going to sell RE2 then. That sucks. Sell RE2 and Garen. Come on, Kindred. Dude. That's actually such a big deal. Oh. Spatula. Man. I guess my board isn't like that strong, but like, damn.
This is better for Syndra. I think I'm playing. I think I'm playing Syndra. Just don't play here. Although, like, part of the reason why I put it here was the flexibility in case I wanted to play around uh, someone else. But I think it's just better to put this on Malphite now. And that might have been last game, last fight. It might have just been like itemizing the Malphite a little bit more, and that Our might have been the. <clears throat> okay, uh, do I win this fight? I think I do. Yes. Server. I mean, Nico's probably better here than the Dryad. Dryad only gives uh, 100 the HP and 15 AP, and I already get scaling AP. Gives me 60 HP across the board, and I get to sell it anyways. I think gold. Sell. Level 6. Really? What? Are, wait. Oh, come on, man. Oh, God. Okay, I'm dead. Less? Wait a second. Wait just a second. Oh no, I lost. Kind of close though. I definitely would have won if he didn't level. Who's his caretakers? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, wow. <laughs> Run it back. I, yeah, yeah, about that. About that. <laughs> All right, came back. I know it's kind of, kind of fortunate, actually. Oh, oh, fresh. That's big. Get in touch with your spiritual side. Um, do I just TG here? I mean, it's really cheap to level, so I do this. And then TG Yone, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And then. And then work on blue buff. <clears throat> I mean, my Connie is decent. Oh man, one ZZ Rob plus the Aegis already. That's not good. I think it's like one star so far, but that look, who is this? Asa? Asa already kind of has it rolling. You can technically do characters for a minor gold econ, but three star two cost just be better than 16 gold. I mean, it depends on uh, which two star three cost it is. Ghostly, ghostly, ghostly. Rolling for days. Teaming up. I'll just harvest this. Something like generic. Actually, parcel essentially kind of works with uh, a 
Oh, that do anything? Not really. <clears throat> but partial ascension kind of works with the archangel strategy. Just kind of like second half of this fight, I'm gonna go crazy. Is a Shen. I feel like I feel like I just sell though, don't I? Because I I feel like I have to make gold. Reaper instead of Yone, but Yone is a Reaper. Isn't that a good thing? Born. The last time I ate a plant was never. Stone plates. If I stone plate Orn, then I don't have the opportunity to stone plate Thresh later on. So I'm just going to put it on, on this guy for now. And I just want the optionality of being able to put it onto uh, the other guy. Anyways, uh, the, uh, all the faded units, faded units, faded units, faded units, faded units, faded. Dude, I'm sounding like that one dude. Faded in the hope. <clears throat> Man, I'm getting more dogged again. Oak. I can take, I can do uh, adaptive if I really need it. Yes, say, thank you for the 11. What up, Rio? I wonder if uh, adaptive is good enough on Syndra as well. Probably is. Um. Technically, my next interval level is next turn because I'm 30 right now, so it costs 32 and I beat over leveling because of uh, blue, uh, silver spoon. I wonder if I should play four behemoth temporarily. Probably. Doesn't sound bad. Man, York just really does does nothing. York. <laughs> yeah, with his items, he's just not doing anything. All good though, I think. Oh, oh my God! What was that? Oh no, almost. Oh, Kindred shot down just on a midair. That was nasty. That was nasty. I do that. Disbelief. That was crazy. A 28. Uh, it's actually really cheap. Something like that. Have all these the behemoths stack up. <clears throat> is bruiser still good uh it can be a good front line if you're playing around story weaver like it's really good on oh nice anti heal uh it's really good on uh like kaisa and playing around story weaver with her you can play around sivir as a trick shot and then you can play galio plus riven and then you have bruisers that way Why didn't we stone play Thresh? I mean, 
I actually won both my fights doing this. So like, is it even that bad? Is it going to be anyone else? Uh, if I hit Orn too, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's not impossible. Uh, also, I think I'm more likely to hit York too. I don't know, I guess. Ice, uh, My destination is clear. Syndra is probably adaptive then. Adaptive. Oh, God. Is it adaptive Warmogs? It might be. Forty-four. It's a clean interval now. I think it's Warmogs. <clears throat> Lucky gloves for two. Oh, wait. Oh, that changes things. That changes things for sure. I think I level at four three. Also, is anyone else kind of impressed with this kindred? It's been pretty good. It's been pretty good so far. Yasuo. Adaptive shred means no, or adaptive warm means no shred, no anti heal. I guess so. I do have TG, but uh, that is true. Also, this Kindred will never kill any units. Oh no, man. Wait. Okay, well. Next turn's my natural interval. So I can level, roll a little bit. And sell this. Oh my god. I just need a Philios now. Let me sure I'll just make this at the moment. Wait, did I have 7 faded? I don't have Ari, is not it. Not it. Oh, I don't have a Philios. I don't have a Philios. Okay. <clears throat> no. Close. Uh, I mean, a, a set pair, but then I really don't have any chance for a uh, shred. Tier is half of Shiv. I don't know, half of Redemption. <clears throat> Belt is probably consistent as well. Let's go ahead and just roll for this with Helios. Okay. Uh, just itemized Orn two, I guess. I guess I should see if I can hit Thresh too. Okay, it's always Thresh too. Because uh, he, he, Orn doesn't have the, the faded stats.
Ash doesn't matter, right? I, I put Ash out of habit from Aphelios, but in this case, it doesn't really matter. I just push levels. Hey, I got an anti heal that way. <clears throat> oh, set didn't cast again. That's big. Oh, let's go. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm catch. Set the Omnivan is so good, man. Should I roll until I hit Sinja 2? I mean, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much, uh, staying here at 8, right? Going to 9 is, like, once I stabilize and hit Sinja 2. Or Trick Shot, Kaisa. Sword. Arm assist. Not a lot of share traits with know your enemy. Not a lot of share traits at all. Little buddies. Oh, isn't little buddies insane? One, two, three. Okay. Ninja two would be huge. Uh, Ash two does not matter. <clears throat> I think I just like go I go nine now right Ash is a fraud yeah yeah, yeah. sorry uh, let, let me just like remove this <laughs> it does not matter Wow, Orn gave me Shiv and Sunfire Cave. How insane is that? That's uh that is cheating. Also, I realized that I should have Orn give items to um Syndra if can. <laughs> yeah. Dude, my Orn just gave me exactly what I needed. Anti-heal plus shred. That's crazy. <clears throat> Who holds Shiv? Probably Ari. And Kendra can dance her way or uh, into uh death. No components. Fuck, that was Kendra too. Yes. It all happened so fast. What is this, man? What is this? Oh no. Oh, that is bad. Um. Okay, what about TG double adaptive? Like I said, death blade. <clears throat> <laughs> oh God. <clears throat> Sandra. Oh, Sandra farms me items. I got shit. I got shred. Dude, why did I? Oh, man. I should have just made a decision quicker. I think double adaptive is probably not that good, but just like I wanted a third item on Syndra. I don't know. I I trolled. I trolled. I did it. I trolled. What? What is that? 
What is that? There's so many ages. Hang on, man. That's a that's a that's a lot of ages. Aegis Esports out here, you know? <clears throat> What's the add-on Fodan uses? Uh, Meta TFT. But you can find the overlay stuff at uh, TFT Hub. 60 level. Level for the Lissandra. I mean, I high rolled this game because I hit the set on eight. Like, isn't that disgusting? I hit set in Sinjur 2, and basically by the time I hit a field. Yeah, Sinjur 2, Orn 2, set, and like 30 gold. Isn't that, that's, that's a little high roll, I think. Are there two? Yes, yes. There are uh, two vin fine vintage players. There's Degree and Asa. They're both playing it. Although, uh, Ace is playing the Dragon Lord Duelist variation. I mean, there's two forms of shred, Last Whisper and Even Shroud. That's about it. Let's go on Lissandra. I can always take her out later if I don't want it. I also do this. This decent shred. Uh kind of sus. <clears throat> I'm hoping Lissandra can print me an item here. Even just one item would be really big. Component, one component would be really big. Okay. Potted, 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 potted. No. Way. Okay, okay, that's a high roll, that's a high roll. Man, the no the no heal the no utility items is really punishing me. Like really punishing me very hard. Two divine or fine vintage players. Gosh. Getting <clears throat> okay, steamrolled. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Sindra! Oh, she fizzled! She fizzled! Woo! Oh my gosh! She went infinite? Wait a second. That's crazy. Oh my god. Wow. Was there any doubt of uh, whether or not Set and Thresh are the, are, the, are the pair? I mean, it's just been shattered. Damn. Nutty. Absolute cinema. What up, Thomas? How's it going tonight? It's going all right. I'm uh, first or eighth gaming today. First or eighth gaming today. No one is promised tomorrow. All runs are mine. Uh. 
I'll help. We are made by our choices. I mean, if I find another set. Uh... Honestly, take another defensive item. Is have it go on to Lissandra? I don't know. didn't win oh no all the fine vintage players are falling off Wouldn't wish my fate on anybody. oh god oh man one life this is uh this is rough alessandra And Annie for anti heal. Boom. Fuck it. Nope. No, man. The third? The third. It's a fourth? Oh my god. That's so crazy, man. Dude, this divine vintage thing. That ah, that was so bad, actually. That's so bad. Ah, oh, they just went one, two. They didn't play each other enough times. Uh whatever. Oh, well, that's fine. It is what it is. Okay, uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, top four is top four. It's fine. Also, I gained 14 LP. It just shows you the quality of the lobby that we're playing in. It's just I knew I could have played for third. Third third was probably the highest I was going to go, given the both players. The both players didn't miss, by the way. They both hit, like, everything, which is also very... It's, like, actually very unlikely that happens, but it is what it is. Uh, good players are high rollers. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give away a sub coaching backseating uh, game right now. So basically, if you are a sub, wait, how do I actually do this? Eligibility user, subscriber. If you're a sub and you are in my Discord, if you want to, if you want to get a game where I will watch you and I'll backseat and coach you, basically one game, uh, you just have to be a sub right here. So the keyword is coach me if you type this and you are a sub you're eligible for it as in right now yes as in right now because we ha we we need we need to stall for about 35 40 minutes before i meet it with box box if you guys would like i'm gonna run ads real quick and then we'll uh we'll get it done I want to make sure I'll, I'll I'll do it when there's like 10 to 12 people. But it feels like there's a random drawing for anybody that's here. If you are a sub and you want to participate, go ahead and sign up. We have seven users right now. You want to FF? Oh, I mean, if you want to FF your game, you can totally go for it. It's totally fine. <clears throat> all right dare we got dare we need one or two more one or two more and then uh we'll 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 do the thing all right is that it We'll just have eight people sign up. That's totally fine. I just want to make sure I give many people as many chances as they can. All right. Ready? 
three, two, one. All right, it's the beef. It's the beef. Congratulations, buddy. Okay, so uh, what I need you to do is I need you to join Discord right here in the one-on-one -on -one coaching, and you just stream your POV to me. Rig, what are you talking about? You, you guys had one in eight options. It's actually really good odds. Really, really good odds. The odds are so good. This is probably like the highest odds giveaway you possibly can get, man. And then we'll do the box box uh, countdown after that. Beef, I need you to get in quickly. I need you to get in quickly. Otherwise, uh, I, I'm not going to be able to do it in time before the, the watch party starts. Beef, where you at? Pass it along. I already rolled. I already rolled it. Okay, one more time. One more time. The the keyword is reset eligibility. The re, the the keyword is coach me. Keyword coach me and then you'll be eligible and make sure you can join Discord. And we'll wrap it up here in a little bit. Oh, it's not a big deal. All right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Roll that Rio guy. What up, Rio? Okay, Rio, join my Discord uh, in my one-on-one -on -one coaching section and then share your screen with me and queue it up. Hello, what up? What up? Hello, what up? Okay, Yo. uh, mute my stream and let's queue it up and uh, see what you got today. All right, sounds good to me. How's your climb uh, been? It's been all right. I've uh, took a little bit of a break this weekend, but uh, it's like, oh, well, all right, let me just go and hop on in. All right. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so uh, tell me what you are playing, like what you feel comfortable with, because what I don't want to do necessarily is like just be telling you to do stuff that you're not comfortable with. So give me a little bit of insight as to your climb and what you feel has been working for you. All right. I've been mostly been playing affiliates, just a lot of faded gaming. I tend to go into just high, high tempo. I'm not much of a fortune player or anything like that so got it got it uh your your screen stopped sharing you did the league of legends thing open a new new window and stop sharing right, yeah sounds good try again all right all all right let's do it let's do it okay Ow. random augments how do we feel about that <laughs> Okay, so a lot of faded. Uh, are you comfortable with things that you pivot off of it? Like, do you, are you aware of other things you can play besides Aphelios if you have Aphelios items? Oh, yeah, for sure. I tend to try to play very flexibly if I can. Okay. But uh, I'm, I just don't play really risky. So Okay, I've, okay. I'm down I've, for that. I'm down for that. I go for top fours and just look at my stuff. It's just like, oh, all right, top four it is. I'm down. Okay, not bad, not bad. Start off with the Thresh. Yeah, I'm sorry. All right, Thresh. Uh, that's, yeah, already my team planner. It's already done. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> Seems good to me. Seems good to me. <laughs> All right. How much did you spend on your arena, by the way? Dude. So, like, I... I burned all my tokens because I just never really want to buy anything. I, but see, I still I see. miss pity by like eleven tokens. So oh I still throw god, that's unlucky. Seventy bucks. And I'm like, yep, uh, that's that sounds about right. <laughs> got it, got it. 
Uh, so the first thing you should think about is like how you're going to play around like your early game synergies. So uh, just if you can just talk a little if you can talk a little bit about what you want to do macro wise. Oh, yeah, help. sure. I can definitely do that. So right now I'm just focusing on just early game pairs. We'll try to go for fade if we can and okay. stone plate or spark if need be. Ooh, there's also a sunfire. So let's, let's pick up this Darius if we can as well, because uh, he's a duelist that helps enable Yasuo. True. Colored mine, martyr, uh, deaf above, cut above, cybernetic. Uh, I don't really want to try to play for colored mine, so I'm leaning more towards martyr right now. I'm unsure how well it works well, faded, but also works well, cybernetic uplink. Ooh, there's also lucky streak too. Okay. Uh, um, martyr is really weak early because you don't have many allies in general, so it's one of those things where you have to be really strong to compensate. Which I, I don't true. think you are, so I, I would I would skip it personally. I'd skip it. Well, let's just go for a lucky streak. Okay, See how sounds good. Goes. Let's let's act quickly. All right. All right. Uh, Warden faded. Three faded. Pick up your what? lucky streak. Pick up your lucky streak. Uh, right, just in case it was left at home. That's yeah. Right. Uh, okay. Let's can... pause. Let's pause. Let's pause before you before you say anything. Uh, you're not gonna win, so. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can put the so you, it's one of the things where you should be thinking very clearly, like what you want to slam and why. Well, I'm gonna try to go for just shred already, and probably build the spark now and go for gambler's blade. And I do have a magnetic remover, so I could put on Ari, but okay, we could see how that goes. In this spot, you also have a really powerful combination of making, say, like a Morello with a uh, Stone Plate. And Stone Plate is really, really good. And so if you're able to put that into Yasuo, there's a reason why they're nerfing in particular. So let's try a different path. Let's put Stone Plate sure. on this Yasuo. Yeah. Sure. And then you don't have to make Morello, but you can make it as a powerful option if you want. And now you can link the Faded this way onto Ari. Exactly. All right. Let's link the Thresh and the Yasuo, and then um, I guess since we lost, we can just focus on making gold here. That makes sense to me. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Yeah. So it's an option to uh, wait, because then you can make the Rage Blade for the Aphelios, or if you want to play for anti heal. But the thing is, we didn't really win, so I don't think we were under pressure to actually, like, to try to actually commit to winning. We just want to kill, like, one or two units if we can. Yeah, I'm down. It's great. Probably do throw in uh Darius at level four for just duelist right now since I got rid of the Jax. Or I would have just probably kept Jax and had an R pair, but that might just have been right, trying right. to on high roll a little too much. But this way we made gold, which is really good because we want to stack the lucky the the uh gambler's blade. And then we also are kind of like, you know, making sure we're holding pairs. We're ready to spike when that time comes. <clears throat> Ooh we can just do this for now yeah agreed um, don't really have any other attackers mm -hmm. small There's... note uh gambler's play scales with how much gold is in your bank so if you're buying things you are you want to buy at the end of the round when the fight's already committed and you're able to win because otherwise we just lost six percent attack speed which can matter but like oh you're okay yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh sure, <laughs> sure. it doesn't really matter because we're not wind streaky but yeah, yeah it's just something to think it's about just really streaking. yeah, yeah. It's, it's just those kinds of decisions that i just tend to be like oh yeah it doesn't matter but right 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 matter. right <laughs> oh, oh hey hey you never know wow. that maybe this ends up helping us print the 20 goals yeah damn all right one more one more print one more gold oh ah, well oh, well 360s no scoped. It's all good. It's all good. Right. And now you, you would buy stuff like that, move, 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 whatever. But yeah. Yeah. And there's Gunblade okay. and some pair for Thresh here. I would say make this Rage Blade as soon as you can with uh, the bow, if you can, because sure. this was why we didn't slam these items. Mm -hmm. And this is playing consistently along a line, right? So the reason why I'm, I'm kind of like, pushing us around this pace is because we, we we spent all this time losing early and not investing into our board and our items mm -hmm. because we were mm -hmm. ready to spike in case this happened and now mm -hmm. what ends up happening is you're in this position to play not just Aphelios oh great 
Um, but you're also in a position to play uh, Bard if you end up hitting it because now you have the Gambler's Blade and the Rage Blade, and now you're like between both of those options. If that makes sense. All right. So, question: Should I, it is it sort of redundant throwing this on Ari as a Rage Blade early, or just like level and put it in Caitlyn as a second attacker? You should definitely so put this on Ari, and I think we should uh, just not level because while we did win. Oh, just as a small thing again don't buy the caitlin's but um until the round's yeah. over but uh yeah. right now we're just focused on an economic strategy and okay. if we leveled the reality is uh we don't actually have anything good to play which is a really big problem because if you're gonna mm -hmm. level just to play like a caitlin one that doesn't mm. really do much if caitlin casts that's great but she's unlikely to so this ends mm. up being the best of both worlds we didn't level and we got the greed and we won Pick up a yeah. Malphite if you can. Yeah, too late. Right, I should have told you. Just because he's a behemoth. Oh, no, oh he's got a better behemoth. Good, yeah. There you go. Yeah, behemoth. That's all good. Good. Uh, so in this just... spot, what do you think what we should do? So I guess we should probably try to scout a little mm -hmm. bit, see what's happening. A lot of Umbral Gaming, Story Weaver. This already looks like it's going to be uh, ghostly, exalted, oh, there's no fine vintage. Yeah. I do. Uh, I think it's price, too yeah. late now, but I do think in general I'm in favor of leveling because you get to add two things. You get to add in another behemoth to make uh, Thresh better, and you get to play like mm -hmm. around Umbral, and that and mm -hmm. and also we're on a spot where we want to finish out on a three streak, which could be really okay. powerful. Uh, and because three streak you get an extra gold for winning, which is a really big deal. Hey. Oh wait, so are you a genius? Are Win anyways. Here. Oh, okay, never mind. Yours is the best. Let's, let's go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Nice. All right. Uh, I mean, we could just level now, but we could. We could. Borg can, can just win against Krugs already. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to take yeah. this opportunity to kind of highlight the Nico and the Tom Kench. And part of the reason why I was we're not necessarily thinking it's like important to level is because we can hold mm -hmm. on to it uh and then have the ability to play into bar like we talked about and so right. uh right. it's something to think about if, if you have the gold to hold it i would i think uh sold uh ribbon, ribbon but... exactly there's eden and shroud redemption you can just make 50 mm -hmm. if you want as well if you're like eh, i'm not feeling it here. right yeah <laughs> I, I tend to just try stray away from Bard. I have a, <laughs> but uh, there was a line there. It looks like, uh, and then there's a adaptive helm here. Uh, still uh, one. It's good. Um, so now we're in a spot where we definitely want to slam redemption. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I think we want to get max uh, value on our uh, umbral if we can. So let's move things up. Yeah. 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 Probably something like this. this. Is, yeah, this is, yeah. Fine. this is fine. But like uh, the idea is like we, we get free shield. So let's just take the free shield if we get the free shield. Yeah. Ooh, um, Yone might get to our Ari. Yeah. yeah well, oh, never mind. 50-50. Second cast time, but she should be able to kill him here yeah let's go all right okay no augments just keep in mind our augment is not on the stage because they moved randomly yep Ooh. wow all yeah. right so another thresh yeah, could work I'm... what do you think about the lux i'm thinking just having a lux so we can some arcanists and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. she can just be at some I like that. I like that. Mm, probably just keep chilling, seeing what other people are doing. Let's uh, oh. move Yasuo to the left and then move York up one uh, and then put Lux further like to in. Because the issue that you're going to run into is that when you have your your front center unit or your solo front line unit kind of tucked in on the mm -hmm. right side and Lux is in the bottom center. Remember what happened mm -hmm. last fight where Yone just walked to the very bottom of our board and almost got to Ari? Oh, oh right we're creating weakness I, I, in our board of positioning 
that is like my worst my biggest weakness in this game is a lot with position or sometimes i just let people wrap around me because mm -hmm. i try to be too greedy totally it's leaving someone up so thanks for the heads up on that it's great let's um, pick up this caitlin at just as like it's nice to have an option to tag with a feelers if we did hit if we do somehow hit it early Damn. right um Inkshell really can't play her. What is Inkshell? I am. Yeah, that's a good question. What is it? Tattoo of Vitality? Vitality. Mm, okay. If we had Bombardment, it would be neat because we have a Rage Blade, but. Right, uh, right. Uh, not really a point for that. Uh, it might be uh, worth thinking about holding a Lowie as well. Um, right. Just in a situation where if you hit like a Mumu, a Lowey, a Philios, and like, you know, Caitlyn too. That's like, that's like a way you could theoretically play mid game. Mm -hmm. But like at the same time, don't, if it's like something that's like outside of your uh, comfort zone and purview of like what you're willing to be holding, a lot of times these mm -hmm. kinds of things complicate your roll down. So you do have to, don't, don't hold too much. Right. Just I told yeah. You too. <laughs> that's one, one thing I'm trying to avoid doing, but, um, I'm always down to try to be as flexible as I can. 100%. Okay, let's talk about Carousel. What do we want with this extra cloak and combine it right now? All right, we'll go on probably just try to go for another stone plate here, and then we'll be able to put it onto a Thresh. Um, that's what I'm going to try hope for for a chill gaff, but uh, yeah, there's not really... Well, there's a sword on Mumu too, but it's probably better just to slam since I'm streaking right now. Okay. Well, we can get it those... Nice. Double stone plate. Let's put double stone plate and just put it on Thresh. I like that. Mm, probably just do this and remove her later. Sure. Having all these pairs, but not really him. <laughs> I should probably try to roll a little bit. When yeah, I let's loot. level and roll a little bit. Let's level and roll just like down to like, okay, well, that works. You have five faded. Right. Yeah, so replace Lux with Kindred. So that works too. Yep. And uh Doing great. Alright. I think that would be good. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. I'll, I'm debating. Should I just try sell this uh no never mind. I just him. I was thinking if it was still Yasel one to just sell Yasel and start moving the items over a thresh, but I already got yeah, in these it. kinds of situations, you have a remover, and I think you're you're calling out to play around it in a good way. Let's pick up a Mumu uh, and sell something. Probably Caitlyn for now. In here? Yeah. No. Um, you called out like playing around remover, which is really good because coming back for Yasuo is gonna be really hard, and we want to play around seven fate if we can. Yeah, I agree. All right, time to play some Mario Party. <laughs> I like these. I think they're fun. I, I, I like I like them too. I like a, a lot of the encounters. I know a lot of people were yapping about the set encounter, but it's still pretty cool. Just I think it's a fun. little bit of downtime, yeah. and you know you're doing the squat and stuff. But uh, the only the only some of the encounters though, I'm just like, man, why are you just why are you not <laughs> getting involved? Like the Kobuku, and I'm seeing people just chill on the outside, dancing outside. I'm like, come on, man. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Looks like it's gold. Okay, that means that we're probably gonna get ready to. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go commit to an eight. Yeah, try to go for eight. Look for Syndra. You don't really have any Syndra items right now, but. Um, yeah, got it. Um, yeah. I do think Shen's better than York. So if you want to do like a one-to-one -one improvement, I think Shen in general is better than York. Okay, I'm down. In these kinds of spots, I would say it's fine for this game. In the future, you should look at the opportunity if you had an, a, a spot to look for a Philios reroll. Um, just because mm -hmm. you do have the Rage Blade and you do it like it's, it's something that you could theoretically play around. I think it's fine this game that we're choosing to go to level eight and play around uh, Seven Faded. Um, yeah. But just, just something I'm thinking about as well. Yeah, I, I was thinking about that, but like, I. Right now, I really don't have too many offensive lines for just like hoping for our filials, though, right? Or is that still like an, a line to still go for? There's not really. Ooh, there's a Muma too. 
Sure. But like no no IE, no death blade. But will that still be like an option to try to go from from here still? Uh I think so because we still have two augments that we haven't hit yet. And there's it's entirely possible sure. that you could have picked up things as simple as like you have my sword and then a glove drops and all of a sudden you have rage blade IE and that's pretty good. True, um, true, true. So there's, so there's a lot of different things you potentially could have done, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, smack orb. Ooh. All right, this is usually when I start intense, so. <laughs> no, you're doing great. You're doing great. All right. Uh, okay. see what we got here. And we got Aegis. And that's probably why I feel like I'm going to Aegis choose is here. great. Aegis is great. Yeah. Go for Aegis. And probably put on a Moomoo for now. And Sounds good to me. Her, put things on Thresh. Yep. We have, uh, it could be. Yep. Let's just death cap her, sure. Death cap and this position eight. for the uh, Aegis as best we can. Yeah, start doing that. And I know I'm a little slow on the draw there, but uh, that's fine. You're doing all right. Make sure you don't skip another uh, copy of Ari. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be uh, tricky. Just make sure I not forget her. All right. The downside of uh, so we slam Death Cap for maximum tempo, which is good. What do you, what, but the thing is, now we are still kind of like lacking the utility that we have, which is uh, no right. shred and no, no anti heal. Yeah. So yeah. it is something uh, that we have to keep in mind. It's not that like you know you're we're completely doomed without it. Right. It's looking good. All right. Yep. Yeah. I don't need Shen anymore. You definitely want another behemoth if you can get it. Oh, well. Just but just, just well. not just not like the, the behemoth that you're looking for often is like horn. Yeah. This is great. This is great. Let's give let's give Thresh the value as well for the Aegis. Yeah, he has stone plate, but like uh I think it's worth in this case. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now like this is still doing the wrap in, so it would be just something like this here. Uh well, yeah, and you want no Ari towards the center anyways, because Ari's AoE. Uh like one over for Ari. Yeah, because she's, she's uh right now the buff is going on to everyone but Kindred and Aphilios. Yeah. Um, but you, you generally do want Ari towards the center because she AoEs adjacently, and so if she's in the corner, she might mm -hmm. hit, she might hit one unit and then there's no adjacent units. Uh, oh, okay. on, on the front row. Yeah, I'm going to get assassinated by Yone. Yeah, yeah that, okay. that happens. Yep. All right. All right, boys. Go after him. Uh, all right. Well, I have some bad news. <laughs> I don't think you beat this yet. Wait, OT maybe? No. I mean, you have no anti-heal is the problem. No anti-heal. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn. No worries. We're still feeling really good. Let's see. Train dummies. Okay. Cool. Uh, I should roll a little bit more here. Ink Shadow. Arphilios. See if about 50. Still no Syndra. No extra copy of Ari. Yep. Let's move uh, the left dummy, like, yeah, pretty far away. It gives us a little bit of freedom. You can also put Kindred in front of Ari, because remember, Kindred kind of dances around and repositions. Right. Goes and ints. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, you actually have a little bit of position of freedom to actually get some more value on that. I like that. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I'm not a fan of the dash to safety kind of champs, but... Uh... Okay, well, we're going to get Huayed, but... Should be fine. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're getting AoE down, which is like really tough. And we have kind of like brute power, brute force type of uh, damage right now. One mm -hmm. thing to consider is that you are rolling out eight, which I don't, I think is fine. Um, you do have to kind of weigh like when you're going to actually roll at eight versus would you have an opportunity to go to nine? Because mm -hmm. I do think mm -hmm. that if you roll, you don't want to slow roll a 50. I think you want to hard stabilize. And mm -hmm. probably have rolled a lot, a lot more, down to like Roll thirty, as opposed okay. to like stay at fifty. Okay. But uh, that's, I think it's okay what we did. It's just right now we we kind of took the the middle road, and as a result, accomplished neither. Now we no, no longer really have the ability to go to nine, and we didn't really get stronger. 
So what should we should be try and go for then? I, I like I'm still local or tier. Just we need we need shred really badly. I'm trying, to get, oh. I'm trying to get shiv here. We haven't had any bows that drop, so hoping that there could be a uh, pretty good odds. But we did get a bow. Yeah, rage play. But um, let's see. So will it be more? Just try and go. F I would say nine, that you know? in this spot, well, you have to scout to see if there's other faded players. But uh, if there's not a lot of Syndra players, then you probably should roll for Syndra. But if there mm -hmm. are, yeah, it looks like there's yeah. a good amount. So like they're mm -hmm. going to take your faded units anyways. Yeah, probably just go nine and just roll down for AP five cost suit. Oh, wow. OK, that's <laughs> that's really hard to do. But if you can uh, if you can do it, more power to you. You also have an augment next turn um right. and and something there's like there's like things to consider but like uh not that not that it really matters now but like you had a possibility of picking up things like hedge fund and other things like that and that means mm -hmm. that while you stay above 50 you lose the ability to to get 100 very easily right right so uh just consider that as well sure looking good though yeah um it's looking good. I am playing a little nervously, not going to lie. You're doing <laughs> fine. You're doing game. great. Um, but I'm getting the nerves shaking off now. But, uh, ooh, Magic Wand, Salvage Bin, Spirit Guardians. There's Portable Forge. Don't really, well, if we try to tear us apart, really still don't have, well, we have a bow. If we can get rid of Rage Blade for Shiv. Um, hmm, more Magic Wand. Uh, I would, I would, I would skip salvage bin personally. I don't think it's like worth, I would just probably take magic wand and then just like, now you have the ability to make spark or shiv, right? You just, you just hold the rod, uh, and you right. have the ability to make Morello now all of a sudden, instead of feeling like you have to rearrange and sell a bunch of stuff, uh, mm -hmm. you now have the option of multiple hits off of the anvil. Which is good. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. Uh, it's why don't you take a second wrong. to and out your level nine you said you're gonna roll for an ap so yeah like... so now we're probably getting rid of that it will probably be going more for azir quay uh set sandra uh, then we definitely need to look for orn try link to that um if you play orn you want udir always yeah orn udir mm -hmm. uh and maybe just see what happens when you roll, roll down a little bit. And okay. Go for that. So I'll overwhelm myself too much. Orn. Great. Last time I hit a plant, never. Uh, probably start hecking out. Uh, get okay. probably get rid of the Lux. Yeah, here. Lux is doing nothing anymore. You can sell her. You can sell Yorick as well. Simplify your life. Sell extra Yasuo. Like, it's just the next yeah. reaction. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Yep. I would say Wukong and Rakan are also two really strong units, so uh, don't skip them either. All right. Basically, yeah, basically all the five costs. Yeah. yeah, basically yeah. All the five costs. <laughs> this looks like everyone by Aurelia here. <laughs> I mean, Aurelia is really good, too. Ooh, Harm Assist, Behemoth Crown, Pandora's. I don't think it's Pandora's. Combat. Harm assist is always pretty good. Yeah, it's not it's not behemoth. Um uh, Leash Arcana. I, I'm I'm leaning towards harm assist here. Okay. Sounds good. Let's do it. A hey. let's get rid of these here. Let's put you y'all in. Go nine, Lissandra. Uh let's see what we get here. No Morello, shred. Morello, Morello boo buff. Uh, Morello. Uh, who would Morello go Morello here? Uh, uh, for now, just put it on a Mumu and uh, blue buff him as well. Just like, because he's going to hold items and he's. Oh. Uh, yeah. Misclick. Okay. Let's go and get rid of that anyway. Because you really want to put it on like Huey. Um, mm -hmm. But you, uh, you don't, you don't have it, and if you can't, you just put it on like Rakan. Okay. Yeah, and you can roll here to like thirty. Like, why not? Just like, yeah. Just try uh, to like, you know, make sure you're efficient. Okay, Wukong pair. Wukong pair. 
way. Sure. Just buy that. Let's just stop here. Oh, yeah. Now we had blue buff for Lilia, could go into little baby Volkers, you know. Uh, Great, yeah. Don't be afraid to break apart your board. Yeah, I'm going to start doing that now. Let's put Lilia. I know uh, Zier doesn't really use Rageblade too much, but... Give them both for now. It is what it is, you know. Yeah. We you have, have more mods. Oh, yeah, we have more. Wait, yeah. Morello Morello. Morello. Rakan, 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 Rakan. Oh, actually, wait, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, Huey. <laughs> I was looking for way in my oh, bad. Okay, I was yeah. Being quiet. I, I forgot that you had Huey. You should put Rageblade in uh, on him as well. It's like his mana generation source. Yeah, no. Get so don't worry. Azir, we, just, we just have to find a replacement Azir. Totally fine. Azir's not actually that uh, important. He's nice to have, but he's not. He's luxury. All right. Nice. Looking good. All right. This looks good right now. Yeah. Tea time. Nothing. Twice. Oh, well, OK. Could make 50 here. No, but, no, no. You want to. Ooh, uh, dear. Nice. You can cut Yasuo. OK. That works. Well, Annie. Let's throw it on him. Sure. I really I roll good. down 30. Nice. Just That's trying. really good. Let's just stop here. Let's just stop here. Yeah, I'm stopping now. Okay. Put put it on here. Let's put Nautilus in over Annie. Oh, yeah. Warden Mythic. Uh, I misclicked here. It's no worries. Uh, you, and you should try to probably like to declump a little bit. So like, let's put Udir kind of away. Um, in fact, you could probably just sell uh, Thresh in general, in general now and like transition out. Don't worry about anything sure. at the moment. If anything, just sell like Lilia so you can make uh, gold. If you like, because I don't yeah. know if you're going to go for Lilia 3. Nah. Well. Makeup. <laughs> I doubt it. I'm at 16. Okay. Top 3. You're doing great. You're doing great. Uh, Thieves Gloves put on to Wukong. Yeah, that's not that works for me. You can do that. There's, multi there's many there's multiple options as long as you have like a good reason to do something you could do that but let's make sure to spread out yep yep and then uh put the items on tank items on who uh i mean roll a little bit yeah exactly let's roll i miss danny uh, I guess we're not really worrying about her. Nothing. That's fine. Let's give Wukong the Aegis buff. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, give, give Rakan the Aegis buff. Because these, these units move out of position anyway, so it's fine. Right, right, right. Uh, Let's just sell sets. I think we need a little bit more attack speed on this Amber's Blade. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> <He's dead. laughs> it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> nice try. Oh, uh, yeah. The one thing I will say is that, like, if we could have replaced uh, Thresh with, like, Annie, for example, it would have been really nice. Uh, also, because right. he has an invoker and Thresh is kind of like, if you're like, who can actually hold these items? Right. Yeah. Okay. No, all right. That seems fine. Not bad. Yeah. I'm like, I so see. It's Yone. You're just facing Yone, yeah, so. Yeah, so. Kind of a tough see, spot to be in because he's just going to get to yeah. your back line, so. Uh, would it just be, I mean, still putting her over here, but he's yeah. going to still go towards these two, anyways. There's a couple of ways that you can try to manipulate him. Um,. That takes a, a while to explain that I can't do it in just like two seconds. So that's why yeah. in general, I just kind of like let you do it. So. Uh, that, that is... Sorry. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say that, that the that... skinny of it is like basically you can make it so that Yone feels like he can. He's a very he's very likely to go across your front line as opposed to your back line. Uh, and it increases the okay. odds of that happening. Um, okay. So like, for example, you would have your so you would have like your front your your uh your way kind of positioned a little bit further away from yone and then within three hexes mm -hmm. you would have like a bunch of units that you feel like you can attack. 
Oh, okay. So he'll just more dark. That's like my big thing. I still don't really understand how Yone works, I guess. And I, I, I play Yone a good bit and I try to play against some, but I know I'm sore playing badly because what I tend to do is sure, just sure. up the, I wouldn't say the trash units, but I just try to make them take the hits and then have them all focus fire on Yone, but I know totally, that's totally. not how you're supposed to do it. But maybe that'll be something I'll ask a bit later. But of course, I know of course. moving off the stream and stuff. But I really appreciate <laughs> the coping session and everything. This was really helpful. I think, uh, no, I think you showed a lot of what you can do. I think you might be like, oh, I didn't play that well. But like, I think you were under a lot of pressure to execute a fast nine, pivoting from like what looked like a triple contest on your line. And I think you handled mm -hmm. it really well. Um, I was surprised that you wanted to even try to AP Fast 9, because I think I would have tried that as well, but uh, mm. I, I think that it's not easy to pull off. And yeah, there's a lot of right. optimization points, but like for the most part, I think you handled it fairly well, so you should be very happy. I think uh, one Thank thing you. I would say is that there's some meta bits and knowledges to think about. Um, mm -hmm. when, you're, when you're playing these kinds of comps, uh, the one thing that you were lacking was single target DPS. Like, how can you take down Yone? You can't. You don't have like a burst unit. Your burst yeah. unit to single target takedown would be usually a Zir. These days, mm -hmm. people play a lot of Irelia, and that actually makes it hard because they can't itemize for both AD and AP. And that's right, just meta knowledge right. stuff that's going to change for patch to patch. But one thing I just want to leave yep. you with is uh, in the future, when you're thinking about that, Lilia is not enough. She's kind of an AoE champion, so is Hue. So you kind of need to think, who is my anti-hyper carry, anti-hyper tank? That's basically something to think All about. right. Sounds good. All right. All right. Well, thank Thanks for you supporting very the channel, much. man. I'll, I'll hop it off. Thank you so much. All right, GG's. Enjoy GG. Thank you so much. Have a good one. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. That's a little bit of backseating action. Thanks to Rio for showing up, being brave enough. Uh, and also, I think he kicked some ass. I think that was awesome. Well done, man. Well done. Good job, Koshin. Thank you, OJ. Thank you very much. Okay, so I'm going to actually hang out with BoxBox in about seven minutes. Uh... Let me see, what is he up to? Wait, I have four minutes until the watch party. It's only 8.55, maybe I can finish one more game. What? Five minutes until the watch party, I'm gonna finish one more game? Buddy, what? <laughs> oh, you know what I can do for four minutes, actually? He can roll. <laughs> Man, actually, how many treasure tokens do I have? Right, what did he open? What did he open? What did he open? Nice to see here. Four minutes is exactly enough time to get this Ari. Check this out. Okay, okay. Uh, actually, that's a good point. I kind of want this map. I kind of want this map. Wait, I don't want Morgana. I want this map. 280 tokens? How long is this around for? Two weeks? That's it? 46 attempts? What's the odds? What are the odds? What are the odds for the map? What's it called again? Heavenly Celestial Court. Where are the odds? Celestial Court. 1% odds? Wait, how much money is that? All right, I guess I'll roll. Here we go. Heaven Celestial Court, 1% odds. Uh oh, it's a green. Star Maw. Wait, another one? And what? Show me the orange. Blue. Ah. Uh, all right. Well, I'm out. <laughs> I rolled full fifty for it. It's such a it's such a pretty map. I want to play on this map actually. It's actually so dope. What about my battle pass? Do I get any free treasure tokens? I do. I do. I do. I do. Oh, I got free treasure tokens. Hold on. Hold on. The power of disco. Two rolls, baby. Congratulations. I got blue. Swift blue Rango. No, no, hit me, hit me with it, hit me with it. Give me the orange. Give me the orange. I'm gambling with Box Box. <laughs> it's like we're at slot machines together.
Do I have any more free tokens? Oh, I do have I do have one more. I have one more. I have one more. 50 free. Any other more? No, I have to buy the, the battle pass. Also, isn't that crazy? I'm already done with the battle pass. Should I just buy the battle pass? Is it worth dreams of earth? What do you guys think? Is the battle pass worth it or nah? <sighs> I missed. The boom looks nice. What's the boom? The boom. Nebulous Winden. Skipped? Oh, which one was it? Is it the start? Oh, oh. Bamboo shoots. Is that it? Next one. Ink squink. It's art. Fans of the feather. This one? I mean, it looks kind of cool, actually. I like it. All right. Wait, is he just straight up opening it from remotely? What is he doing? <laughs> he just that he's, he's actually just remote uh, wirelessly controlling. Dude, this guy is gambling while going to the bathroom. Isn't that insane? Bro, this is actually so funny because this is showing that like like no matter what, you just can't stop the gamba. <laughs> oh god, one more, one more, one more. He's got this. Another roll. Another roll. Oh wait, he got it? Nah, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. Oh, Oh, it's guaranteed. Next roll <laughs> on the next attempt. He hit the pity. He hit the pity. That's so funny, man. All right, where's uh, where's box box? Yo, what up? What's up, Mr. Dan? Hey, Ray. How goes it? Are you streaming? I'm not. I okay, okay. Because so, you were in streaming, but I wasn't sure if you were streaming. Oh, I just assumed we were joining this one, but yeah, I'm not streaming. Copy that. How you doing, I my had man? An insane, I had an insane TFT today. Or day today. Yeah? How'd you do? I went... Well, my last games were 1-7-1-1-1-6-1-1. One, seven, one, 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 one. Sheesh. I went from D4, like 10 LP, to D160. Damn. You love TFT? In, in like five hours. I know. That's sick, man. Congratulations. Thank you. I played a lot of reroll. Oh, yeah? Is that what clicked? Yep. Reroll or fast nine. If you're rolling on eight, you're going eighth. I mean, I think, uh, I think, I think the meta is shifting towards some four costs at high level, but I don't expect to see, I don't think a lot of people know about it, uh, unless you're like, like hard sweating the CN stuff. Ooh. Yeah. There definitely is new tech being discovered like every single day. So yeah, agreed. <laughs> oh, oh, box box is about to do, uh, he's about to, he's about to hit his pity. He's not doing it though. What a tease. <sighs> All right, uh, we need to hit him up. Also, I'm changing this real quick. Be reactive. Do you drink energy drinks? Uh, I used to, but uh, these days I drink like I guess I drink like uh, uh, caffeine. That's about it. Mm. But not like uh, Red Bull or anything like that. I used to be sponsored by it. But... I'm drinking this Monster Zero right now. It's like citrus flavored. It tastes kind of good. It tastes like kind of like orange soda. We want, we got uh, one, one of the studios I used to work Hello. for got sponsored. Oh, what up? What's up? Hello. Hello. We're here early for the boot camp watch party. Wait, early? 
Uh, if anything, right I'm late. Time. It's 9.03. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah, you're right on time. Yeah, we're thinking about giving you a, a pay reduction. <laughs> no, please, I need the skins. All right, all right. Okay, so... Uh, uh, do you, you guys need the link? Uh, the, the, the Discord bubbles. Oh, I use a, uh, a, a reactive Discord. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Reactive. Yeah. I don't have it, but if, if we could, that'd be great. Boom. Hey, Frodo, can you speak really quick? Test one, two, three. Oh, okay, Hello, it works. Test one, two, three. More right. talk. One, two, three. All right, cool. Let's do this. Uh, All right. Frodo, do you want to do the introductions or shall I? Oh, I mean, it, 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 if you want me to, I can as well, but I'm more than happy to. I don't want to steal your thunder. Okay, okay, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. I, I've been rehearsing. Great, let's hear it. I've been rehearsing this one for, since the fourth grade. All right, welcome back to everybody. I we are here again for the last three days of the Box Box Bootcamp. I, we're here uh, for the first day of the watch party. Froden, Raiditz, and I, and maybe some special guests later, will be spectating the few streamers that are waiting for elimination. A, 12 of them are going to be killed, uh, eliminated. Whoa. Oh. And luckily, it looks like five of them are streaming. So we're going to do watch parties across all three categories, the casual, the advanced, and the pro. And we're going to spectate the games, have some fun with it. And in the pro category, maybe be impressed and learn some new tech as well. Awesome. Anything you want to add, Froden? Yeah, that's great. I think that. Uh, so the question I have is: uh, Are do, are you going to be hosting the stream, uh, the what multi stream, or should I build it? Oh, I do think you are better at it, and uh, mine is like laggy on Discord, so I think you should do it. Okay, uh, give me ten seconds. I have a question. Yes, you over there, the short man with the nice chin. What are you playing? What? Uh, due to circumstances, I um I will not be playing in the top twelve this time. Oh, uh, that's, a... that's weird. It's nice that you let other people win, Box Box. I think you no, would look really sus went... if you won your own event. You know. I won like fiftieth out of fiftieth. I'm pretty sure. Fifty <laughs> fourth. Well, that's not that bad, actually. Okay, before we even do some watch partying. Uh, do you want to talk about the, everything that's happened so far in the bootcamp? Sure. So, I, set 11 is actually very different from set 10, and some people were able to catch on, and others were not. Uh, Frodo, in, in your opinion, were there any results that really surprised you? I have a couple in mind. I'm curious if you feel the same way. Uh, so let Go me bring and, it uh, up first. Uh, oh, yes. I mean, okay, in the pro division, uh, I was very surprised by uh, tournament favorite Raditz getting eliminated early. <laughs> But Even also, rambling. there's some people who I thought were going to go really strong and end up kind of running it down. There's, we had people who were like up 400, 500 LP at Challenger and they ran it all the way down to zero like precedent. And he looked like he was top four, top five, and all of a sudden kind of like lost control and ran it completely yes. down. In one day, he tilt queued to zero LP yeah. from 400. Yeah. Um, another cool storyline in the advanced category. Uh, not, is it, not only is it cool to see like Aishun and Jelly kind of back at it, but um, I was really proud of uh, some other people who made some pretty big runs for their first time, as well as people who made a, a, another, like, like this guy still started really late and he made like a crazy epic climb to, to Diamond 4 and then he climbed even further, but then fell down. So he had like this giant roller coaster. So I thought that was really cool too. I was really surprised that uh, Robin got eliminated so early. He usually is like in the final day competing for rank one, but uh, this time, I guess it, it didn't click fast enough, and uh, he got out at 22. That's actually his lowest bootcamp placing ever. Yeah, He's Robin... One, two, 10, and 22. Robin, Ramblin, and Saint, I feel like, usually do pretty well. And they've all been eliminated pretty early. That is true. Also, I, I give a shout-out to Emily Wang, who also uh, did a really well. She kept Wang. surviving barely for, like, three days in a row. And she was like basically gonna die for like uh, like a couple of days, and she always barely like climbed like 200 LP just out of range. 
Yeah, yesterday in the pro category, it was actually like really anticlimactic because uh, number 13 was at 150 LP and number 12 was at 350. So it was yeah. like, no chance. But Emily Wang did you good holding on for so long. She, yeah. uh, she usually places around in the middle, so number 16 is pretty good for her. Yeah, I would say so. I think today's pro division is going to be similar. The Brain Plosion is the only person that can be in range. Um, I think Hyun's giving up, but uh, we'll see. Right, so we're going to be focusing mostly on casual and advanced today. Okay. Any standouts from the casual? Actually, I actually haven't been watching them that much. Uh, I haven't watched like very much, but I know Trisha is a birdie who's... I, I, I'm sharing their POV. Let me see if you can, you can see it. Yep, I see it. Okay, uh, so Trisha uh, has been grinding a lot, and she's also kind of has some highs and lows and barely surviving elimination. And I know that she's been trying and practicing a lot of TFT on top of other stuff. So it's kind of, it's cool to see her really go for it. But she's also she's just a, on that bubble. She needs like 50 LP and she's safe. She's a pretty well-known um, cooking streamer. And she just yes, plays TFT right. like for fun. Yeah. Uh, the claim to fame that I know of her is that... <laughs> she, didn't she get yelled at on reality TV? Um, oh, by Gordon Ramsay. Yes, by Gordon yeah, Ramsay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah wait okay am i tripping or is this game zoomed in it is you can't see the traits on the left a little bit oh it okay. is yeah wait she's cooking four porcelain six faded what is she missing yeah i mean i think she's a chef but today she's making tea get hey. it porcelain? Yes. maybe udir hold the udir oh that's big who is she missing? So she doesn't have Ash on the board, and she doesn't have... Oh, Lysandra. Lysandra, yeah. yeah. Uh-oh. Another thing, too, uh, to consider is that uh, Six Porcelain, I think, is really, really, really broken, but, like, does it, does it play into the strengths of Bard? I actually haven't tried Six Porcelain versus Bard. Okay, looks like it's she good She made a very to... interesting decision just now that I feel like... Uh, she she sold the Udir for the Ash, but I think that's because she's like used to playing Aphelios. But, like she clearly has a um like a more AP focused build this time. Ooh, I actually have a question uh, for the couch. Let's start with the left side of the couch. All right, box box. Do you think Bard is overrated or underrated? Wait, I'm on the left. Uh, I think Bard is actually like pretty in line now with everybody else. I thought uh originally he was like overwhelming. Then they soft nerfed him and he still was overwhelming. But then people found counters. Like, I think the, the Senna Ghostly is like a great way to beat the Bard. Mm. It's cheaper to hit. And like, if you hit everything, the Bard board probably wins. But it's harder for the Bard player to hit everything compared to the Shenna player. Okay, right side I, of the I couch, Dan. Like... Oh, wait, I didn't mean to cut you off. I was just going to say, uh, I feel like it's gone from like S plus tier to like A plus tier. Gotcha. Still playable. Oh, you're asking me. Uh, I think that uh, I think that Bard is actually still really good, but he's kind of the meta kind of evolved to beat him, which I think is really cool. In TFT, people always talk about like how it's like a self-correcting nature game where um, if something gets too good, then something else will rise up and beat it. And I think this is the first time we've seen that a launch patch it actually worked. Like basically, whenever something got too good, people develop counters to beat it. And then when that became too good, uh, uh, people developed more counters to beat it. And it's happened about three or four times this patch, which is pretty insane. Mm. Yeah, my hot right. take with Bard is that uh, I'm a believer that the comp was always overrated. And I think the only reason it actually did so well to be at the beginning of the patch is because it's so straightforward. You just build like two Rage Blades and a Gun Blade, and you play them with like some Frontline and a Trick Shot. But I'm pretty, I, I think the comp has always been like a little overrated and the only reason it did well is because people are so lost at the start of the new set to have something able to that's... get better yeah oh okay. i see i see uh whoa, whoa, yeah whoa, i can whoa, see whoa. that wait actually okay what? actually hang on i'm kind of down whoa 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 no 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 wait no, two ashes ash. oh oh six porcelain actually okay okay, okay i'm kind of down yeah, I mean, six porcelain is always the goal, I think, for the most Wait, part. Wait, she has two ashes! Yeah. She I mean, that's okay. <laughs> she has six porcelain, so the, her logic is probably, like, more porcelain units is not even that bad, but... Uh... I think she didn't realize that she had an ash on board already. Nah, it's fine. Six porcelain's OP. Watch, 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 man. She potted, she potted it. All good. Potted. Okay, 
Uh, Red, it's pop quiz. Uh, she actually has been making a mistake every single round. I think she actually doesn't know. Uh, do you see it? A mistake oh, every single round. There's a small mistake she's making every single round. Someone appears. Alright, all right, let me see. Let me see. I have to look at it on her board? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's something she should be doing every single round, and she's missed it every single round for the last many rounds. Oh, there's no, um... There's no plates on the left side of Seth's squat rack. <laughs> uh... Okay, well it now, begins okay, with now... a T, Ray. Yeah, sometimes F, depending on if you're in old school. And it we're not talking with... about the double ash. It starts with an F or ends what or ends with a T? It's it might it sometimes it starts, starts with an F, F sometimes starts with a T, T, depending on how old school you are. Oh she Oh does. oh oh tactician's crown? She's not yeah, placing yeah. it. She she yeah. forgot that it gives stats now. I mean, I think it's a really easy detail to miss. Also, it's like, it's definitely not like a big deal miss it, but you definitely Tender should also dream. add it. Oh. Also, I think porcelain for, uh, is like insane on some of these five costs. Like I think uh, if I were to be like, I don't, I don't know how much he knows, but porcelain set makes him kind of invincible. He just doesn't die. Oh my God, pecked. Yeah, wait, she might actually win out because, uh, Six porcelain just like scales infinitely. Yes, yes, it's so good. And her setup mm -hmm. is like, yes, uh, there's like smite small micro things that she could improve, but like overall, the way she's constructed her board has is very smart. And also, she made the right items, generally speaking. So like, I think this is this this should be a first. I'd be surprised someone else has oh, a better board. She knows. Oh wait. oh oh! Yeah, her chat probably. Uh, like, wait wait, check her. the chat. Was there a spy that came from? Oh. One of your streams. That's right. Uh, she no needs coaching. another Arcanist. <laughs> she needs one Arcanist, and then she just is good. Who's she missing? Nico? Is that it? Uh, Zoe? Nico, Zoe is a handful of them you could include here. Uh... Rise. Oh, right, if you take Shiv, she's actually a genius. Even though she has a spark? I guess you could argue that... Uh... Yeah. Oh, oh, is she a genius? Is she a genius? If she does, she's a genius. Are you okay. saying because the spark will die? Yeah, exactly. The spark is very oh. likely to die, and also officially um, a genius. Uh, th th having redundancy of shred in different types is really good in these kinds of setups. I kind of like double adaptive helm Shojin Lissandra with six porcelain. She would go crazy. Yeah, I guess for sure. But like, also, uh, th I, I think this is this is also really good too. If you think about it, the shiv, also applies pretty often because the attack speed. Yeah, I, th I think this is definitely the correct play, especially with the Nautilus one. You're right, Ray. You, you what you're suggested makes the better thumbnail on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. I'm always going for the thumbnails. <laughs> Wait a second. I wonder if she needed to roll here. The whole lot is like She has a lot of things to hit. That's yeah, an Irelia too. These. Oh, does she win? One more cast from Syndra. Oh, the damage reduction, the damage reduction. Ah! Oh. I feel like Syndra always does less damage than I think she would. Like, she's a good unit, but like when she ults, I'm like, dude, she's gonna about one shot the whole board and then she doesn't, oh. you know what I'm saying? She's looking at how much she needs to level. 60. What was she level four though? That's the, that's the question. Well, another Ash. You could easily throw in another uh, <laughs> Arcanist. You could replace the Huey with a frontliner. I feel like she does so much damage right now. I feel like rolling is correct here. You're so, oh, uh. Oh, wow. Oh, she's oh, itemizing the porcelain, porcelain unit. Like Wait, that. this actually makes sense. Also, I, like uh, I don't know if she'll find this, but if Genius. she rebuilds her Alawi right now and moves the item to set, I think she instantly wins. Yeah, I think so as well. Oh, God. This is a potential counter matchup as well. Well, she's got 20 health, so she, she probably is thinking she'll never die here, and then she just goes 10 next round. Yes. Can you guys imagine how strong Lissandra would be if um, RFC still gave range or they had that augment that the back two rows gain range? Oh, what was that augment called again? Down to four. Uh, scope weapons. Scoped weapons Lissandra would go crazy. Agreed. Yeah, we, oh, what are we, what, so what are we leveling for? Oh, okay. That's good. Sage is also surprisingly like, really good in these kinds of spots too. But we don't have Sage. Yeah, I saw it. Okay, sell your Lowie, sell your Lowie. Yes! Oh! And then roll uh, once for any Arcanist. Oh, smart. She sees it! Roll once she for any Arcanist. It. Oh no, oh no! Oh, okay, oh, no, oh. she's good, she's good, she's good. Okay. You may as well slam the belt on Nautilus. 
agree. Yeah, that's true. I also think that actually that's not true because of the way uh, Lissandra might give uh, an item. So it might actually change. If it was like oh, Nashers, that is true. That is you probably true. would want it on like Lux or something. One thing to keep in mind wow. is that Lissandra Holy is cow. basically the same as Kiana from last set, where you really want to position her. Where you position her almost determines a lot of how the fight's going to flow because you have the opportunity to push back and, and like kind of. Oh my porcelain! god, another porcelain! It's a porcelain it's, a it's a porcelain monkey! Oh, it's a five oh gold Oh my porcelain. god! It's yes! She's probably thinking Setsu. She's probably thinking Setsu. No. Hey, come back! She's probably thinking Setsu, but I, I mean, there's a monkey with a teapot. Oh, you're right. There is a Setsu. Yeah. Wow, okay. you were very good at getting to their heads. I just saw the monkey and started going monkey. <laughs> monkey oh, mode. Monkey two! Monkey two! Hold it at least! Oh! Oh, oh. my... Okay, that's wraps. That is wraps. That is wraps. That is wraps. And then she can buy this Lissandra. Play two oh, Lissandras. Can, Play two uh, Lissandras. Over Morgana, right? So, zero to yeah, 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 exactly. There's nothing. Oh, oh, genius wait, mode! What oh, she needs to duplicate it. Hurt. Well, she needs but to duplicate it though. You can't duplicate the Lissandra if she does this. Ah, uh, true. It, it, it is a lot stronger though. It's a good true. unit. Wait, this okay, is actually a harsh okay. predicament because playing two Lissandras is quite stronger. Yeah, I was gonna say, is playing what, Lissandra two or two Lissandras better with six porcelain? I actually don't even know. Low key might be better to have two uh, two Lissandra ones. Yeah, this is definitely stronger for the current turn, and when you're four HP, you probably got to go with that. Roll once for a legendary. Nah, she probably shouldn't. It's actually it's actually banking, which is really interesting. So like she she can hold yeah, on to hold this it. for the next five cost she wants to duplicate. <laughs> oh, oh my no. god. She doesn't need it. My and she can go god. And she fits in Oh wait. That's Weaker really chatting. Weaker. Oh oh Lilia, it's Lilia. A, it's actually Lilia for, for the mythic. Lilia okay. for mythic. Yeah. It, it's a it's a small ape, uh, damage boost, but you don't get Invoker, which is not that big of a deal. Oh, wait. Lilia over Ash. What do you guys think? Wait, you're right. This Ash doesn't contribute anything, and then it lets you roll more. Yeah, she's at seven porcelain right now. Although, debatably, like, every single additional porcelain unit is just high value. True. Well, how much damage is an Ash doing? I mean, we can look. Wait, this wait, might be the last minute of the game. Porcelain, that's a lot of attack speed. It might actually be doing... I'll, I'll think around 2 to 3k. She needs to cast. That's the problem. She doesn't, she's not casting. She's casting 12 oh. seconds of the... Okay, the fight's over, man. This Ash doesn't do anything. All right, you might be right on that one. Oh, wow. She actually cleans it up. Potted, Wait. potted. Yes, that's a double diff. kill, double kill. Or what? Let's listen to what she's saying. That's cool. Oh, she I, won! I've actually never seen play porcelain. I'm Wait. glad we got oh, to see this course. game. Whoa, oh. not bad, not bad. Wait, she just now realized. I mean, we don't know if they, they've been great. Oh, like, Emerald 4 0. Wait, hold on. Are oh, she's, she's doing our update it? for us. Man, just... Emerald 3 0 LP. Okay, Baby. that's the bar. Emerald 4, 6 LP. Emerald 4 8 LP. Okay, it's so doable. It's so doable. Okay. Wait, so how do you play porcelain in the early game? How? You don't? Uh, yeah, because like, I, I see the six porcelain's OP, but like, how do you get there? Uh, it's really good with emblems, but you, you don't want to play it in stage two, because the only porcelain units early game are Lux and Amumu, and most of the time you're going to have those one start early, so if you try to play a board around one start Lux and Amumu, you're just going to bleed out. You have to play a random early game strong board and then pivot into porcelain with either like an emblem or something. There have been a lot of builds like that where you... um. You just like play whatever and then pivot into it. like I've seen that there's like a China fortune tech where you play a strong board and then in stage three. Mm, well, her game, she took the random emblem silver augment on stage three, and I'm assuming oh, that gave her and I'm assuming that gave her porcelain. And then on four two, she got the porcelain emblem augment as well. So she that's how she got her two porcelain spots. Okay. So like the, the game kind of like put her in that direction. Yeah, I feel like so much of playing vertical porcelain relies on hitting um. Like, a oh, one-star Lissandra at eight. Seems yeah, there, scary. There are a lot of um, emblems that are, like, really strong and give you solid direction. Like, Porcelain, Faded, uh, Mythic. Like, a lot of these emblems right. turn, like, comps into, like, giga comps. Oh, I, I just realized. Like, we are looking at a very interesting game. This is Hedge Fund. Oh. Okay. I actually really like this decision. Instead of getting one more round of Hedge Fund for, like, 10 gold, he's using the time... He's trading, like... 
eight to ten gold of econ per time to think. That was a very clean pivot, actually. Wow. Aurelia too. Although I don't think I'd go down to ten. I feel like you should go down to like thirty, because you can easily spend thirty gold in the later half. Sorry, I'm gonna try to turn up the quality. Boom. I like uh. Resets. I mean, this guy definitely studies a lot, cause uh. Yeah. A lot of a lot of people undervalue uh Rune and Aurelian. Apparently, that's one of her best items. So. Oh, I mean, that's just like a stats thing. Yeah. True. Uh, it's probably JG Irelia too. You need to three item this. Oh, is JG yeah, is JG better or oh, LW for the stats? Um, well, she already shreds, so I think the value of Last Whisper is not high. Uh, but she it, also but... could have done Guardbreaker, which is actually one of Irelia's best items. She could have oh. removed the Galio. Oh yeah, okay, it was definitely Guardbreaker. But between LW and JG, is LW better just because it gives um attack speed? Or no? I could look it up out of curiosity. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming too. that uh, I'm assuming that last resort might be a little bit better, but bo both are pretty suboptimal. You're wasting the shred. Yeah, yeah, but you're just trying to use like the base stats of it, I guess. Probably. Oh yeah, the base stats are great. Uh, last whisper is plus point oh four, and jeweled gauntlet like, is plus point two four. So according to the data, data likes last whisper a lot. Yeah. It's like the same concept as well, I think, as um, as Aphelios with Last Whisper. It's like not great, but it's also like sometimes acceptable to play. What is what is Irelia's shred number? Is it thirty? Yep. Oh, okay, because Aphelios is only twenty, right? Yeah, exactly. Not everything is like twenty uh, thirty percent shred in terms of max. Uh, Zyronic, by the way, sense. is a person that hangs out in my chat a lot and to watch the game when, and he's usually. <clears throat> They're usually like watching my stream when I'm watching other people's stream. So it definitely he also did very well last boot camp. I remember him in the advanced category. Yeah. 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 I think he did he win? Uh, he might have been the winner. He might have won. The yeah. advanced winner. I mean, the easiest way to tell if someone's really good at TFT is if they're in Frodan's chat. <laughs> yeah, because then they actually like, care about getting better. That, that makes sense, man, because neither of you guys are ever there. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, Shen? Oh my Wait, god, Vitality! Off, Tattoo of Vitality! That was, that was gross. Wait, but that, that roll down at 9 was actually so clean. Like, if it were me, I would've just tried to do it all in one turn, died, and gotten upset. Like, trading uh, 8 gold for time to think was huge. Okay. This is interesting, he's probably just rolling it down for 1 Hui, at least in 2. He's at 9 life, at one life, so now. he kinda yeah. needs to make a decision, and I don't think he's, he's in a position in to go 10. Oh, wow. that's a really big oh, hit. Oh, wow. Wow, that's rough. I wonder, would, would you have gambled there? You know what I mean? Like, gamble at you live? Uh, I think I would have sold Diane. Uh, I don't, I'm not actually, I'm not entirely sure how valuable Sage is, but Wukong 2 is really good. And I, I had to do some calculus of, like, whether or not he could squeeze in something else. But uh, Wukong 2 is worth, in my opinion. Do you guys think these Galio items would be stronger on Rakan? No. Uh, it Galio can team. be... I, I'm starting to think that Rakan is broken. Like, the more I put items on him, he just does everything. He should probably lock this shop, right? And then print a Wukong. Yep. What else are you going to do? Yeah, oh, agreed. nice. He sees it. Agreed. Third Irelia item. Red buff? He has Morello, it's so over. Giant Slayer oh. might be better. Oh, he's not Giant Slayer. Uh, Gunblade is like... pretty good, too. <sighs> oh, I like Gunblade a lot. Oh, what the? Oh, he has no shield. Yeah. I feel like, okay. I feel like a, I feel like a frontline item could go really hard here too. His frontline is really lacking compared to how strong his backline is. True. I think I do think that uh, I do think that shift's good, but like, who? I guess Rakan holds it. Oh, Loki, um, don't you just put on Aurelia for the yeah, stats? Can... Oh, yeah. That's interesting. I, I think that's the correct decision. That... So yeah. The Morellos is really good on um Aurelia. And then you could shiv the Hui. I guess this is like almost identical. The, the Morello uh, AP is more useful on Hui though. I'm but around AP. Oh, that is true. But uh, the shiv really attack, the, the shiv attack speed is useful, and the ma but does the mana do anything on Aurelia? No, no. doesn't do anything. Ah, uh, the, the uh, tier, Morello is value. equally good <clears throat> to uh, red buff in the stats. On Aurelia? Yeah. Ooh. Which is weird because you would think Red Buff would be strictly superior, but like it like does exactly 
equally well with a very large sample size. You know what it might be, actually? It might be, like, the only people that are putting Morello on Aurelia are good players. Wait, he lost! Yeah, we don't have single target DPS, and we positioned, unfortunately, kind of poorly into this matchup. Also, I think uh, I think this is one of the things where if you don't know how to play against Yone, you just feel completely helpless. A lot of players in these kinds of spots have... like If you position better for that fight, I think you win almost every time. But it's really difficult to position into against like a really strong Yone board from that spot. Do you just have to be on the opposite corner? You have to be opposite corner, but uh, uh, sometimes, or you can position towards the middle and create bait units for Yone. Is there like a well-known like anti-Yone positioning? No, because it kind of really depends on where Yone is positioning. Uh, so like it because Yone, it depends on where they position. It's actually very chess-like. So if the if, if Yone is towards the center, he's gonna dash to the corners, and if he's on the edges, he's gonna dash towards the center. The so you have yeah, to basically, yeah, you basically have to out position and out play him. Yeah. Also, if you have enough money on level nine, you could kind of pick your board. If there's a Volibear three in the lobby or a Yone three, you usually try to fit Lissandra on your board every time. Because if you just Lissandra yeah, them, it. It, it's just GG's. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's kind of what we're we like into the Kiana from last set, right? And I think people yeah, aren't yeah. really diligent with it yet. I think they need to. I, I, th I think as the set goes on, people are going to be better about it. I feel like. Uh... Lissandra is more like Lissandra is like crazy for countering these three stars. Like Kiana was a hard counter as well, but like Kiana, like sometimes she would like knock them away and they could like come back or something. Like Lissandra, if you get Lissandra ulted on your three star, it's just like the game's over. Yeah, the game's over. Oh. Agreed. Is Trisha a um a faded one trick? Let me take a look. I don't blame her. Faded is it's the best build to one trick because there's so many outs and it's just in general very strong right now. Ooh. Ooh, is she gonna is she gonna play the uh okay she's either playing she's probably playing the nar kindred reroll but isn't there um you mean ghostly kindred kin yeah ghostly kindred isn't that a new thing it is i think the the problem with this composition in my opinion is that you get adjacently contested by a lot of comps anyone who's playing faded is gonna hold kindred anyone who's playing yone is gonna hold kindred and so there's just wait What's up? The build that she's playing today uh, isn't that this build that came out today? <clears throat> uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So there's so there's a new variation of Kindred that plays around Ghostly as opposed to trying to play around Dryad, um, and and, and for Reaper. You're not playing five, you're not playing four Reaper, nor are you playing Dryad as a vertical. You're only playing two of each, and instead you're playing around Ghostly because of how much damage amplification it has towards the very end. Just like basically Ghostly's OP. Um, yeah, Ghostly's kind of crazy. But the, but the issue that I ran into, because I ran in a couple games today to try it out, uh, is that you get adjacently contested by people who play Faded, because they're going to hold Kindreds for 7 Faded, and people who play Yone, people <laughs> they're going to hold uh, Kindreds for Reaper. So hmm. uh, I, I played in a game where I, I started off with Kindred 2 like at 2-2. Two, two. I looked around in Stage 3, there were four people that had Kindred 2. I couldn't go for it at all. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And then like, if you're playing the Ghostly units, those are also really contested, right? Uh, yes, but you could get away with it for only two stars because you could still, there's the, the cool thing about the Kindred reroll is that there's several outs you can play. You can play a plus one Faded and go into five Faded. You can play a plus one Dryad if you want. You can also play a plus one Reaper. Um, she can also just go play Syndra. Yeah. So you, you have a lot this, of different outs. This early game by her is looking very good. Five loss, 71 HP. That is very healthy for five loss. Yeah. I was getting so scared for her because she wasn't scouting. She wasn't looking to see like if she was going to lose or not. She ended up facing someone strong and was fine, but... Yeah, good players, they just, um... They don't have to scout, they can just develop a feeling on whether they're gonna win or lose the next round. Oh, uh, thank you, Ray. So, you could maybe work on getting that feeling. <laughs> it's like that anime moment, it's like, I just wanna get that feeling again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I, uh, this, this augment is always so surprising how well it does in the data, oh, cause it... No, no! She grabbed the orb. No, she grabbed the orb. Oh, that was actually like the worst case scenario. She was still over encumbered and only had two bench spaces. Yeah. And then she just lost, I think, six different units. Nah. She just gained like 15 gold. It was, it was all gold. It was all gold. I hope so. Oh, she's going to do the, the forbidden double gun blade. Okay. Oh, please do not do double gun blade. Oh, okay. gauge. Whoa, what? Okay. Wait. I thought we were oh, gonna sunfire. Ooh, wait, this is really good on Trindomir. <laughs> uh, wait, oh, she's she's forcing it. This 
if she's Tori, she's she she just playing Sunfire. Like she, she has multiple outs, but now she's like locked into Kindred reroll. Wait, what was, the, what was the last time you guys built a Steric Gauge? I mean, I think it's really good on Kane. He's like one Kane of the best. Kane and Yeah. Wait, it's good on Volibear? Isn't he yeah. AP? He does 60% oh. physical. Oh, uh, just because of Duelist? Yeah, just because of like base auto attack and Duelist. Yeah. Gotcha. I've I never know that. played it on Volibear, but I, I could see it. Uh, but yeah, like, gate, gate, they're, they're buffing it for a reason next patch, right? I'm so sad for her. We'll never know what those those five three costs were. Wait, what is she eating? That looks kind of tasty. Is that like a mozzarella stick? Yes. Oh my god, she's gonna gamble. Oh no, my god. Do it. Do it, do it. Come on. No, that's chasing the high from last game, dude. What? Oh no. Yeah. Okay. She's a okay. content creator. She's I, a gamer. I actually, I actually almost always take the Sogman. I feel like there's so many good emblems in the set, and it's just so fun that I just take it every time. But I mean, yeah, I don't know if that's correct. I mean, she might get the tuber. It's going to be late. Okay. I mean, the six porcelain was kind of a tuber already, so she's going for the back-to-back -back tuber. This Nautilus seems like a higher roll, but this unit is just so bad right now. He never casts. I think yeah, he's like a very reasonable slam here, unless she's, like, greeting for <laughs> Titans or Edge of Night and BT. Yeah, I'm surprised that they didn't give Nautilus a little bit of a buff this patch, but... Maybe the, they're oh, thinking. You mean the micro patch? Huh? Do you mean the micro patch? No, I mean or, the or patch that more dog did a patch rundown today of like what's coming up next for next next week's patch. Um, Wait, you look up like what's going to be changed before it happens, and then use that information to make theories on what's going to be strong. I mean, I have to. That's what people watch me for for the most part. Yeah. But you don't watch Wait, the more rundown. Let the patch happen and then get surprised. Uh, well, I, I actually react to the patch rundown. So I give like additional commentary to like why they do things or like what I think is good or bad. So basically like Mort says, here are the things that we're buffing. And I'm like, okay, that's unnecessary. Or if he says, these are things that we're nerfing. I'm like, that makes sense. So just, you know, stuff like that. Okay. Extra commentary. Moment of truth. Encounter. Faded or Reaper, it's over. Dragon Lord. Reforge it. Reforge it. Wait, she's reforged. gonna do it. L Lock it is. Oh my God. She's going turbo. Okay. She, she instantly takes Zeke's. Oh. All right, reforge that plus like a chain. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Oh. And boom. Oh. Sage. That's good. That's good. Because you play Morgana. Uh, well, it's not good right now. That's that's what's awkward, I guess. But oh, no, you can play Zyra. Know, I, boom. Value. I don't think she can fit Zyra in easily. I feel um, like she needs some for Zeke's. Take Sage some, here? Like. Zeke's. Trisha, the Zeke's. I mean, she's the getting Zeke's value. Like, yeah. yeah, she's getting she's getting fine value. She could like solo frontline the Nar and then. Get yeah. Five units, Zeke's. Whoa. Okay, so box like you don't read any patch notes ever. You just kind of jump into it. Uh, I read them on the day it comes out, so I can get surprised. And I specifically tell people to not tell me what's being changed because, or like. If I'm ever like in a meeting with somebody or like and get offered insider information early, I always tell them to not do it because I got a fat mouth and I'll accidentally like leak things. I see. Okay. I thought you did so it because I always you, like you... Okay. get surprised. Interesting. Interesting. Is that a mock? Morgana on. Oh. It's probably actually the rod. So, hmm. so, so she was thinking about going for what, like Titans? Gauge and and what like BT? Wait, what did she just? She grabbed a one gold. She got a belt. One gold belt. What is she thinking right now? What do you think? Morello. Uh, maybe thinking about anti heal at this point. Over oh, getting a Morgana? Or uh, sorry, we're getting a four cost. Well, she's pre level, so she's gonna level. I don't think she's rolling for two costs. But then again, I'm not entirely sure what we're going for. So she is. It is anti heal. She's probably thinking about like a full pivot here. You could level to seven here, go down to forty gold. Yeah, these are really cheap levels, and I think uh, something. Oh, in general... she really needs to level here. She's low. Oh, you can level for free basically. And the Zeke's value, dink dunk. Oh no, she doesn't see it. Uh... What are we greeting for? So when we greet this hard, it's usually because you want to conserve your gold to like roll for something, but I don't even know what we want to roll for. We're going fast nine, bro. These are Hawaii it looks items. Like she was going for the Kindred three, but then 
seeing how the game is going right now with the branching out, she decided to move on. I think she's just going to go for Morgana now. Morgana Kane. Oh, or ghostly else, Morgana. With Sage Spat. Yeah, it's like wonderfully powerful. Uh, I see. And the Morellos. Okay. But like, she should definitely have leveled. She's 39 HP. When you sell it. Oh. Salvage bin. Oh, Orn's good. Oh, Very Orn. good. And Thresh. Oh, oh. Believed. Uh, this is actually really good, because then we can go uh, Stone Plate Redemption. Yeah, we, we can pivot to, like, a more standard build. Oh, wait, Thresh! Oh, oh. The Thresh! Oh, I like that play, though. That's some, uh, it's a that's full some good cleavage. Oh, uh, Sword Weaver, maybe? Oh, no, no, no! No, 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 oh. no. no, no. Wait, you have, you have another item? What? Oh, she <laughs> your oh, sorry. I just didn't expect that to happen. Or you just like, nah, Are, fuck it. I'm just going to remake this. <laughs> oh. Okay. Not bad. Oh, uh, you have another component, Trisha. You have, you have another component. No, no, no. Oh, she sees it. She okay. sees it. She sees it. Archangels, Archangels, Archangels is actually really good. Oh, no. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, it's, okay. she can, she it's, it's not like it's a bad item. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. It's not too bad. Oh, that was some crazy APM. That was really interesting. It was a roller coaster. Uh, that, that was there's a lot of ups and downs that one. I think the big duplicator is like encouraging her to go for these four costs, but she has to roll at seven. And I don't know if you guys try rolling at seven these days for four costs, but it feels bad. It feels so bad. Yeah. Rolling at seven for four costs is the same as rolling at nine for five costs. Okay, but that like going that, eight also but that feels, feels really way bad. better to roll at nine for five costs than it does for four costs at seven, doesn't it? Yes, that is true. Well, like usually when you're rolling at seven for uh, four costs, you're also down to like two star, a bunch of two and three costs. Yeah, exactly. But uh, at level nine, I would say you're usually just like looking for the legendaries. It takes a ridiculous amount of gold to uh, get your legendaries. Legendaries two starred. All right, we, we probably have to level here. We need to like all in and oh, wow. Double Lilia. All, all in with what? Huge. 15 gold? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a two star Lilia. Oh, it's a oh, Morgana. What the heck? Oh, Wait, Kane and Morgana? And Alessandra. And Alessandra. This is all so huge. Oh my God. Please buy the. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh no. I mean, I think it's fine. Yeah, but yeah, it was hard to fit in. I mean, yeah, it's hard to fit in. And also, um. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Sloj. Hodge. 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 is also really good too, I think. On Orn, yeah. I think people if in general don't build it. would be a little late, but. Like, she probably wins this round. The guy didn't uh, roll down. Do you know what my theory is? What's up? I think that people don't build Crown Guard because, uh, well, one, it, Rod is just really good. People don't want to spend their rods on it. But you know the Crown Guard uh, uh, augments? Yeah, it's it bugged, you... and people it... think it makes the main one bugged yeah, yeah yeah it's bugged and i think people associate with crown guard being bugged and not working as crown guard the item i should just never build it but yeah, it's actually I quite love, good I, I, I wouldn't be surprised oh, oh, call, the call, the call the chaos I, call the chaos call the chaos call chaos alessandra too oh we took oh, it she's, she's chaotic oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> the triple oh. okay okay hey, we triple hit sniper one sniper is alessandra one, one yeah oh my god what one irelia is also incredible if we're able to get it all right, we got to roll for something. Oh, another pivot. All right. Come on. Uh, oh, dear. oh, oh, triple shit. sniper. Long so don't, don't skip the Uter. Don't skip him. Oh. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, uh, oh, oh my. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Oh. What is this? This is some trick to g uh, Corner, one. corner him, corner him, corner him. Corner him. Oh no. Max sniper's value. She locked. She locked. Oh my just god. Suddenly sin. He's about to transform into a bird. Oh my god. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, here we go. Oh. Okay, he just grabbed somebody. He uses the force. Uh, oh, god, I, why does this look like it's doing nothing? <laughs> He's not a damage dealer. It doesn't like do that. anything. Oh wait! <laughs> wait like, who dare do something, man? Come on! Oh god! Oh man, that was terrible. I I actually really like the attempt. She's a she's a content creator for sure. Oh, oh no, 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 no 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 no! We're we're committed to this. We're committed to this. Oh. Okay, um, she should sell this Udyr. 
Okay, low key, I feel like if you put these on a Yasuo one or something, it would be better. Yasuo. I was thinking you put it on him. That could potentially be interesting. She should also really slam the crown guard. I think she's being very greedy with this rod. She's probably thinking she needs anti uh, magic resistance. Oh, uh, okay. But uh, I, I mean, I agree. I was in crown guard two rounds ago to preserve HP. I love this Udyr. He's the only <laughs> in the game that actively griefs himself with Sniper Focus. <laughs> what? <laughs> in range? Dude, this target dummy is ability. cooked. Oh my god. That target dummy doesn't this stand a chance. My god. Wait, when she won? Yeah, it's only... Double and Rage Udyr, Blade second Sniper DPS. 3. That's pretty good. Oh my god. <laughs> like... Oh no, she Udyr had two. Udyr 2. She just needed to greet. Udyr 2. Oh god, missed Udyr 2. Oh, Sage, Wukong with Spark. That's actually huge. Okay. Five Sage is really good. Triple Five really Sniper's good. Wukong. No, 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 we do not need the Sniper Monkey. Oh, she's thinking about it. The she's Sniper gonna... Monkey from Blue Power gonna, Defense. She's gonna sell the Sniper Udyr for your <laughs> Sniper Monkey. Okay, but imagine when he goes the big bonk with Triple Snipers. Holy. Wait, I'm kind of down to see what happens. Like, yeah, when he dashes in, Wait. that'll be bad, but when he does the big bonk... Come does on, he even come dash on. in? Does he even dash in? He, oh he does my the god. Third one, I think. Oh, here it is! Yes! Oh, oh wait. Please, oh. put the other two on. Yes, ma'am. What the I'm hell sure he, is I'm this? I'm sure he jumps in for the third one, right? But for the bonk, he doesn't? I don't even know. I've never seen this before. I have no idea. This, how this Orin works. is carrying so much weight on his. Oh, what are we rolling? For? What are we rolling? Release it for, for Udir two or for uh for for Wukong two. Five Wukong sage. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's the staff. Here's the staff. Okay. Let's see okay, what happens. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. It's actually looking kind of good. Oh, spin. Oh, he does some dash no, in. That's fine. That's fine. Boom. Boom. Oh. Wait, this guy's cooking. Uh, uh, okay. I've seen worse. I've seen worse. Wait, 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 wait. wait, she won! Sniper monkey? You know, it kind of reminds me of League. Like, you know when you queue on Wukong and it has, like, giga long range? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the Dragon Ball Goku staff, oh, you know, too. where he, like, elongated the staff yeah. and, and smacked exactly. down. Exactly. Yeah, 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 You're right. Yeah. Wait, don't roll. Don't roll. There's, like... I mean... There's a little only one thing you can hit here if you roll. Two things, two things, but, yeah. Oh, you're you know, talking about, like, the golden three... map. I heard if you put three snipers focus on Wukong, his staff still isn't as long as Frodan's. <laughs> okay, man. This is why we have you on the team for credits <laughs> for the insightful commentary. Right. <laughs> I, I like this uh, putting Wukong on the second row for the additional Omnivamp. <laughs> I like He's it. probably going to walk up anyway. Oh, wait. It's perfect range. <laughs> it's it's so just stun. It's it's stun. Cool. Wait, is this still hitting the... Oh... It's still hitting the thresh. I don't think the spell is hitting. Yeah, despite him being not next to it. Wait a second. Okay, is it just me or is Wait Sniper Monkey actually second? looking a little good? It's uh, it's I mean, it's, it's definitely looked like we we might not go eighth, which is huge. We need a super monkey. Ooh, Dude, triple not, sniper's way. Not, not pivot to the way. I mean, you know what they say. What? When there's no a way, will, there's no a way. way. But... Yep. I mean, Hui is way better, but Wukong's way cooler. What do you, what, what do you like even play? A Rakan what do you even play Hui uh, over? Wukong. Uh, probably over the Janna, if anything, but I don't think yeah. it's worth it. I think it's worth it. You just magnetic remover the Wukong. GG's. Oh, you don't think Hui's worth it here? I'm pretty sure Hui's like always worth it. He's just... Oh my god. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's is time. Is it? Three percent. Two star. Oh, nice. Two star sniper monkey. At step one. Step two. Step two. Step two. Morgana. Oh, Morgana. Oh, this okay. is the oh. my gym partners of monkey. We're still in King one. We're still in King one. Oh my god. Spark or Shiv, either one. Uh, yeah, I like Shiv a little better. Yep. Yeah, because the unit won't die. Yeah, we have no one uh, to hold Spark. You should sell this Janna for Zyra. Okay, Bard 3. Two and a okay, half honestly, items. Honestly, 
Is this Kane even doing anything? Shouldn't Ooh. we sell Kane for like a behemoth? He's adding ghostly. Oh, no. sure he has the behemoth in the top left. Oh no! We're living. We're living. We're living. One HP. Okay. All right. Here we go. Two star monkey. Irelia. Ooh, Irelia. Oh. oh. Wait, that would have been so. No, that would have been actually been nasty. Isn't that this triple yeah. sniper smoke is Irelia? And you already had duelist. It would have yeah. been perfect over uh, Kane. <laughs> wait. What? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, oh, triple snipers Lee Sin. Whoa! Yes, man. Why do we need the duelist then? We need the duelist then. Okay, now we need an really... Wait, put him back, put him back, put him back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bin, put him back, bin. man. I just give him the AP. Fuck it. It's like he just keeps throwing like the Lee Sin cues. Oh, God. Wait, that'd be sick. Two star Udyr, level 9, 50 gold. Uh, yeah. This is, looking... <laughs> this is looking bad. Okay. Hang on. Let this. Lee Hold on. Cook. This 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 cane is actually doing the Lord's work. What the? Wait, heck? you're right. I should talk this cane. What? Cane one, baby. Oh, I did get items printed from Orn. <clears throat> and set encounter. Working out with set makes you bigger. Oh. This, this is really good. Oh yeah, we have one floating component. What the heck? Yeah, she actually goes sixth if she does this. Instant oh. cane by the cane. Yeah. Roll once. Oh, okay. I think she's thinking cane items, so... Cane or Wukong items, yeah. But she should roll first and see if she hits either one. Maybe even sell the Diana. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, we are certain about our items. BT oh Gumblade. Wait, at least roll once. See if you hit an upgrade. This matters a lot. Oh, oh, what? Oh. Gumblade backline. <laughs> sell the Diana and roll. Oh, okay. I may as well at least roll once. The next roll could have that Wukong. <clears throat> the disrespect to Kane. You know what they say. TFT players are one roll away from a Wukong too. Do they say that? Oh no, the Udyr got on Morgana. It's not looking good, guys. Wait. Wait a second. Hang on. Look at Wukong! Look at Wukong! Dude, this Wukong which is taking is? forever. Which, which one? No, there's too many things. There's so many small dudes. Oh my god, this is so annoying. It's okay. Sniper's Lee is still alive, and he no. has the Omni Vamp. No. No. Wait, it's a seven. Wait, she oh, went we seven. Take those. We take those. She actually almost went six. She was one auto off or one kill off. We take those. We take those. Okay, I'm she gonna just add invented the average here. place for uh, triple snipers Wukong. Wait, hang on. What do we have over there in the bottom left corner? We have uh, someone playing uh, the, the 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 MOBA based on TFT. Oh, is, it, is this Hyper Roll? <laughs> yeah, the new game mode. Ooh, Nautilus Azir comp. <clears throat> oh, Poppy. Hey, oh, is he safe? Is that what happened? Let me see. Go FF, oh, we are not playing the game. We have Azir Nautilus. <laughs> True. But it's not even bad. That's like a, that's like a mythic invoker setup. All right, this is um, this is FS and oh, Saber. Is safe. Sabers went eight seven. He's currently averaging a seven point five. Oh, those are some soju looking scores. Okay, I just looked it up. Tactician, the guy who's playing League of Legends, he made it plus two hundred LP. He's safe, so he's stopping for the day. I wasn't sure Got if it. he like gave up and was playing League of Legends or if he was safe and then played League of Legends. So we can confirm that he is safe. He's very safe. Uh, for Saber to not die. He needs. Oh, it's a battle between Saber, Zyronic, the guy we watched earlier, and Frog172270039. It's kind of looking like a first. His augments are insane. Gargantuan into Reaper Wait. Crown into Combat Caster. It's a three way tie for Diamond 1 0 LP, and one of them's going to die. Um, What's the tiebreaker? He's gaining 55 LP right now. Is there a tiebreaker? There's actually a giant traffic jam at Diamond 1. <clears throat> Uh, the tiebreaker is Boxbox Box puts on his favorite K-pop song, and then they have to dance to it in whatever dance he likes more. He picks. Uh, sorry, Fred, what were you saying? I said, well, what's a tiebreaker if they do tie? What we've been doing is uh, we just let both of the tying people move on if there's an exact tie, and then we'll eliminate one more the next day. I see. We'll still end up with the same number of uh, contestants. So no K-pop dances like Ray Sutton. 
Oh man, we tuned in at the very end of the game. We didn't even get to see the path here. Looks like a top two. This is huge for him though. Yeah, I mean, we, like we, can, we can move to a different POV. Now. We can pivot if you want. Is there somebody near the beginning of the game? Oh, wait, let, let's just see if he... Let's watch this battle. Oh, look at these Wukong oh, items. He's rolling for Silas 3! <laughs> yes! Wait, yes. Wukong 3. Oh, I mean, this is a good opportunity to talk about... Uh, like, positioning Yone is actually really, really key. In fact, I would argue that, like, rolling here is, like, not important. I think positioning is, like, way more important. Okay, but he, if, if he's a god at positioning, then... Yeah. Well, it's if you're trying to snipe that Senna, you move Yone one to the right, he's right? Did still. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Does he get the snipe? Oh no! Uh, that, that, he's that didn't absolutely work. not getting the snipe here. He also lost Umbral. It depends. It depends. If, if he gets past this and he moves to the the center, and then the second cast is going to reach the potentially reach the, the Senna. Wait. So if you're trying to snipe someone's carry in the corner, what hex do you want to put Yone in? Throw in. Three or four hexes away. <clears throat> Uh, you want to put him in, like, I mean, like, basically A2, A6. A2, I really A6. like what Saber did. Did you see how he, like, griefed his own umbral? Because his opponent probably wouldn't have expected it and then moved in that corner. You know what I mean? Yeah. He yeah, yeah. Rain close in the beginning of the game if you want to watch. Oh, Wait, she's doing, she's doing it. doing really well. She's doing it. She's 460, she went 3 two, one and now she's only 30 LP behind elimination. Wait, you're right. If Rain gains... 30 LP, uh, 40 LP, she's safe. Mm -hmm. Wait, this is sick. Okay, let's watch. Raiden always has some interesting tech. Oh, and we get to watch from the beginning, too. I'm ready to learn. Wait, I'm gonna grab a snack. Tell me if I miss anything. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> So, uh, this is a pretty good lobby, actually. We got uh, Spencer, who is a well-known ladder player, who's also kind of... <laughs> he was under, he was actually kind of under fire last set for uh, doing the whole griefing heart steel thing, raising the... Like, someone raised the stakes, and then he, like, FF'd. But, the uh, incident! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Incident. Hashtag team wagering. But uh, Sp Spencer is also, like, a really good ladder player, rank one all the time. Uh, Asa is also really known. I think a, I think a lot of box box viewers know about Asa. He's actually doing really Asa. well in the, in the boot camp. Yes, he's ranked two. Or let me check now. But Asa has been popping off. Yeah, he's yeah, ranked he's two right insane. now. He's only seventy LP behind rank one, who actually has swapped hands. Uh, it's YBY rank one. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. It's gonna be a three way horse right now. It's projected to be a three way horse between uh, YBY, Asa, and Setsuko. Dish Soap has kind of hit a wall, and then Sp Spencer is uh, making a big comeback too. Spencer's 800 LP. Wow. <clears throat> and then Phoenix is like part of Soju's practice group. He goes by the username, uh, his, his surname of uh, Garage Guy. People might know him. He's a guy who streams from a garage. Uh, hmm. And, and that's it. <laughs> he also carries me in Valorant sometimes. Good guy. He's really good at a lot of games. He's really good at Rocket League, too. Oh, at what, at what cost? Do not pick that augment. Do not oh, is it bad? Yeah, it's actually quite Wait, terrible. I'm um, getting one gold. One gold? Yeah. Okay, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't want to spoil you on what's going to happen in the patch, so I'll just not say anything. Uh, going long, I don't know if I actually ever take this, this set, but... I hate it. it. I hate it. Yeah. Oh, March of Progress, good for reroll. Oh, Buried Treasures is really good. I love me some Buried Treasure. You have to play Loose Streak with Buried Treasures, though. That's a little scary. But, like, <clears throat> if you have a weak board, kind of lines up. You play the Loose Streak, you get your items, you spike on 3-2. But you have to, like, win on 3-2. Yeah. If you don't win, it's just, it's over. I find that um, Loose Streaking in general is really weak this set. Oh, interesting. With that nerfed streak gold. Now, instead of, like, getting six gold on the, the five loss streak to the group round, you only get four. Yeah, I completely agree. I, I usually try to win streak every game. I mean, win streak is ideal Always for sure. I think, it's, I think it's just easier to play from win streak at the moment. Lose streak is very strong, but you have to, like, kind of play it a specific way. Um, it, you have to play, like, win out type of stuff, and they're harder to uh, to play because every HP you can preserve really matters and every item slam you you choose like really matters as well. 
Uh, and so I, I do think Lucic is actually quite strong if you are good at it. But I think it's hard to pull off. What do you think is like the best strat for a loose streak? If you like five loose streak, kind of open for it. What would you go for? Uh, well, if you're you the choice. Well, you, well, like you're generally not trying to open for it. You're trying to like preserve HP with five loss streak. But if you do, uh, there's like really good reroll comps that you can like win out and stabilize at two stars. It's like Yone, for example, I think is like really good from loose streak. And I think Kaisa is actually surprisingly really good from loose streak. But that's something that uh, I myself have not like perfected yet. It's actually surprisingly really hard to play. Even though the, the concept is really simple, all you want is like four trick shot Kaisa with frontline. It's actually really hard to like execute it correctly because you uh, basically need to like position perfectly and make sure that you don't make any mistakes. Wait, four, four trick shot Kaisa is a build? Yeah, it's actually considered uh, like one of the three S tier builds right now. Really? Yeah. Who's your frontline? Storyweaver? I mean, Story Weaver Bruisers is like the easiest to play around, but you can play a bunch of different ways. That's what makes it really interesting. Yeah, I think generally from loose streaking, most of the time you want to play reroll comp. I haven't played that for trick shot Kaisa comp, so maybe that's really good too. But I think like all, all of my eights are when I try to loose streak into like fast nine or fast eight. Yeah, yeah, and you go nine and you don't hit your true star legendary and you die. Yeah, you, even if you time. do hit your two star legendary, you just get kind of like rolled over by like a Senna yeah. or a Yone. So it, it, it's it's not that reliable. I think Fast Nine is only reserved for like win streak high rollers. And that's about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the most consistent <laughs> method for loose streaking, is, at least for me, is uh, playing around like two cost real comps, like playing the, the Senna Ghostly board after a loose streak. You have so much money and you can roll like a, a good amount of times on six on three, two, and then stabilize, and then you win streak the rest of stage three, and then that's kind of nice. That's kind of how I played, like, Katarina back in the day. Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, there's a couple other things you can do. You could probably play Faded as well, but Faded is a little bit riskier because Ghostly exists. But that was that was True. more prevalent earlier in the patch. And so, like, that's oh. kind of... Oh. What does she want here? Bow is probably really good. Uh, Cloak is also re reasonable. Volibear with Bow. Volibear with Bow and play Duelist? This might just be for the Yone. Oh, Yone. Yone. <clears throat> yeah, because I really? feel like, like I said, Yone is a really powerful comp to play from behind. And also uh, very stable at two stars if you're able to get like a, a, a mostly upgraded board at two star. Wait, she did a really big misplay um, that turn. I don't know if you saw that box box, but did, did, you, <laughs> did you notice it? No. Okay, so she called Yone in the chat, right? She didn't deafen. But she forgot she to deafen deaf right after, so someone said same. So now she's required to pivot off the comp because she didn't deafen to not hear him. Yeah. Oh, she's slamming all her items. Like, <clears throat> wait, Gunblade? Is that better than BT? No, but you just really care about, like, having... Like, the thing about uh -huh. Yone that I think uh, people often mistake is that, uh, like, you rarely get Biss on him. and Because tempo and slamming items actually matters a lot more. Hmm. Like a lot, and, and true, true Bis Yone is like double Titans, like Hodge, probably, but like you rarely kind of do that. Like, I won a game where I slammed Last Whispers with my first items on him. And that, that was, that was my game that I got to Masters, uh, something like that. What, what were your final items? It was like Titan, it was like Last Whisper Bloodthirster, and then I got a Titan later on. Okay. But like in that order is like really weird for a lot of people. Like, because they usually try to go out of the way to do something else. Yeah, true. Wait, did you put the Heavenly version? Yeah, or... I personally think Heavenly version's really uh, the best one. There's like five different Yone versions, which is really crazy. I think he's actually probably the best three-cost uh, design. He's, he's, he's the best three-cost they've had since like Yasuo from set five. I don't know if you guys remember that. There's like a Nightbringer. I love that guy. Yeah, there's a Nightbringer Yasuo build that was like so crazy. It was like the RFC JG uh, stuff that people love to play. And oh, he, that was so fun. It was, it was hyper flexible, really fun. I think Yone, this says Yone is basically like that. He has so many different variations you can play. It's insane. There's Altruist Yone, there's Heavenly Yone, there's uh, Umbral Yone, there's Duelist Yone, and then there's uh, uh, Behemoth Yone. But uh, when you're playing the Heavenly version, are you only rerolling for Yone? Or is there anything else you reroll? Uh, you can reroll for like okay, so. The, uh, you can reroll for Malphite three. I think his his uh, specific trait that he gives is really good. The resistances, but um, a lot of times you just you just hold the only three. That's it. Got it.
Kiana 3 is kind of bait, in my opinion. But a lot of people Wait, go for if it. If you're not building a QSS, how are you going to deal with um, Lissandra late game? Or do you just like try to avoid her? You just, yeah, basically like uh, you just try to avoid her if you yeah. can. If your Yoni doesn't get ulted by Lissandra within her first or second cast, that'll be enough time for Yoni to go to the backline and kill their carries. And then by the time that happens, it doesn't matter if Lissandra ults because the fight's yeah. already won, right? And that's like another mm. thing about what I like about Heavenly Yoni a lot is that you just you just don't ever feel tempted to greed Umbral. <laughs> the fact that you Wait. even have Umbral Hexes just makes you feel like you want to greed it because you're like, oh my god, the execute. And then uh, and then Wait, you're, you're so predictable and then they just like Lissandra you or they do something She's else. She's not buying the I guess she's just playing the. Uh, you play heavenly version. from here. You, you, Loon, Loon is really weak in, my, in the meta right now. So. Oh really? I yeah. thought you had to. Oh, I'm learning. Okay. You no, know, you, okay, you, you don't play. Really... Um, the best version of Yoni doesn't play Umbral right now. Box box. Wait, what is the best version? Can you tell me? Uh, you play vertical heavenly instead, and you get, you try to uh, all in on the heavenly stats to make Yoni unkillable. And you could possibly go for a Reaper, right, as well. Yes, yes. Hmm. You you always want four Reaper, and then you'd squeeze in as many Heavenlies after that. Yeah. Okay, you know what's really weird? This Aluna unit to me feels like either a god or worthless. I don't know, like, sometimes I play her and she just one-shots the whole board, and then sometimes I play her and she does nothing. I don't get it. Uh, yeah, I mean... Uh, I've never seen her even be a god, so <laughs> uh, the fact that you even have seen witnessed her uh, even do something at all is impressive to me. I've never seen her do anything this past. There, there was this one game uh, we all played together where I had an Alune 2 with Radiant Guardbreaker, two other items, and my Alune one shot four units at once, and it was crazy. And did uh, okay. 15k damage. That's but then I was like, but then I, like the next round she didn't do anything, so I was like, huh? Oh, Ooh, these all suck. Vertical Umbral is so bad. Okay, Radiant Relics for your Yone actually sounds really good. I'm down. You you really want something like Tiny But Deadly or High Resist 3 or something like that. Umbral Crown could give you an excuse to play into... Oh, Baboom. Okay, so in the Wait, data, Baboom, Baboom is supposed to be good, but I personally have not seen it do that well. Oh, I played a Baboom Janna reroll game today. It was insane. Isn't this a very obvious Radiant Relics for a third item Yone? Because the other ones just seem really bad. You really want combat, though. If you, if you end up picking two Prismatics and you don't have a single combat augment, you're kind of like in an awkward spot. Oh, and also if you miss. <laughs> Radiant Life Blade. Wow. Am <laughs> Yone Ambulance. Oh, God. Bro's got two <laughs> swords and two guns. Damn. Looking like Victor from Tekken 8. <laughs> All right, not the end of the world, though, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. Because we have, a, we have a remover, later. so that's actually not the end of the world, but it's not looking like, great. This is if you're, not ideal. If you're playing the Heavenly, who do you put the other Gunblade on? Oh, Kane. Uh, Kane or Kindred. You, you basically want to stack the Reapers. It's actually kind of, uh, yeah, right. it's actually kind of a misnomer to call it Heavenly. It should always be four Reapers on Yone, and then you just like... Because a, a lot of times people feel tempted to, to itemize the other Heavenly units. Got it. Yeah. Hmm. But I, al I also will say that you do need sometimes the utility stuff. Like sometimes you just you just put even shroud and sunfire and redemption on 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 Nico, and, and then that's what you just do. I'm really good to see how this works out. This game feels so screwed to me, but I'm down to see. Oh, she's contested, Ooh. and her contester took. Tiny but deadly. Yeah, that's like the augment you want for the most part because it's like everything Yone wants, right? It's the attack speed and the move speed. It's like it's like featherweight's smaller. five. Yeah, can you imagine like if you were a samurai and you one day you woke up and you were smaller and faster, you would just be broken. <laughs> like you could dodge other attacks because you're so small, but you're even stronger. Yeah. Thank you, Whenever I'm a samurai, I think about it. <laughs> okay, is there any chance that we level up and try to preserve Streak? Level up Soraka. Oh, or she's so Reaper. poor. And there's also an encounter at th after 3-5, which is also difficult. The encounters is like, what if you what if you get like the Kha'Zix, which is like leveling costs one less, and you just leveled, and you just wasted like... Oh, she didn't get it. Six gold. Crown Guard. Hmm. No anti-heal? No sunfire? 
She might just play. She might just play Yone Tempo. I've seen. I've seen Yone two top four, even top three before. Oh, she is quite poor. Leveling here is very risky. And the, and then the, and then the other question is, what are we leveling for? Are we leveling for Soraka? Soraka is the one heavily that doesn't really matter very much because her stats don't add that much. Her her good? ability is insane, but AP. like she's giving you AP. Man, Rain is sitting on like six pairs right now. This is, feels really frustrating. Ooh, Crown Guard Volley Bear. I like I like that. Yeah. Oh, I mean, she already has more LOs, so she didn't need anti heal. That's my bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, Crown Guard is a very good Volley Bear item. Oh man, this is uh this is a bad matchup right now. Mm -mm. Ambulance Yone. We have sustain. Mm -hmm. This guy has no anti heal. I, oh, we're going to yeah, take owned. a 7-0 loss. This is so bad. Oh, God. Wait. Oh, no. Never mind. Oh. Okay, okay. This is kind of off topic, <clears throat> but this set actually might have my favorite duelist lineup of any set I've played. I don't know why. I just love all the duelists. Like, they're so fun. Yasuo, Darius. Like, Volibear, Volibear and Tristana are, like, my favorite. Like, the three costs. Oh, really fun snap. To Working out a set oh. makes you bigger. All right. Go do your setups, bro. Thanks, set. All right. All right. I go I think Lee Sin really sucks. Like, I feel like he could have been interesting, but... Yeah, Lee Sin is definitely the least interesting. It's like a short, single-target stun kick that kind of does damage elsewhere. Ooh, are we taking this York for now? Uh, cost I mean, you might have to just to preserve HP, but it does cost gold. And, she, and right now, she might be thinking just, like, lose one more anyways. Because it's like, you're, you're basically playing one gold to see if you kills one more unit. And for her, she probably doesn't feel like it's worth. Yes, sir. Oh, is Galio uh, exalted? It might be. She might be playing the exalted. Okay, so this is like the the sixth hidden uh, version of Yone that people don't talk about, which is exalted Yone, and that it's, it's, it heavily depends on the exalted combo. The but... forbidden Yone. Yeah, it's actually it actually is though. Oh my god, you wrapped backline. Penhead. This sounds like something out of a movie. Like long ago, there were five forms of Yone, but I believe. <laughs> There's a sixth one. Yes. Uh, and the movie title? Exalted Yone. I like it. Wait, I what like if it. there was an augment where you could change who the exalted units were that game? Like, you get to pick them. This one's pretty bad. Oh That's my it. god. Oh. All right. I like this roll down. Yeah. Three Sorakas. She's, she's going to test this, so she needs to roll. She, by the way, needs a Kha'Zix, which sometimes is, like, impossible to hit. Just putting it out there. Oh, yeah, Kha'Zix's uh, Heavenly Bonus is quite good for this comp, right? Because of Reaper and stuff? Yeah, yeah, but, really like, deep. our odds are lower and lower, so it's, like... I've been, spots, I've been in spots like this where it's, like, Kha'Zix just doesn't show up ever. Yeah, maybe he's stealth right now. Okay, oh. okay. That's very big. Oh, we're still going. Well, we, we, we need Kha'Zix. Oh, Kha'Zix. Replacement Kiana. Oh, Kha'Zix actually... I, I mean, like this. oh god, it's actually so painful when this happens. I mean, this is the beauty of TFT. Wait, it's just like... The beauty of TFT. No, this is the beauty of TFT, because even though her spot doesn't look that good, she has four Yones, right? So that means she only needs five more Yones for Yone 3, and it's technically possible that next shop has five Yones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm down. If, if Rain gets a five Yone shop, Rain, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you to Japan, anywhere you want. Uh Oh right, my that, god. Alright, well now I want that to any happen. Of her shops this game. Now I want that <laughs> to happen. And she hits five Yones. Okay, okay. Five Yones, one I'll time. I'll take you and all your subs. All oh my subs. Wow. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Those are about to be bankrupt. Dude, you're, no, there's no more Boxbox Box Bootcamp after this set. Uh, Teresa Carlin. Oh. Support. Oh. Support cash is so good for Yone. Like a, a nice way to put more stats on the Yone beyond. He, she, she's thinking about transitioning out. Extended duel can like technically play around duelist, but oh, oh, god! I guess it's Zeke's. Yeah, 
Cosmic stink dog. Okay, we got Morgana at least. No Yone, Sag. I mean, she has Yone too, which is like all she kind of needs, quite frankly. Who's the yeah, oh, on a trip to Japan? Unlucky. Also, uh, Zeke's is so awkward for Umbral as well. Yeah, this is so rough. That was a huge miss. Something like Banshee's Veil has just been in a game winner. Oh man, I think she's gonna try to salvage like a six, and that's it. <clears throat> well, at least it's Damn. probably not a name unless Spencer's playing Fortune. This guy's level seven, fifty gold, six yones. You've got to be kidding me. It's it's one of the most discouraging things that can happen to you in TFT, where like you have a good start for a build, a guy can test you and naturals your whole build. Yeah, yeah. she like it, if only she deafened after calling Yone. Yeah. Oh, and the itemization so much luckier too. I feel so bad for Rain. But so yeah, I mean, TFT are just like this. Yeah, like, it's your best angle. You just pray you didn't want to be contested. I personally, I want to hear your guys' opinion. I personally had a lot of problems with the, the bag size this set. Uh, I'd be curious to see what you guys think. Um. Okay. Uh. What What is your problem specifically with bag sizes? I think there's too much variance on, like, oh, I got a great angle for Kindred, but like because two people randomly had uh, were adjacent to Kindred and mm -hmm. they held two stars, I couldn't hit my build. And like that's just like basically random, right? Like, you didn't make a mistake. If you got five kindreds and like the optimal kindred items and augments, you're basically always going to go for it. Whether or not someone randomly plays two, whether or not two players play two two star kindreds for a couple of rounds or for like two stages and then like denies you your ability to play the game, that's like completely random. You take the, the Shen Behemoth augment or the Shen Hero augment, Ethereal Blades, but then like uh, one guy just holds a Shen 2 because he's going vertical ghostly with Kaisa. And like your odds of hitting go down by so much if one person randomly is adjacent to you. Like, uh, I that get is that true. there's skill in scouting, but I think the, the pool size is actually too small. Yeah, I remember uh, back in my day playing Katarina, there would be like three people holding Katarina too, and I would still hit. <laughs> yeah, uh, so you're right. I think that that's, uh, that's ultimately where most people who don't like it, uh, basically, that's exactly how they feel. I've come around on it because I think what it does is it really rewards people who don't play contested or like... In general, there's two, there's two things that it does. The first is that it stops people from just spamming the same thing. Like, I told you that Kaisa's S tier, right? But that doesn't mean that four people can hit Kaisa too, uh, and then all top four. Um, that's, that's just impossible these days. And so I think that's, like, a good thing to exist. I don't think that, like, because then TFT is a game where people kind of bandwagon. They all kind of, like, go for the same thing, and they all kind of hit. Like, EU was playing six Ghostlies in a lobby, and that's just, like, incorrect. And I think that's a good thing. Um, I do think that uh, bag sizes being what they are is less fun for people who aren't trying to sweat for the game. But it's at the same time, like, like you got you kind of have to ask, like, what actually is TFT trying to uh, encourage people to do? And like what T what TFT is actually trying to do with this bag size change is make it so that people learn to play more than one build. And I think that is like less fun, but ultimately like. I'm okay with it myself personally. I think it's worse for the casual player, but I think it's better for the engaged player. That's my. That's pick. a fair analysis. Yeah. And holy crap, the <laughs> actions that just happened here. Yeah, yeah. I, I think Vayne's Yowch. going in. She, she's super dead. Is this Zaya too on the enemy team? Yeah, I mean Spen Spencer just like all in and and uh, looks like he's very stable. Have you guys experiment experimented much with like putting items on Zaya instead of playing Rakan? I feel like she's always so useless. Feels like two star Zaya is worse than two star Kaisa. That's how I feel too. But Spencer's playing a two star Zaya there. I mean, Z Zaya can do well in uh, trick shot set up setups. That's about it for me. I've never seen it do well outside of that. I applaud her tenacity. She is still trying. Well, her if only... she can squeeze out like one placement, it might be worth it. But yeah, this is uh, this is a dev this because I think the thing is this is a devastating setback time wise. Yeah, I because like yeah. the only person who could place below her is Spencer, and Spencer just like massively capped out. I guess she—it's one more round. One more round. This is actually one of the worst roll down, like worst RNG I've ever seen. I feel so bad for her. Yeah, I mean, oh. once once she took Radiant Relics and didn't get a great item, that was kind of like a big nail in the coffin. Yeah, I mean, oh, and part the of being contested and her contester hit everything, which 
makes the game unplayable for her. Yeah. The only, like, like she had to play, or I guess she didn't have to. She, she could have done this earlier, but, like, a guy happened to hit Yone at the same time as her and then forced it no matter what. And then from that point onwards, one of them's going to die. Uh, I personally am not yes. really a fan of, like, the game of chicken. Well, that she, she, when people contest each other. Well, she knew he was playing it from turn one as well because they both called it. But yeah, right, right. Uh, so, so the only the only thing that I say is that she were she was offered other things that she could play. Yes, she could have played duelist from this spot. Yeah, or I guess kind of anything if she continued to open fording. Yeah, she didn't have to play Yone. She took one Yone with a rod off Carousel and committed to it. So it's like she. So, so this is exact. If if, if anything. This is the kind of behavior that, one, a lot of TFT players are fed up with. They don't like when people just say, like, oh, I have a single Yone with a rod, which doesn't even make sense for him a lot of times. And, like, I'm Yone. And this actually is a direct punish for that type of play style, which is, like, me, Yone, because I have I picked one Yone off Carousel. It's time to go Yone. And so this is what backsize is, is intended to stop. And so if you are a person that says, like, I don't like to see this type of play style succeed and flourish then you should be happy with this result. Not that I'm happy it's happening to Rain. I like Rain a lot, and she's a good friend. I'm just trying to say, like, this is a, a, an argument for the backside changes. That, that's a fair analysis. I'm done. Also, wow, it, that feels bad to have to skip the Yone's because we're too poor. Yeah. Man, no Ka Oh, Kha'Zix! Over the second Okay, game. we nice. finally found Kha'Zix. I mean, that part is just, like, infuriating. Like, you just can't find one single Kha'Zix. Like, come on now. Titans. Okay. No, low key, Galio. this Silas can cut pop off. Low key. Agreed. Very low key, though. Oh, Ray, on the topic of uh, Zaya and Rakan, there's a really funny tech you can do. Aw, we're dead. There's a really funny tech you can do where you can put uh, Trickster's Glass on a Rakan and then get the Zaya in the back. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've seen that. Wait, or the other way around. What's the tech? Uh, if you have a Trickster's Glass on Rakan or Zaya, you can put the clone in the front row or like the other side of the board, and you get both synergies. Oh, Wait, does that double their voice funny. lines? I don't know, but it's really funny. And then there's no like Zaya or Rakan on the sideline. But like, if you're playing like some sort of stand united board, it, it could actually matter. Oh, Saber's okay, playing Fortune. fortune. Is Wait, it? Oh, he has seven, he, he has eight Fortune. Oh, what the heck? He's playing mul he's playing oh uh all of Oh he's he's trying to Oh I see what he's trying to do. Fine vintage fortune? Oh my god. Wait. Uh this is so he, he he's he's just he's he's printing items every single round. Yeah, and, and also uh I, does does he get 30 luck every single time? So he 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 might be able to farm another tome for 9 fortune. Have you ever seen 9 fortune? Uh, I've heard of Legends of it. Yeah. Wait, so yeah, what happens at 7 Fortune? I've never hit it before. Well, you cash out every single round. And for how much? 30? Uh, well, no, if you lose, it's 30, I think. Isn't it? Oh, no, he wins. It's 30. It's 30. So 30 gives you a 40% chance for a tome. So you could just keep popping more tomes to get more. Okay, fortune. what happens at 9 Fortune? The Legends, right? Oh, I'm just going to let you find out. You want to find out, right? Okay, I'll find out. Oh, it's a tome! 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 tome. Oh. Uh, altruist, altruist, I guess. Altruist, altruist. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll take plus 20 magic resist and armor for my whole team. I guess I'll level up to 9 with 50 gold and start rolling a little bit. Oh, fucking no, we go 10. I mean, it Ooh. doesn't really matter. You can just take uh, anything. Big gem. Man, okay, I actually I'm like this separate pick. Because if someone, if you was to ever lose, it'd be to like a 3 star 5 cost. So Zephyr at least like gives you the chance. Sure. Yeah. Okay, sure. Who's gonna get a three star five cost here? Right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> he's looking awesome. for more ZZ Rot portals, but he's not finding any. That's okay. Oh yeah, anything here is a win. Yes, I agree. We're stacking infinite value. It just does not matter. He has too many uh, buffs. I mean, this is just the tuber of tubers right now. I think this fine vintage I augment is like one you. of the funnest things that TFT has like ever had, low key. It is a fun augment. I think so. I think so.
it's definitely gonna be like the thing about like like a year or two from now we're gonna be like you guys remember fine vintage man good times do you think they'll yeah, remove it after I, uh... this set oh good question they might yeah it's it's very unique uh one of my gripes with set 10 even though it was like quite a balanced set and did require a lot of skill to play was that there were not enough like memorable moments and like i don't think stuff like think fast should be back in the game but i do remember the moments where think fast like happened and then like i hit something crazy yeah i agree set 10 was Which like 10 here was basically like uh oh ages it was like it was like wandering trainers that's like what i remember of like the big moments in set 10. you might as well just <laughs> level up <clears throat> oh but that would actually inflict more damage on people i don't know if you want that okay we're doing it, we're doing it. <laughs> He's going to end the game sooner. Yeah, I mean... Samus is a very interesting person to follow, because he, um, he was, like, a full-time, very well-known, like, Caitlyn one-trick in League of Legends. He, like, streamed League of Legends the same time I was streaming League of Legends, but he, like, stuck with it longer. And then eventually he was like, I'm fed up with League of Legends, playing AD carry sucks, I'm going to pivot to TFT. Uh, but then after two years of TFT, he actually went back to League of Legends, and now he's back to TFT. He's pivoting IRL. Interesting. Curious, I mean... um, I'm curious if this boot camp is like a temporary thing and he's going to go back to League after or if he's going to uh, stick to it. I guess it matters on like how much he enjoys it. I, uh, I'm good at both games. I took the future side augment IRL and in his future he becomes a 2x KO pro uh, LE player. Oh, Ooh. even more pivots. Sick. 2x KO. You might be the first Probably person you luck. who calls it that. If you push your luck, does it stack? Uh, I don't know. Actually, I've never, I've never seen it. I guess he's just trying for, uh, for fortune. I feel like with fine vintage, you really want to stack identical support items, just because like the positioning gimmick for each of them are the same. So like, mm -hmm. I was surprised he didn't go for like triple Zeke's. I suppose Aegis is just really good for um. Yeah, Aegis yeah. Really uh, for, uh, there's a the realistic Zeroths. possibility where it it kind of like doesn't matter because he has just too much stuff like. He That's might true. have legitimately He's like um lose. like only like two or three free hexes by the end of the game. <laughs> like there's just so much random stuff. your choices from every anvil and what unit they go on, you'd still win this game. Oh, I mean he could AFK right now and win the game. <laughs> Something yeah. really funny. This game is actually very similar to backpack battles. This particular mm. game. What do you mean? He's playing mm. like the, the Tetris backpack battles is like an auto battler. Where the entire game is like how you manage the pieces together. Oh, the Tetris, and, which is basically yeah. like support anvils. That is true, actually. It's funny. Some people say that this oh, is basically R like Starcraft. Redemption. You're just attacking with a bunch of little voidlings. <laughs> well, he needs to buy some more backpack space so he can fit more stuff on the board. Oh no! All right, doesn't matter. Fine, vintage. Just don't get the mythic emblem. Yeah, where's his potion belt? Tom, 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 Tom. Okay, no oh, fortune. I guess I'll take another ultra spat. Yeah, such low value. I though. guess. <laughs> I, th I think the thing about pushing luck though is like you. I don't oh. think. It, it oh no, he's better. dizzy. Okay, Zephyr Zeke's. Oh. Oh, right, because he's trying to itemize Irelia. Another Randuins. Oh, God. Another Randuins. <laughs> oh, double, uh, trip, double uh, Sniper's Focus. The funny, the funny thing about uh, this kind of build with Sniper's Focus is nothing can ever get to Irelia because there's too much stuff. So you always get, like, insane Sniper's Focus value. Yeah, that's the kind of optimizations we need to win this game. Yeah, yeah. He's on a timer. He's trying to he's trying to race. So times of the essence. That is true. This game is like really fun, but he is actually about to get eliminated. Well, if he gets first here, he's safe for sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's that's that's. Let me take a look at the boot camp. I actually think there's a small small chance he goes first this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he's not even in range of elimination right now. If he if he first he's guaranteed safe, but there's like a giant traffic jam. The, the the entire top ten are all so close to each other. 
In Diamond 1? Well, they're like within 100 LP. Oh my god, he just can't do things fast enough. Oh, any three. Oh, any three. He's gonna, he's gonna hit any three with four shop spots. Wait, I have an idea. What if we all act like he's in a really bad spot and he's about to lose the game so we could fool some like chatters that are just tuning in and they're gonna be like, what? He's in such a good spot. <laughs> I That's feel like really no one's gonna get fooled, man. I feel like no one's gonna get fooled. Oh wait, did he give up a shop slot? Yeah, for the Cho'Gath. Oh, he doesn't wanna... I'm surprised. I feel like that's a blunder. It, he, 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 he could be going for three star five costs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is suboptimal. I think he's going for the world record of ZZ Rots on the board. So far, he's he got a like, good... He, he's the, getting there. He's at two. Tuber. He has two whole ZZ Rots. I mean, this game's only gonna last like three more fights. I just wanna see Nine Fortune, man. I kinda wanna see it. The oh, TF2 Starcraft Zerg build? Okay, cash out. No. Items. Dude, where are the ZZ rods, man? I was gonna I said that there's a good chance that he fills up the entire board by the end of the game. That's not happening right now. Yeah, where are the ZZ rods? I, I feel like he's low rolling so hard. Yeah, this guy, he's so unlucky. <laughs> yeah. I feel so bad for him. Oh, yeah. Good luck. This is just one of those games where I would like never play TFT again after. <laughs> He also you know is equipping too to many items. Like he's gonna, he, he if he wants to like mid max, he needs to start leaving some of the bad items on the bench. Wait, what if he goes for so many zephyrs that the whole enemy board gets zephyred and they just have to wait like five seconds for them to drop down? That's that's what's gonna happen, man. <laughs> Uh, this game right now has TFT has too many um like dialogue options that are like choices that like you'll oftentimes randomly like click when trying to buy an upgrade. Yeah. They need to like make them all globally have like a a one or two second timer before you can actually click on an option. I saw a clip where Dish Soap like had an upgrade in his shop and he went to go buy it and then right then, uh like a, a an important choice from an encounter. I uh, showed up and then he like clicked the wrong choice because he was just trying oh, to buy his upgrade. I, yes, but except it wasn't an encounter. It was fortune. So he actually clicked push your luck when he when he wanted to cash out. Oh, I did that same thing. Oh. So he, he saw an upgrade. He went to go click it. And then right as he was clicking it, the menu came up for push your luck versus cash out. And he was at 25 HP and it rolled a six. <laughs> uh. Dude, oh, where are the ZZ rods, man? Okay, this, it's this a one is... in three chance. There it is. Oh, there one. it is. Finally, man. Come on now. Oh my God, no tome. Oh, oh tome, oh, tome. Yay! Fortune, fortune, fortune. Fortune. Nine fortune, nine fortune, nine fortune. Wait, let's see it. Let's see it. A tree. A tree. The fortune tree. Well, what does it do? Oh, you you have to watch it and find out, man. The nine fortune mm. dream. What the the hell? Hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, I, I gotta turn up his volume. You guys are shitting out money. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, I feel like that kind of sucks. The gold wasn't doing any damage to the uh, oh opponent's God, board. I can't believe my eyes. Seems kind of weak. This is like one of those boards you'd see that's bugged on PBE. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, 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 okay, well. You can do it. That's not all it does. Cost. That's not all it does. Three star. Oh, okay, okay. ZZ Rot. I like how he stopped to make a ZZ Rot. He's oh, trying to fill up the entire cost. board. He's ditching the tree. Oh, no, he's ditching the other. Oh, where, where's there. the ZZ Rot? Where'd the ZZ Rot go? Oh, oh it stuck to the tree. <laughs> the bench. He wants the fortune. Get Put the tree back in. Back Get in. the tree back in. What the? Oh my god, two thirds of every single shop slot. <laughs> this is gonna be a close one, the target dummy. All right. Oh, he got Zephyr. Oh, Boy, that's Zephyrd gonna be a really is... big fight changer. Close, close. Tim. Wow. I mean, that guy just he fucked up actually... his positioning. He got his one unit Zephyr. Like, that guy. Man, like... that's embarrassing. If he was a little <laughs> bit luckier, uh, he could have actually filled up his entire board. 
That is true. All right, who are we watching now? Oh, back to the we, we just have to go back to like watching a normal TFT game now. I know. Okay, so a quick status update. Zyronic is Diamond 2. Let's see his LP. For him to be safe, he just needs to promote to Diamond 1. He is currently Diamond 2, 75 LP. So he needs a top 2 finish. This is actually very exciting then. Top 2 finish gets him to safety. Ooh, he's in a game with DQA. Yeah, I mean, Diamond 2 is, like, high enough to play with, with like, the, the top-level players right now. Pretty early on in the set. Something I think is, like, pretty interesting. A lot of people do, like, rank shaming at the beginning of a set. Like, oh my god, your heart's stuck Emerald. But, like, they don't understand that the, um, like, Emerald on day 3 of the set is equivalent to Grandmasters. Bro, your heart's stuck top 200 NA. Oh, <laughs> like, <a> lol. <laughs> That's Agreed. why I found Dish Soap's climb to be really interesting. He was like by far the first one a challenger, which is crazy because everybody starts in iron. And like when he was gold, the top level challenger players were gold. So like at every point he was fighting the top level players, but he just kept winning and winning and winning. He like was so much better than all the other best players in NA that he beat them at every stage and climbed over 2500 LP. Although yeah. it's crazy that people have caught up now. He's, uh, Disop, Disop caught on to early of how good Faded was. And so basically... Yes, 90% of his games were Aphelios. Yeah, he, uh, he basically one trick Faded for a while, which is very unlike him. But, um, so he gained a bunch of LP and got the challenger first. But I think oh, he's no, been a he's, little bit Zyronic slow. Is dead. Oh, oh God. Wait, this is a bot four. Oh, no way, it's a bot four. oh my what? God. No one died. Oh my God. No. Oh my god. Oh. oh, look at the bottom left, too. I just need to lock in. Oh god, that's a uh, that's a stinger. He he died because he messed up his positioning. He um he didn't have his, his carries hitting the same target, so he had like three enemies that were all one HP. He needs to like put a Philos center to the same side. He could have at least lived and then fought one more round. <clears throat> that oh is my god, that so hurts. Brutal. That hurts so bad. During the uh in such a close situation too. Man. It's an hour and a half. He has time for two games. Two games, two games. He, he needs, needs to, to like deliver like big. two games. Okay. We can check on other people as well. How's, right, I love how, it. He's how's... frantically checking the rankings. Kind of like in the same way, like before finals, everybody calculates what grade they need to get to get an A. Yeah. At rain spot, Pandora. Oh, she's not playing. Yeah, she's playing Aphelios from here. Aphelios. Oh, I thought you said rain stopped. Okay, no, she's still going. No, she's still going because if she if she won one, if she gets first like from this game, she's still back in it. But <clears throat> uh, let's see what LP she is right now. Grand Master 408. 408 LP. So, right. oh, this is interesting. She basically has to go first twice in a row. Yeah. That's against... spicy. That is spicy. If she does that, that's like the greatest comeback in the history of uh Box Box Bootcamp. <laughs> uh she she's done stuff like this a lot in tournaments. Uh Rain's kind of notorious for being like a a person that like needs to clutch out last games. Hmm. We didn't sell the Kenshin part. Oh, she's she's flexing. Wait, hear me out. Box box. Yeah, it's up. Next boot camp, you put um, like achievements. Like the first player to hit 500 LP at the start of a set gets to pick one of three augments. Like revive a friend or <laughs> something like that. Interesting. Ray, you're still not going to get that far in the boot camp. But yeah. <laughs> Wait, Come you on, just revive man. and die again. Oh, these augments suck. <laughs> Is she thinking about Senna? Too healthy? Are there any other viable two healthy builds? There's a few. Uh, there's Nar Senna. There, you could play Teemo. I, I jokingly called two healthy. She took it? Yeah, and, and, and also, you don't have to play a two cost reroll. You can actually play two healthy and then play around, like, oh, like, well, I was going to say oh. Kaisa, but. Senna? <clears throat> yeah. What I like to do when I play two healthy is I like to put two cost units on my board. Nice. Wait. I'm a little confused what's going on right now. What just happened this turn? She's she's rolling for Bard. She, she's pivoting to Bard. Because the uh, Bard plays uh, three, two costs. Uh -huh.
You play Riven, Nico, and uh, I'm missing one. Wait, no, there are only two two costs. No, you you play a different variation of it. You can play like oh. Zyra, for example, instead of like uh, 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 you you can you can actually play like a different variation. Like you don't need like she's holding on to Zoe, but you can, for example, like not play Zoe. Oh, Aphelios. Oh. Too. I mean, you play it right but... now for sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you want to keep watching this game, or do you want to go check on Zyronic for the pro or the adv advanced division? Uh, I'd like to keep watching this one. I'm really curious what she's gonna do. It looks like she's committing to Aphelios. Okay. I mean, too healthy Aphelios, isn't it just? It's just Kindred. I guess Kindred Shen right now. She'll probably just play the Shen for a while. Okay, Shen over Orn. Then we slam the bow on Aphelios if we're committing, right? <clears throat> Aphelios wants sword items from this point on because we have too many bows. Like you, you kind of want to deal damage. So I think. Oh wait. Well, I mean, she's Pandora's. Yeah, yeah. So I was thinking you I... you, you, you 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 reforge for stone plate slash sword items. I think. What if you play Senna for two healthy? It's it's good. I I took a I took a one like an eighty five HP win today with that. It's really good. Oh, you're right. Yeah, because instead of playing Ash, you would just play Senna. So you get, at least get like two or three procs of it. Yeah. I'm down. Yeah. I'm going to look it up out of curiosity. Um, what is the best performing item trio? Because you obviously shouldn't force the best performing item trio if like it's opportunity cost and like you could slam a decent item right now. But it's Pandora's, so she mostly like can choose whatever she wants. Mm -hmm. So the best performing item trio that actually has a good play rate Is Gwinsu's IE Red Buff? Yep. Or Death Blade is good too. You can also do Death Blade. So like she has DB right now, for example, you could slam that. Uh, Infinity Edge is Infinity Edge is a little bit better, I think, but we'll see. It looks like if you have Gwinsu's Red Buff, Death Blade and IE are almost identically powerful, mm -hmm. which about makes sense. Well, the yeah. board just transformed. Yeah. Well, she has a Death Blade right now. She does. I think she wins without it, and she might really want Stone Plate on this Hole Crusher, which is very <clears> crucial, <throat> I think, for her front line. But I think Death Blade's really good too. So she's waited to see her matchup and then slammed it. I think that's really smart. Just good technical play. <clears throat> you think she sells this Kindred for Econ? Uh, possibly. It's Kindred like, 1. Kindred 2 doesn't do anything. Yeah. She'll get it back. Kindred one, Kindred two, no diff. <laughs> what was the last set where you, you were like tell, you were Lucian coaching Shodo? Lucian one, Lucian two, no diff. Oh yeah, it's a rapid fire <laughs> Jazz Lucian. Oh man, I'm curious to see if we're gonna see any adaptation to the fact that she has to play for her first. Oh, Kindred came back. I mean the 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 fact that she has to play first is that she probably won't roll reroll for Aphelios three. Uh, may, she also leveled a little earlier than usual, so she might what she might end up doing is pushing to nine, look for set two, and then and then five cost. <clears throat> oh, I could see it. Well, when she say Aphelios three is also a first place. Oh, she's contested. Oh, uh, like yes, she's gambling. She's gonna win. Yes. Uh, the only thing, yeah, exactly, is that she's just low econ and it's hard to hit from this spot. <clears throat> She's waiting to see if she needs to slam it. I don't think Doesn't so. Look like she needs Her to. front line is yeah. the front line is so bad. It's Kabuko two and Riven one, so you don't need to. I think. Yeah. I've actually never seen a worse front line in my life. It's a lot of damage from the other side. See how close it Wait. was. Wait. Oh Wait. my god. Oh my. That not oh, even close. That. That. That's a fort. That's a fortune board, by the way. Thirty-five on the luck. Kaisa made it that close? Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. Kaisa's very good if you're able to play it. So, uh, a question here for Rain is, uh, do we need a roll at all? Probably not. We're probably going to try to go to 4-2. To that win is really big for us to maintain our streak and, and push level 8. Yeah, I would go 8, but I'm also a psychopath. I would go 8 and roll for 5 faded. Like right now at 4-1? Yeah, and then just say, well, I'm going to streak and win out, or I'm going to lose here, and then the game's over. <laughs> That's what I would say. No cloaks? Wow, that is... 
That is bollocks. No, no, no way to say it. Bollocks. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Sack nice. one here. Oh, I like this inclusion. The two heavenlies, Nico and Kiana, are just great for two healthy. It's just good heads up knowledge. I like the two heavenly in the call right now. Mm. Man, I'm getting more dog Thanks, than Do you guys like ten years that already, at all? Probably not. Probably not. If I had the choice, I would try to not slam it. But I would absolutely slam it if it made the difference this fight. Uh, uh, the doesn't. doesn't have a blue buff. Yeah. Also, you can slam Val on reaction if it looks bad. Rusty, thank you so much. It's not like uh, Sunfire, we have to do it early. Uh, it's not looking like we win this fight right now. Oh, no, we win. We win. Doesn't even need the Val slam. We win. Oh, yeah. Actually, I feel this is going to be crazy. Oh, sh Caitlyn dodges. Oh, my God. It was so oh close. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, the Caitlyn dodging the ult made the diff. E e yeah. Yeah. Wow. That was so close. Jesus. Uh, huge nail biter. And now she has four more component rolls. Nails. Did grab bag. Oh, teaming up. Teaming up. Oh my really? god, Aegis is so good. Wait, why did she take teaming up? Uh, she won the four costs as well. Like support item is good. Plus the four cost hits are pretty good because you could hit Orn or Syndra. Because so, she needs to get to 5 I faded as fast as she can. Because 5 faded for the team buff is really big. Again, by the way, no cloaks. So frustrating to deal with. At least you got blue buff. It's not bad. Are we playing the Aegis or are we going to try to greet it? Uh, The thing is, I don't know what we want instead of Aegis. So I think it has to be Aegis. Like, what else do you want besides it? Yeah, you just is just like the S tier support item right now, right? Uh, yeah. Way too good in general. I unfortunately I don't think slamming this wins the fight, so I feel like it's really frustrating because it's like, man, I just rolled four components times two times three, and I can't get stone play a single cloak. Okay, I mean, but it's oh, okay because like three gargantuan resolve. She preserves so much HP that I think it's fine. Okay, isn't this uh, Nico better than Kiana? Oh. Uh, Duelist enabling versus Ar uh, Arcanist. Well, also, Nico's actually kind of tanky. Yeah, it's definitely better. I guess she just didn't want to waste money on it. Yeah, I think it's a gold management thing because she's trying to go to 9 to try to play around the 7 faded, and it's just, it's just really hard to do if you just keep buying upgrades that aren't going to be super impactful. Makes sense. Oh, something I really love doing with support items is you can sneak in a kindred because she'll always move out of the away from your carry, so you're like not clumped. Yeah. True. So if Rain wanted to, she could put the kindred in, get some Aegis value, and then without griefing her positioning. Oh man, okay. So I'm pretty sure the only way she stays alive in boot camp is if she gets first and then first. Yeah. So knowing that there's a high roller in the lobby. What's her game plan? It's just got to be go nine, hit set two by some miracle, right? Uh, roll that order. or transition to the fast nine AD board. We just play around like Irelia and then Irelia Huey, either Dragon Lords or you play Altruist Heavenly. Like a, like a big mixture of fast nine AD. Because she's because okay. she what has red no buff. She, she has she has items for Irelia as well. So that's that's the thing. Wait, can you really go from this board to like? Irelia. Yeah, hundred percent. You even have I two healthy, like, so you can just play like them. you can just play like Riven for Altruist, and you even get like some two healthy value. Like you can play like mm. like Riven. Uh, you can play. You can actually. Okay, one thing that I think people don't Kiana? know. Yeah, exactly. Kiana over uh, Lee Sin. A lot of people look at Lee Sin for the Dragon Lord Duelist, but in these kinds of spots, you can play Kiana for the AD. And and oh, Archangel's pretty and, good. And two activations of two healthy is like good enough, I think. You could have been fit on uh, Nico for Heavenly Ar Arcanist and then play Lissandra. Uh, you could. I think it's just like this, it doesn't cap that high because like uh, it doesn't cap as high as um, as I really, in my opinion. Oh, you yeah. Can, I was saying like you, you play you play like all of them. 
But you play oh. Aurelia, you play uh, yeah, Tiana. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it really depends on like what you hit for the most part. I think Fast 9 is really skill expressive right now. It's very hard to do. Yeah, it's it's my favorite part of the set by far. I think this is like one of my favorite level 9s. Level 9 is yeah. really stronger. Fast 9 feels impossible right now. Yeah, oh, I, it's like I, massively I, high roll. Yeah, it's whenever you win streak and stuff, but like, or like you stabilize really hard on your mid game and then you're able to go nine. But like, when you make a level nine board, it feels so satisfying. Flexing between like Dragon Lord, Altruist, Heavenly, random legendaries and shit. Mm -hmm, exactly. Yes, I agree that it's pretty fun. Do you think the Ghostly is worth more than a two healthy activation? Uh, Who are the Ghostly units? Kaylin and. Oh, sorry, Caitlyn I have to look at the Shen, board. But she could do uh, Shen Senna. For another two healthy, which is like an extra 500 health across the whole team. Um, Who do we play instead? Oh, oh we play Caitlyn nice. instead. Oh, nice. That's, that's nice. actually such a big deal. Because now she gets the ability to save the one remover. That's nice. <clears throat> uh do i think it's worth it uh i i think it i think ghostly is kind of nice just to add a little contagion damage i think it's i think it's okay okay you know what would be like so cool for that encounter where malphite knocks off your items every time you bench a unit he like runs up and ults them and then the items get popped off like a visual effect be pretty funny yes <laughs> thank you ray because that's the idea behind why malphite has that encounter right i think Oh, sorry. What, what were we saying? Oh, I see. it. Yeah, that's why it's like Malphite attached to him and not anyone else. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like the oh, same reason why something. like blue and red is like Kindred or whatever. Okay, wait, why is blue or red Kindred and not Kane? Is it Kindred? You know, like, I thought it was somebody else. Oh, I didn't know It's that. Kindred, I'm pretty sure. When you have to decide between blue and red. Oh, I didn't know. It should be Kane, right? Should be Kane, yeah. Wait, did her contester die? Uh, I mean, it's too late now. I, th I think rolling for Aphelios 3 would be kind of silly in this spot. Your odds are... I mean, your odds are 32, so it's not, like, worse. But, um, I feel like we're committed to 9. Yeah, that's true. We already skipped out on a lot of Threshes and Aphelioses. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, she she did do one thing, which is held on to the Ari just in case she wants to go for it. But I, I'm pretty sure we're, we're pot committed at this point. Wait, so if she goes yeah. second first, there's not a chance she makes it? I mean, it, it depends oh. on the LP gains. So. Let me do the math. She needs to hit 498 LP. So if she gets 40 and then 50, I could see it, but like... I feel like a first will give her like about like 45 or 50. Could be wrong. Wait, there is a way though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. She could go 9 and print a 3-star Syndra. Ooh. Oh, I like this. Oh, wait. Do I like... Oh, she wants redemption. Oh, I'm I'm, so I'm then the ages is separate, so it doesn't have to be uh, tied to just like uh, the, the Thresh. I think it's a smart. Redemption like it. plus Hull Crusher. Ouch! <laughs> yeah, it's always an interesting decision to see like how greedy will you be for the support item value. But I guess just on your most important carries is probably good enough. This is good. His opponent doesn't look that strong, or her opponent doesn't look that strong. So like, it, it'll be like a narrow loss. That is quite the tanky thrush, though. Can we kill one more? No, we can't. I mean, it's not that Ooh, bad. Do we sack two more, or do we go nine? Uh, there's an encounter at the carousel. I think you probably go now. Wait, how does the encounter affect things? Oh, it's just like it might it might give you like a big spike, like everything's five costs, it's a duplicator on the carousel. Just like you you're you're expecting additional resources every single time it happens. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, this Hulk Crusher is so sad. Yeah. It's kinda like taking best friends in this comp. Like the stats is so good, but then when you hit set you can't <laughs> squat two people. Or you get to oh, have set close. you know, with with uh only one person. It's kinda hot. Hulk Crusher also? Oh, re-roll the out. Oh, no. oh, oh, that's that's ballsy. Uh, Zonia's is the probably the best thing she can get, or a tank item. Oh, what about DFG? Oh, yeah, yeah true. Uh, Eternal Winter is really good in the meta right now. Aphelios, oh, 
Top four is not good enough. Oh. Yeah. Like, this is a decent spot for top four. This is not a good spot for top one. Top two would be cutting it really close. But that Mr. 100 natural three star duelist with like the duelist augments is, is not losable for him. Yeah, his augments are so insane. We would have to actually hit like a Sinjar 3 to, to make it close. Like, yeah. I, mean, class, I feel like it's not horrible. Okay. Rain's board is just like very average, and she's against like gods. Too poor, unfortunately. Like if if she had, you know, obviously like way more gold, that I really pairs like an insane start to the the transition. Oh, set is benching two threshes. Nice. I like it. Damn. Oh wow, we even hit Darius three. What the heck? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it starts. You just like natural like five Dariuses and then you decide to go for it and you just you don't roll for the Darius three, but you just hold it. It's happened to me a few times while you're yeah. rolling for your Triss three. He even he even has a Gargantuan Resolve himself, so he's kinda like popping off. Oh my god, Gargantuan Resolve, Triple Titans, BT extended do Oh. I'm really happy that they made Darius a, a damage dealing like identity one cost this set. Cause he's always like a tank when he's a one cost, right? Or like some form of tank or like healing. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> Thanks, Yo, this ended up not being that exciting with Carousel, unfortunately. Uh, it's, it's Jover. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what else to do here. I think she just tries to get a third, and then it's sad. Oh, okay, actually, isn't Cinder 3, like... The exact kind of miracle we're looking for. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we're, calculate, yeah. Calculate yeah. the odds of Cinder 3 from this spot. Sub 1%. Shouldn't we, um, Trickster's Glass the Orn? We should. Uh, well, the, th the thing is, the other uh, Thrash Bed is uh, from, from the Faded bonus. So. It's kind of nice to have Trickster's on a Faded, right? For the Faded bonus. Yeah, exactly. You do get a lot of bonuses, that is true. I really like this Malphite encounter. It adds, it adds a lot of fun optimizations to the game, but I definitely don't think it should be how the game is always. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's kind of what encounters are for the most part. Yeah, they're always fun optimizations. Nothing more. <laughs> exactly. I like to optimize my board by recombobulating. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait. I mean, Go it's on. not impossible. She needs to win this fight, she though. She needs to win this fight. She needs to roll Wait. once for three Syndra's. Wait, if she makes this Syndra 2 and then puts both Syndra 2's on the board, magnetic remover the items and put magnetic remover, that's nine Syndra's. You mean the Trickster's Glass? Yeah. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Maybe the game is bugged and you just get a Syndra 3 out of nowhere. I mean, there is a chance. There are a lot of bugs in TFT. Come on. Oh my god. Live this fight. This this Please. is a this is a semi winnable matchup. Kind of depends a lot on like Kogma. Okay. Oh, here comes set number two. Set round two. Set round two. Grab the Malphite. Oh. Oh. Oh, Kogma sniping the back line. Winnable. Oh, oh wait, winnable, winnable. So this Kogma oh, doing zero damage. Close. Okay, nice, yes! nice, nice. Buy the Syndras. Yes! It's your only out! It's the only way! Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she actually was waiting to do it. There's a, there's a timing window that you try to click it so people don't oh, see so it. Oh, so people don't see it. Exactly. The damage report, huh? the, the damage report skip. All right, come on. Three champion duplicators. <clears throat> Putting it on the board so people no, are more likely to pay attention to it. One makes it actually bench. playable or doable. Yeah, it's, oh it's entirely God, doable. I'm so excited. Oh, wait, someone's this going for Galio could... 3. That's oh. why. Oh, Rain has a Galio. Rain has a Galio. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does she see the Galio? Buy the Galio. I mean, she wants the gold. She wants the gold. Okay. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, come on. Needs two more. That, that turn more is so far away. She's you can sell. get two in She's one shot. Sell. Oh god. Sad. No. I mean, you might as well sell the Kendrin. That's them and faded. Oh, I see. 
Oh. GG's. If I lose it all. Goodbye, world. <laughs> Galio 3. Goodbye. That is brutal. I don't think Dulos wins this lobby, by the way. Because not Galio 3. But maybe I'm wrong. Oh man, this Galio is the fourth. Three is pretty strong. We worked so hard for a fourth. Third, third, third. Other guy goes minus 15, maybe? Oh yeah, true, true, true. Oh my that's god. Minus 14. Okay. Oh, that's so sad. That, this is... 10 LP. Third, third, nah. 10 LP? 10 LP, dead. Third place, 10 LP? Yeah. That means that she, that means she was in the lobby with diamonds and masters. All right, uh, this is Ironic, who needs uh, a good result, right? Two games. Oh, you're right. Yeah, it's Ironic. Okay, let's let's go ahead and recalibrate. What's the storyline oh. right now? Oh, two for one. Uh, the storyline is Zyronic is currently at Diamond 2, 53 LP. And right now, the line is held at Diamond 1, 0 LP. There's a multiple way tie at Diamond 1, 0 LP. All right, so he just needs to slide in. So he just needs to get... A first tier or like a third and a second? Uh, yes. Wow. Ooh. Hit Aatrox 3 at 8. Yeah, I saw that. What is he looking for exactly? Six ghostly. Six He's ghostly. looking for Kane and Morgana. Oh, okay. I was going to say, why did he roll it 8 and not 7? But then he ended up hitting the Aatrox anyway, so. <laughs> he rolls really fast. Yeah. Which is kind of impressive, but I do question, like, if he's able to process all the shops in time. Because, like, if you ever watch my stream, it looks like I, ro I roll really slowly because I'm, like, thinking about if each thing is, like, a, a possible pivot. And then some people, yeah. like, roll at the speed of sound and miss over, like, five things that they could have yeah, played. But, I mean, people who roll, like, insanely fast definitely do it because, like, it's, like, flashy. But, yeah. You definitely should take a little bit more time, probably. Yeah, I genuinely agree. Um... But in this case, the win condition is pretty straight. Yeah, he knew exactly what he needed, so maybe it was pretty easy. Yeah. That's not to say that you can't play other things in the interim, though. Like, for example, one thing that uh, we're not paying attention to is that we're playing three Wardens, and we're, we're not playing a Behemoth for Shen. And uh, you probably would want at least two Behemoths. So it's like it's something that uh, we're not thinking about. We're playing two Alawis wow. instead of... Uh, we need the Threshen. We need the Threshen. Instead of a Thresh, yeah, exactly. So, like... Yes. Dick Dunk is ironic. Play the Thresh. Play the Thresh. Nope. Oh. No. Sorry, Shay. I think he's trying to like get econ. Yeah, yeah, but like oh, he can actually get econ just, you don't, you don't see what you don't see, alley. which is like so hard in TFT. Oh, doesn't Radiant matter. Radiant Hodge. Oh wait, it mattered. It mattered. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh my god. It didn't matter. God. It didn't matter. For this mind. Kaisa unit, it's so hard to like tell how the fight's going because it's Fight like, oh, I'm winning so hard. And then Kaisa ults. Okay. GG. He definitely is tunneling too hard on the exact perfect tomp. Yeah. Yeah. I will say that. Oh, nice. I will say it's impressive how well some of these players do climb, though, um, because they talk about how, like, they are still learning TFT through guides and whatnot. And so, like, uh, it's, it's still really impressive what they've been able to pull off, even without, uh, with, like, a lot of, like, fundamental knowledge of the game. Did he two for one this round? Uh, I don't think so. Buy the Kindred and sell it. Buy the Kindred and sell it for free money. Well, there's something right. missing from his shop, right? So what did he buy? Wait, what? Oh. There was, there was a oh, slot right. missing from his shop. He probably did it at the beginning then. Oh, Morgana. Nice. It's over the set. Okay. I mean, a lot of three could actually happen. I'm down. Oh, he bought a cane, so he did have it. Wait, 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 wait. wait. No, don't you need an item for Shen? Okay. Yes. Although, there are a couple ways you can work around it if you end up hitting like an Orn. But yeah, this is... Uh... This is fine. 
Oh, sorry, I was referring to the item, not not the behemoth. Oh, yeah, I was saying that if you find or like, I'm just saying, like, there's other ways you can play around it. Like, for example, if you find Orn, you play as a behemoth and you give Shen the third item. Oh, I see. And I it's see. better than a Val because Val kind of sucks. So. God, this Senna is so strong. Oh, it's huge. She faced the Aphelios player, won Aphelios before you hit. Man, this board is so cool. I, I would use this board if the first, like, part of it wasn't so bright. Oh, you mean okay. the arena. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah. Sure you are supposed to roll here, because if you roll and get a three cost, it's equal money as if you didn't roll at all. And if you roll and hit an Alawi or Morgana or Kane, you're really happy. Uh, okay, interesting. I, I what if you just buy the Gnar, sell it, and win and make 40? Well, but if you roll once, buy a three cost, and then sell it, it's the same amount of gold. But you, you get to see one more shop. Well, he's in chat right now. He said, sup, got a ping. Well, you got a ping about what? I don't know. Who pinged him? I'll never watching him. Okay, at least just buy the Nara and then sell it. Yeah, use your uh, two for one value for sure. Two for one's a really fun augment. I wonder how they'll nerf it so that it's not overwhelming. Oh, uh, I mean, I do one, know, I do know one. how, but you prefer to be surprised, right? All right, tell me. I'm just curious now. <laughs> They're going to move the augment to only be able to be picked at 3-2. Oh, I feel like that makes it suck. Huh? But Maybe. that is a good nerf. I mean, it's still probably good if you have a lot of money. Hey. Okay. I think I understand the way this guy thinks now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did anyone else just see like a board with like 40 items? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, I, I missed it. I think I know the way that this guy... Oh. I think I know Chat. the way that he thinks. I... I noticed that like, he immediately bought a through cost and sold it twice. So I think he knows what the best scenario is and then is only looking for that. It's so, like when he didn't hit a through cost, he didn't even think to buy a two cost and then sell it. He just... Yeah. Yeah. Which is fine. Like, it's good to like... If you're, if you're very knowledgeable about what the best case scenarios are, that's good enough to climb. These small optimizations don't matter too much. Like, this two gold probably won't matter, but it is something that if he wanted to improve, he could look at. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I, I mean, I generally like the approach of this right now. We just have to get to nine and probably look for the Udir, and then we win the game. Udir. Yeah, first place is uh, just one Udir away. Udyr one I really wins. like Crown Guard here. Oh. Oh, it was on his side. Yeah. He got a little incisive about it. <clears throat> Crown Guard is actually, again, it's just like, a, it's just an item that people just do not play around. I don't know why. It's, it's so good. It's actually, it's actually quite good. I, I, I love Crown Guard. That item is so good. There's so many frontliners to sell with good AP ratios. Uh, yes. Agreed. Think about the value of like leveling here. Uh, leveling gives level. you five gold, and then you play like an Alawi two again, so not that good. But Wait, it might why help. Does leveling give you five gold? What's up? Did you say leveling gives you five gold? The leveling he only has five gold left. Oh oh. I would level here just to maintain the streak if I felt like any of the matchups were close. Like this, I feel still looks pretty tough. <clears throat> does he have two a second two star Alawi? Might matter with the ghosts. Uh, does he have infinite item remover? No. Okay. okay. Well, I meant like, cause, uh, uh, if, if there was like an encounter or something like that, but that, that was previous game, right? That was rain plosion. Yeah. Got it. Mm-hmm. Cause if so, then we could have played for like an 80 item and removed Last Whisper on Senna. Oh. Uh, kind of useless, I guess. Maybe for Udir. Wait, we're gonna... I just realized we're at eight allowies. I thought we were at seven. Uh, it'll almost be worth yeah, it to I mean, like eight. Sell so one. No, so sell so one. Yeah. But then it has to be the first three cost you buy. Yeah. But like you're slightly more likely to hit.
Uh, yeah, it's you are more likely to hit, but also is. you're less likely to get a Lowy 3 if uh, one appears from an orb, so I don't know. That's fair. If you sell one and a Lowy appears in an orb, you'd be very sad. Exactly. I love how he has like a, a keyboard and mouse cam while playing TFT. <laughs> oh, yeah, you really need that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think it's because of uh, he normally streams WoW and you do need it. Like, I was, uh... Senna, you're so close. The other uh, day on stream, someone someone asked me what mouse I use, and I'm like, bro, why are you asking a TFT streamer what mouse to use? Like, shouldn't you ask tens or something? What? The gaming gear is essential, right? Oh, we need this, Caitlyn. We need this, Caitlyn. Oh, because you want to push Shiv on Morgana? Yeah, move everything to Morgana. I can see it. He highlighted it earlier. He, like, moved his mouse on it. Uh, when he, the last time I saw Caitlyn, so he was definitely thinking about it. I wonder why he ended up not choosing to take the Caitlyn. Because if he buys the Caitlyn, then it becomes two Caitlyns. Well, we he already bought and sold the three cost. But, yeah. Oh, true. Maybe he's going to buy at the end of the round, just wants to see how much what drops come out first. Spend space. Hmm. No, he's certain. Okay. All right, well, level up, hit an Udyr. Oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, yeah, let's just roll. Get a behemoth. Preferably Udyr. Okay, big. Sets. Uh, Orn's Surely playable. Surely we'll buy this Orn. Yeah, Orn's playable. Orn, Orn. Oh, he's only looking for the Udyr specifically. Ooh. He, was, oh, he almost replaced the, the Jax. So this is Trash to Treasure. I really away fast nine. Cool word. Oh, that way wrecked us. Oh, that is not good. Yeah, these way items are insane. That's like this orn artifacts. Yeah. Very good. This could be about oh, four, God, by so the close. way. I'm just putting it out there. It could be about four. And, and I yeah. think I think like Mm, it's not as simple as like Udir stuff. It, it, we didn't hit Udir. Oh yeah, I mean he, he needs a lot now. Probably too great to go for this King Three. Yeah, I just need a lock in. in. Set two. Uh, set two doesn't change that much. Okay, Udir. Oh, Udir. All right. I mean, you definitely keep rolling. Allowy three is right there. You just rolled to zero. Yep. Lowy's good. Udyr on, okay, jack nice. off. Nice. Ooh. Something that I saw that he did that I didn't like was that he immediately opened up the BT. I feel like you should roll first, see what you get, and then choose. Like, I'm pretty sure a Morgana item here made a lot more sense. Agreed. We had Shojin. Like, for example, we could, we could do... <clears throat> but uh, his board got a lot stronger now, so this should be top four. But it he needs a little bit more than that, right? He needs a second. Second to still be in it. But I mean, it looks like it's a guaranteed top three right now. Right, not guaranteed top three. Top four. Oh, uh, this is a close fight. Who wins? Okay, top three. Top three. Oh. Top three. She just has to beat one guy. Hit the set. Buy and sell a three cost. Oh, oh, oh buy, three buy, Does he buy see three cost. Buy, buy this Raka. Yeah, oh, okay. Oh. Nice. Oh my god. I was getting so nervous because he wasn't doing it earlier. Yeah, and, like, and, and he imagine if he cost. couldn't do that because there wasn't a three cost in the shop. Yeah. That he would have gotten oh. completely punished. Uh, He needs to kind of declump a little bit from this uh, way. He actually is positioning in the way that Hui can exactly punish, which is... You, you gotta be careful. Oh, yeah. Hui's punish. gonna hit everything. <clears throat> and and multiple times. Oh. Oh. Yeah. And this, this could be the difference between uh, second and third. This could be the difference between third and second. Yeah, exactly. Okay, well, the guy's dead. Kill enough. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Think, oh, oh, my God. Yeah. Ghostly moment. All right, okay. does he find it? Does he realize what the Hui did and then 
Decomp? Maybe. An item for set would be amazing here. Oh. You going for Udyr pair? Oh, Udyr 2 with Shoujin. And Shoujin. Okay. Shoujin Morgana, very nice. I like that. All right, buy and sell early this time. I would also rebuild this cane and move B. Oh. Yeah, I would definitely have moved the BT from Kane to set. Yeah. It also gives you a couple more chances. Okay, he needs to decomp. He needs to move your Morgana and Caitlyn to the right. I, I think that's only worth it if you have a two-star Kane replacement. Really? Isn't this Kane too like doing nothing? He just dies instantly. Uh, it's oh, sometimes no, he's still sometimes pumped. he does so something. Pumped. I think a big reason why his Kane does nothing is his, his positioning. He's just putting him in the middle of the board to die. That's true. Does Hui hit center from here? Oh, yes, he does. Oh. Oh, God. We're going to cast it again oh, before she dies. <laughs> okay, we are dead. I mean, second is okay. Guy, yeah, this guy's just stronger, I'm pretty sure. That board is insane. We take those. Second, not bad. Second's okay, he's pretty still, good. He's still in it. He needs to go first. He needs to go first. What is Trisha looking at? What rank is she at? Trisha oh, is, it is Emerald... 443 LP and uh oh she's ahead of H Howie and Happiness so she's just sitting. Oh no she's playing. She's a Chad. Is she? Is she playing? Yeah, she is in Q. Oh oh she's in Q. Got it, got it, got it. She's got a it. Chad! She's risking her tournament life. Or maybe okay. she believes that, like, instead of waiting, she chooses to have yeah, to be a master of her own fate. Yeah, because you waited and they top forward. You'd rather have played and then like top or bot forward yourself. People do you that all one, the time in snapshots. You know, one boot camp. I said that to myself, and then I played and lost. And if I didn't play, I would have been chilling. Well, yeah. I mean, like, you can't know that until it happens, right? That is true. Wait, can we watch uh, Trisha's game from the start? Yeah, sure. Hello. She's just not in. She's not in, oh. in the game. Hello, Asa. We can use this moment to talk about that that game just now. Do you think uh, it was winnable if uh, he played optimally? Maybe not. The guy was too strong. It's ironic. Yeah. Uh, I think that the game was lost from the lack of small optimizations across the board. Like, but from the, the from my perspective, the way we TP'd into it, it didn't look like he could win, but. It, Based off the way I saw a lot of the small play patterns, he probably dropped a lot of edge, like small percentage uh, uh, edges along the way. I see. I think that's a fair analysis. Yeah. Which I mean, like, we're we're really nitpicking here, but like, he still played it pretty well. He he did all the main things right. He just like missed some small things. Yeah, I yeah. I want to make exactly. it look like we were shitting on him. Uh, it's it's like uh, I I didn't see anything he could have done to win that game, but I'm sure he, there probably could have. I only saw the end, but that other board was so strong that it would have been pretty hard to beat it with like any six ghostly board. Yeah. 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 In late game, you can also tech out of six ghostly. I think people, people yeah. like really hang on to that trait a little bit too long in general. It's like what Dan was saying about like uh, optimizations. It's like maybe if you like optimize better throughout the entire game, you could have like transitioned to like more legendaries and stuff, but mm. it would have been really hard to do. Oh, Asa, you've been popping up. This is your best set yet. What was the secret? I think um, ranked three in NA right now. Yeah, I normally have a slow start. Uh, I'm not sure what the secret is. I'm just, I, th I think it's just if you're happy in real life, you'll do well in TFT. That's what I truly believe. Oh, damn. Wait, does this mean I'm not happy? I, <laughs> I thought I was happy. Oh. Oh! You you tell us, Box Fox. You tell us. I mean, you don't sound that happy right now. I'm gonna be honest. If you don't know you're happy, then you're probably not happy. <laughs> okay, we Michael have Chris's game. Pop. Wait, 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 pop actually, pop. should we watch Zyronic, who needs a first place to survive, or should we watch Trisha, who needs a top four? They're both starting a game. Uh, Z I mean, Zyronic is a little bit farther ahead. It's it's really up to you guys. I'm okay with either. We I, I mean, I'm down I, to watch uh, 
Trisha, she's woke. She's triple Wait sniper Wukong. So, I mean, I, 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 I like watching people that have webcams in general because it's easier to connect with them emotionally through the highs and lows of a game. So, it's, easy, it's more fun. Wait, did somebody say she was safe? I'm, I'm just looking at it right now. I don't think she's actually safe. I refreshed the website. I, I think she's actually the opposite of safe. Like, I think she's almost guaranteed dead. Wait, what? Oh. Um, she needs to beat Boogie Mai. And Boogie Mai is Emerald 3, 0 LP. And Trisha is Emerald 4, 43 LP. Oh. Oh, I thought H. Howie was the one that was safe. Wait, what is this? Oh. Trisha is looking guaranteed dead to yeah, me. Yeah, it looks like Trisha's dead. Okay. So. Oh. Unless she can gain exactly like 57 LP for our first, which has happened before. But. Wait, she just went first, so let's see how much she gained. Um, let me show like how much she gained last, fight, something. last game. Okay, so we gotta watch. Uh, then watch is ironic, is ironic. Who can almost guaranteed move on if he gets first. Oh, he's playing Porcelain Reaper Behemoth. I love this comp. The comp is so broken. Uh, Wait, I mean, the Reaper is really good. Wandering Trainers woke. I mean, this is a Yone Porcelain game. Reaper Behemoth. Yeah, Asa was just telling me that this Brooklyn Reaper Behemoth comp is a big reason why he's doing so well with this set. And that he's happy. Yeah. <laughs> you have to be happy and you have to hit Porcelain Reaper Behemoth. Also, yeah. uh... Those are the two main things. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure this is a pretty good Yone one. Anytime you can get plus one Reaper is actually just so good. Because that gives you the ability to squeeze in more adjacent traits that help you. That you don't really get to, like, more Heavenlies or more Behemoths. Like, there's a Behemoth version of Yone that I think people don't really play very often. Completely yeah, every Reaper uh... has an adjacent Behemoth. Mm -hmm. And Reaper's really good at shredding uh, Reinhardt and any shields they have on the enemy team. Reinhardt. Thank you, Raditz. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. So we would just drop the porcelain and play Reaper Behemoth. Yeah, except yeah, you don't have to drop porcelain. Doing. Late game, you can tech in Lissandra, and then it's totally fine. Faded, interesting. I feel like I think he's, he's trying to use like all three. I think. Oh, yeah, maybe not. Oh, he's just playing. Three. No, he's not using porcelain. So yeah. Ooh, took buried treasures to try to get get better items. You can say this Morello. guy streams with a hand cam, and I'm so scared for him because uh, I streamed with a hand cam once, and then I like logged into my League of Legends account, and then my password was just like there for everyone to see. Uh, I, thought, I thought you were gonna say something else you did with your hands on camera. Thanks, Slide of hand tricks. <laughs> <clears throat> like uh, my roommate streams Osu, and he uh, always has a hand cam, and what he has to do just to log in is he has to copy and paste his passwords from a document uh, into, like, the client, which is terrifying, because what if you leak the document? Oh, he just man. Move yeah. the keyboard? Yeah, but you have to remember every single time, and it's like, yeah. you might forget. It's really scary. Like, okay, early Yone. And a sword! Wait, this is actually, like, very high roll. Uh, yeah, this is, like, in... Pretty good so far. Annie's on a streak, which is good. Uh, everything looks good. I think so it's far. Malphite over Kaz. Man, yeah, maybe not. Maybe uh, the I, I would like Malphite over Kazix, yeah. I think that's a yeah, big yeah. deal. It's cleaner, synergy wise. I don't yeah. think you realize yeah, he has the Better because the target dummy becomes beefier. Because what, what ends up happening is after this target dummy dies, the, the Zoe will target the Yone. Also, once the target dummy dies. <laughs> It will give Malphite stats. Yeah, exactly. That's sick. Yeah, because it's a behemoth. Yeah, and you know, uh, next patch. Oh, actually, I, I'm not. Never mind. Never mind. I can't tell you, box box. Sorry. Spoilers. <laughs> Are we pre leveling here? I feel like I might as well. Yeah. You know, a really funny blunder I keep making. I'm sure other people do too. When you get the bard encounter where he levels you up to three automatically and then you pump exp oh i always do that <laughs> i always do that on two one like you level you try to level to four right yeah and then you're, you're just and you're, you're just, just four out of ten like or idiot. whatever and then you're forced to level to five <laughs> noted i'll remember to not do that after this conversation i mean ace is just like these idiots do that <laughs> 
They might not mark you with the first. Wait, what's what's the cutoff for Diamond One? Diamond One. Oh, you just got Diamond One. Oh, Diamond One forty six. Frog Frog played a game and went first. Oh, for Advanced League. Yeah. Oh, actually, this game might not matter. Frog Box. No. Frog played a game. Yeah, Frog played a game and went first. So no one, no one can make it. Uh, and you didn't stream it. Let me look at Rain Plosion. Okay. All right, looks like we have thirty-seven minutes to kill Box Box. Start opening some packs, bro. <laughs> Time to open up treasure tokens. <laughs> oh, she already did stream today. Damn. There was a lot of Vietnamese uh, players who signed up this time, which I thought was kind of cool. I think Vietnam has the largest representation in the boot camp right now. I thought I thought North America does. Sorry, I meant outside because normally it was originally an NA event. Oh, uh, then... okay, you mean foreign? Yeah. Well, you uh, have you ever seen the Vietnamese player base numbers in TFT? It's surprisingly huge. Like I thought China was number one. Well, they are, but Vietnam is like number two, very close. Yeah, Vietnam has more players than the rest of the world combined. But that's not China. Wait, seriously? Oh, I did not know that. That's wild. Wait, do you like do women think you're cool if you're good at TFT? <laughs> kind of like how eight years ago, if you were good at League of Legends, that was actually like considered hot. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm not. I, I I'm not uh, in the Vietnamese gaming circles. But <laughs> are there any women in any of our chats that think it's attractive if you are good at TFT? I'm a, my my wife told me she likes that about me. She thinks it's attractive. Oh, Annie definitely does not particularly care if I'm good at TFT. She might find the, the, the trait unattractive, actually. What about, what about Tekken? Tekken is incredibly hot. Uh, I will say that if you go to, uh, if you go around in Vietnam to a bunch of, like, cafes and stuff, it's actually very common to find people playing mobile TFT, apparently. Damn. Dan, was it you who was telling me, like, in um, China, you can just, like, find, find Double Up partners just, like, around you? Uh, yeah, Double Up is the is the thing that people play in Mobile China, uh, or China Mobile TFT, and it's, like, the big selling point, and, yeah, they, like, they, like, link you up to other people. You can always find partners and people to game with. That's so cool. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Double Up is such an important part of TFT's future, but, like, it's kind of a shame that, like, everyone kind of hates it in, in the West. You know, I, I was uh, I was on a Discord with some other streamers that I met for the first time, and like we were playing a Valorant game, and I popped off. They're like, "Oh, what's your main game?" or something, and I was like, "TFT," and they're like, "Oh, I thought you were a League pro." <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> but then like, <laughs> <laughs> what'd you say? You defended uh, TFT like, in honor, right? Yeah, I left the call in rage. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't say anything. Oh. Wait, is Zyronic Diamond 289 LP? Yes. Wait. I, I first still moves him on, right? Wait, let me, let me check. I mean, he would have to gain 60 LP. Oh, that's not possible. When you promote, I don't think. That's not possible unless your name is Asa. Wait, is that possible? No, happy, I feel like when you promote, you're, you're always it's, like... It's not 60, it's 57. No, but like after you promote, you're always like 10 LP or something, right? Even if you're like... I'm pretty no, sure if you go true, like from true. 99 LP oh, really? at okay. first, you, it carries over. Hang on. I see. Diamond 146 LP. Well, it's he definitely has LP. A, he definitely it, has a spot to go first. Lobby. Yeah, yeah, like unquestionably, like anything below a first is out. But like if he goes first and it was like a strong lobby, it's doable. 57, man, really? Let That's me crazy. let me see if I've ever gained fifty seven. Let me let me check. I just want there to be a chance, man. I want there to be hope. True, true. You know what? It's possible. It's possible. Let's just let's just wait and see. There's opium. Let's just wait and see. Checking the stats real quick. Okay, I've never gained more than. Yeah, oh. I've never gained more than fifty. Oh. Or like fifty one. Oh. Team building, team building. This is actually good. Team building. Team building. Oh, wait, I got 55 once. I got 55 once okay. in a high yellow lobby. 
Okay. It, it, this is a very high elo lobby. <laughs> yeah. Young oh, he Wild took and Young free? Wild and Free. That's interesting. Over team building. Uh, I thought Maybe we were he team wants to get a cane. I see. He could also be going like flex play. Oh, he absolutely needs to slum Morellos here on Kindred. He had his Morellos since um, he's had this Morellos since two 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 three, because he took oh, Barry treasures and he hasn't slammed it. Morellos Kindred's insanely good here. She moves around and like hits the whole team. Yep, and stats that she wants to use. The thing is, like, like anti heal is not as good in Yone as it is in other comps because Yone has anti heal, but uh, you still you still benefit from having it. Oh, this fight actually is a Morello diff, I think. Ouch. Yeah. Definitely looking like it could be. Like, like Morello Rod could definitely have won this fight, I think. Also, I don't think we need to put Young Wild and Free into, uh, into Kane because we have four Reaper already. Oh, for, yeah. uh, we're picking it for the Wukong. That's the vision. The Wukong later on. I see it. Maybe he is going to flex to 9. Like, at 9, you can do a lot of cool things and just play Yone too. Okay. I can see it. Rageblade Yone. Or, uh, Rageblade Aphelios, excuse me. Aphelios 2. The Sniper Emblem. I just watched Dipsoap's Aphelios Guide just uh, before hopping on this call. Yeah. Anything interesting? He plays it completely di Like, every single item decision was different than what I would have made. Interesting. Oh. Did he make a YouTube video on it? Huh? Wait, what did you say? Did he make a YouTube video on it? Yes, it's on YouTube. Oh. Uh, we both play the comp a lot, but we play it very differently. Wait. So I thought it was really interesting. I learned a lot. Is he about to slam a Rage Blade? Uh, he might be. That seems likely. He's been saving Wait. two rods the entire game. No, 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 don't, don't save the Rage Blade. Or don't slam the Rage Blade. I, I think, I think he's gonna oh, slam no, no, the Rage no, no, Blade. No, 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 don't, don't, don't slam the Rage Blade. It's ironic, I'm begging Maybe he's like Nasher, maybe he's like Nasher's death cap. This guy's just like a beast, and he just like knows that Kindred can actually carry. Wait, is that, is that rocks in your chat? Are they listening? Uh, he said, he, he said he has no audio. But... Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, oh! What the heck? Oh, he took it for a second. Titans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's what I was hoping he was doing. I'm glad he didn't slam the rage blade, but I find it weird that he slammed the Morellos, but he could have slammed it so much longer ago and dealt more damage to players and kept the streak. Right. I think it's probably because in a lot of mm -hmm. people's mind, people don't think of Kindred as a good Morello holder. That's true. You kind of have to like watch her fight, but she actually does hit like. Many different targets here. Oh yeah, it's pretty easy to replace her though. Like, yeah. Well, also, uh, I mean, <laughs> you just have to. You, it's it's funny because it's like uh, it's really good on Kindred in a somewhat of a counterintuitive way in TFT because of how often Kindred leaves every unit alive is exactly why she's <laughs> good at Morello. Because if you ever play Kindred. You know how Kindred never kills anything because it always attacks everything but like the unit that needs to die, and that's exactly that's why Morello is good. That's why Reaper plus one is so good, <laughs> so he can not play this worst unit of the entire set. <laughs> True. Uh, oh, Locket! What the heck? Oh. Yeah, Locket's not. Oh. I mean, Zeke's is Zeke's is alright too. Good too. Zeke's I is think good they're too. both good. Yeah, they're both good. I, I like Locket better personally. Yeah, I think we do a lot of damage already. We just need help staying alive. Agreed. I think I think the diffi the difficulty, yeah, is like uh, the when you play a Yone board, it's really easy to just like get carried away with how fragile the rest of the units can be because you're like relying on a lot of traits to oh. kind of carry you. Oh, the Raka. Okay. I mean, that's she's a great Merlot holder. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. But Kindred is better than Sarka as a Merlot holder, at least in this comp. Yes, I think I... He, he hates Kindred. He missed out on two different Kindreds when he could have held it without losing Econ. And then he won't give her items. I think he hates her. 
if we're gonna roll I, for a Yone three with five kindreds at this point, you could definitely like hit a kindred three on the way to Yone three, and she. Like, I would not. I would not hold any kindreds because I think kindred three is a lot worse than like king two, and uh, you want to play Kha'zix for heavenly. Oh, I see that. Okay, that's fair. I mean, I think that uh, the the nice thing about kindred is that uh, they they help you fix your items, so. You don't always get like the bows and swords and stuff like that for Yone. So if you get a bunch of tears oh! and rods, you need to Oh my god, to do. we are so back. What? Whoa! Wait. Wait a second. Wait, That's exactly what? Wait, wait, wait. Another, another, another chance. So Come on, take the, take the second take chance. The second chance. The second chance. We have porcelain and we have Nico we in. Have we have porcelain and Nico in. One out two, Arctis. One out two. You literally porcelain. win the game. First what? place if you take this Lissandra and start playing around her. Oh, man. You start printing items so early. Oh, okay. I can't believe he didn't take it, and then she came back. Same That's Lissandra, a same Lissandra. Each time. <laughs> For sure, yeah. If he took it the first time, he won't have saw this one, so... Yone. I would... I, I noticed about these lower elo boot campers is they roll, like, as really fast, fast as the pro really players. Yeah. Or even they roll faster. faster. Like yeah. They roll faster. It's oh, it's because they come from games like Valorant and stuff or something, I guess. Well, yeah, I, it's I like it's because they know exactly what they want. And oh, that's not, true. They're not considering the the uh, the secondary outs. No, it's because like okay, so in other games like Valorant and stuff, right? Like being good is like cool, and like they do a lot of flashy moves to look really cool in their gameplay. So they come to TFT and they try to do that. But like us, like people who've been playing TFT for a long time, we know that TFT like doesn't look that cool to play, so we don't try to look cool. <laughs> we just roll slow. <laughs> Wait, this one was so unlucky. I see. Here we go, nice. I don't know about man. I, this is a really tough spot. Uh, we but... also got no tears for the Lissandra. Oh, Grim Harvest. Grim Harvest. Wow. He's checking the stats. Yeah, yeah then, I, I mean, I don't know what's his, going his on. cursor flew off the screen. He's yeah. looking at the highest placing augment for this, but it's it's like pretty. You have to like use your brain here because uh, it's wandering oh. trainer. Oh wow! Oh, interesting. This that Focus is that looks Sandra too. Okay, nice. I would slam everything here, Chancellor, even Shroud. Yeah, I like that. Giant Slayer, Lissandra, right? Giant Slayer, Lissandra. Uh. No, I would. I want to itemize all the Reapers. Well, I would have made three Lissandra items on four one and just full sent Lissandra <laughs> <laughs> to farm to farm items. Man, you're you're Wait, too that's, crazy. That's why your viewers think you're cool. <laughs> that's why your viewers think Wait, you're cool. Too. I God mean, damn. if we got a mana item, I would have been down to like three item Lissandra for a while and then farm up components. It's actually yeah, like bro. so unlucky that she got or he got Lissandra I'm... and then I. Uh, no items for it. I mean, knowing you have to go for a first, like, shouldn't you do that? Just slam three items yeah. on Sandra on 4 1? Like, if you Actually, have to win the game, like in a tournament. I would slam three items on Yone. That's how you win the game. <laughs> <laughs> so three, three item Yone is usually how you win the game. You know how you get three item Yone? By three item Lissandra. Yeah, yeah you, or you could just oh. make a third item on Yone when we had six components, man. Right? Actually, what if he takes this and then tempos to nine with the Clyde, please? Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, are we Wait. getting Yone through in this spot? We're pretty poor. We, we missed we, on our roll down. We should be playing this uh, Kiana over Soraka. <laughs> I would have taken that in the mid three item Lissandra. I'm pretty sure he doesn't see Kindred as a unit. So, like, he wants to get value of his Morellos. Yeah, so I would rather Morello Lissandra if that was the case. But I'm pretty sure Kiana is, like, adds a lot of valuable 80 to the team. A I lot. agree. Also, he might not know the thing that we talked about earlier about how Soraka is, like, the one heavenly unit that doesn't really add anything to this team. Yeah, her mana reeve is good. It's just that she's the last heavenly usually you tech in. Yeah, she's just good yeah, for having a backliner a with uh, mana reeve. Also, I, I really like putting Lissandra in like the cubby or like to the side of the board just so she survives longer. Do you guys like this middle positioning? I always just put her next to the DPS so that she, she can print an item. Yeah, I think he's trying to kill as fast as he can. I like almost always put her cubby. Cubby for the hubby. Exactly. You can uh, aim okay, young wild you second row. You can try to Wukong aim Wukong with the vest. Wukong with the vest. Okay, Azir with the vest. True, true, true. We'll I, I think this early in the game, I would like put her cubby and make, try to make her survive for a couple ults. But yeah, late game, yeah, you yeah. just late late game, you definitely do that. 
Yeah, on this side is good. To, it's definitely safer. This Yone with a cloak was interesting. That would make Adaptive Helm, right? Oh, no, it wouldn't. It would make Shojin. Shojin or Sandra. Yeah, Shojin or Sandra, and then it's a Yone. I, oh, yeah. I was, like, really hesitant on this um, Young Wild and Free. I mean, this, this might be confirmation bias, but like, I'm pretty sure you always take team building there and just, like, make sure you can get the, uh, oh, yeah. the Yone at all. Oh, Kane. Hypothetically, um... You hit a 4-1 Lissandra, right? And you have to stack her to farm items. Uh -huh. what, if, what is the best Lissandra in that scenario where you, you get her early and you're trying to farm oh, items? Like adaptive Helm and then any AP items from then on? Three Shoujins. Oh, wait, do you backline her with Adaptive? Yeah, so she casts more often. I see. Uh, BT Lissandra actually does a lot of damage. Like, she casts enough to yeah, heal. Yeah, I was thinking on maybe that for sure. What, what about Adaptive Helm, Hodge, JG? That seems good. That seems good. I, I like BT, Adaptive, and then anything. Yeah. And, like, Lissandra's actually, like, a force to reckon with, even at one star. I'm a big fan of Ed Edge of Night on uh, Lissandra. Ooh. I mean, I basically treat her just as AP Kiana, as from last set, so... Oh, this is gonna be really rough. We, we basically just hit six Yones in 70 gold, or 80 gold. Y yeah. It's looking bad, you guys. We need to hit Wu. It's not even just Yone. We need to hit Wukong. But the we hit monkey. Lissandra. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Not bad. Oh. Hui wait, we need, we, we need the Kha'Zix 2. We need the Kha'Zix 2. Oh, we are tilted. We are tilted. Yeah, way over... Oh. Over okay. Soraka, for sure. Because uh, the Kha'Zix 2 star level matters. Yeah, I agree. It's like an extra 500 health. Uh, and, right, the yeah. the wait, wait. and the heavenly bonus and the heavenly bonus okay i actually don't know how that works can you look, like i know getting more star levels increases your heavenly bonus but by how much no not that it's just getting 500 more hp in your Kha'Zix. well it does it, do, it does increase the heavenly bonus stats for your star level as well oh really yeah, yeah that's yeah, why yeah, three starring you... is a really big deal because you get more right, heavenly I, bonus i didn't know that yeah, if you read the heavenly... a reroll comp <laughs> but no one rerolls it Okay, but no, how, how does it work? Like, when you have a two-star Kha'Zix versus a one-star Kha'Zix, how much more heavenly bonus does your team get? Uh, I believe it's 25 and then 75%, but they may have nerfed it. I don't remember. Asa, do you know the exact numbers? Uh, I don't know the numbers. Okay. Uh, I just it, it, doesn't, it doesn't tell you when you hover over it or anything, it right? It increased by their star level. Yeah. That's yeah, exactly. As as I know. But, like, I remember they nerfed the yeah, three-star Yeah, it used to be, bonus. like, double. It because if be you got double. built... If, because cause the one build a bud, if you got, like, Malphite 3, your team was, like, invincible. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. played a I played a fine vintage game where I had Malphite three, Kha'Zix three, Nico three, and Kiana three, and my <laughs> Zerots just never died. Yeah. Like they were just going crazy. <laughs> Malphite three by himself is like a three altruist. Yeah, it's so what disgusting. What the fuck? It's so disgusting. If you I mean, assuming Malphite you have like three. a couple other heavy units. Yeah. Um, low key, man, this rock fucks. All right, seventy gold, three Yones. And two canes. Uh, it definitely has a good chance of hitting. Uh, yeah, pretty good chance of hitting. Oh, no, so okay, so at two well. star, at two star, you get twenty percent more of the buff, and at three star, you gain fifty percent more of the buff. Fifty, okay. Wow, that's a lot. That's a big step oh. down. Okay, we are back. We are back in the yeah. game, and now wait, 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 wait. No, it's Titans. Oh, I mean, this is this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, I think Titans. Ie, or was it? I think he oh, has I think, Titans I think IE, but it's fine. Okay. I'm down to be wrong. The only thing I don't like is the positioning of Kane, but I think it's, I think it's okay. I, he's greeting the support item value. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd rather tuck him in a spot where he, he's less vulnerable to take damage. because he's, he's very Agreed. Scary. But, yeah. I mean, it's a possible win out, especially if we hit Wukong. And if we make it to the carousel, we can Young Wild and free it back, so... I, I, see I see the vision. I see the vision. He's gonna win the. He's, I mean, he's gonna be like first pick anyway. Yeah, but he gets to move before the other guy. True. I like that yeah, he has his uh, strong tanks on the outside tuck now. Tuck the king into the pocket. Also, he's not moving his Yone each round. He's probably like, if he doesn't have a specific plan for it, he should just randomize it so that his opponents can't position for him. He lost a couple of fights because his Yone was not able to get onto the carry. Yeah. But I think also, if you don't know what to do, 
I, I also think sometimes you might mess it up, you know. Oh. Okay. Okay. Subtle. Wait. This actually might be bad. <laughs> we might go to the Soraka top left now instead. No, 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 no. He's going to do it. Oh, oh, nice. Huge. Huge nice. Yone. Well done. This Yone is a beast. All right, 1v1. Uh, wait, wait, oh going God, crazy. Zudir. Oh, no. Oh, my oh, God. No. Oh, God. Look at that BM dance, too. Oh, we <laughs> lose Streak. We lose one of our two lives. And we lose Econ. Holy crap. I mean, we, we push the we levels now. Down, right? We have to all in. To That's all actually in. an Umbral diff. We got a level for Yorick here. Oh. Oh. Wait, what, what do you want? Altruist is fine. Altruist is fine. Okay. Man, he's 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 definitely in his head about that. That definitely sucks. Oh. Lock. The, the, the rage roll. You can't even buy it anyways. Uh. Oh, this dummy needs to be in the front line. Yeah. Cause it, especially because okay, it's a behemoth. I mean, we can get an item for Kane. I don't also, know if we win this. I, 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 kind of I don't know if we win this. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. God. We went to the other Wait. side. Come on, Wait. Yone. Come on, Yone. No, Yone, what are you, are you doing, going? man? No. This is also, like, very subtly a positioning diff, too. No! Dead. Nice try. Nice try. Eighth. Oh, God. Just exit, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say exit before the carousel, so you don't even know what you missed out on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, what is Trisha doing? Uh, Trisha is contemplating her life decisions, reflecting on the past ten days of her life. Classic TFT moment. Yep, yep, yep. Let's take a look. I think I think she's, she's thinking. I'm so glad I played t all that TFT. Yeah. Yeah. It, it looked like she turned around to scream. <laughs> I think she turned around and said, I love Mortog. Yeah, uh, yeah. I noticed that she's out of game, but she started a game like only 28 minutes ago. So. Oh, she oh, she must have went eight. just now. Oh, it must have been um, um, Lethal Legend. So plus one damage to everyone. And then the first carousel was at a fawn. So then everyone just died in stage four and she went first. Got it. Wait, that's actually possible. <laughs> well, wait, what's or Kane, or, or, or the Kane encounter. The Kane, the Kane encounter. <laughs> oh, true. The Kane encounter, He's the played... game's already over. What are you saying, oh, yeah. I just played a Lethal Legends game, but I didn't know it was Lethal Legends until three people were already dead. And then <laughs> Ray, Ray Implosion played me. She was like, why are you going fast and I did Lethal Legends? What, what, what place did you go? Uh, I got fifth. Oh. Wait, Rain sold her entire board. Oh, I guess, like, she had the Phyllis, too. She knew. Rain's dead she looks like she lost again so wait kiyun's low-key making a charge up as well yeah let's take a look is anyone still in contention no kiyun just got out of game eight minutes ago so that was that was the best rank he could get wait so it's jover it I mean, is only 15 minutes left looking jover uh yeah trisha went eighth <laughs> oh no no Damn, today was like a Game of Thrones episode. Everyone just died. Yeah, I don't think anybody made it out from like the people we were watching. Oh, no, no. Uh, Saber and Tactician did. They made it out. Yeah, they did. And so then there's two survivors. The band is so tight in the Advanced League. Everyone's in Diamond 1. Yeah, everyone's in Diamond yeah, 1. It's spicy. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be right, crazy. Let's go. H2 in rank 1. The Rust guy. Like Dude, three, is such a great eight. look. No, no, he's not just not rank one. Look at how many games he's played. Yeah, he's a beast. Wait, 177? Wait, let Dude, me this guy is straight for grinding. Wait, I feel like that's not even that much compared to some of the people in the pro league. Yeah, but that's Wait, like I their full time thing, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the... oh. You're, you're telling me these eight, guys yeah. stream other stuff besides TFT and also play this many games? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Holy. YBY2 or YBY01, 224 games. Setsuko, 200. Spencer has the most. 
I wonder who has, has the most games because according to tactics to, or, uh, to lol chest soju, soju setsugo is not the number one most played games the soju is the if you games. go to tactics dot tools you can see it all on one page instead of like having to click through wait what about aria are you saying that you can see who has the most games no no, no but like you can scroll down instead of having to like click on everyone individually oh i mean it's not the best i want to know yeah. who's played the most i see spencer oh, at 273. Person. You can go to players and then ladder. Arya Saki at 266 games. Wait, this yep. might be the most. No, no. I, I, says, I don't see anyone higher than Spencer. In like Maple top, Arrow. Like, Maple so Arrow 301. Oh, I always have that guy in my games. 301. 301? That explains why That explains why he's always in my game. And he Jeez. plays with Helios every game, too. Wait, do you guys remember... like? During Call of Duty, those streamers that would just play on one account, and then like when one of them goes to sleep, the other guy would just take over on the same account. What yeah. if we did that for TFT? But like sharing accounts is banned, right? Yeah. Well, but can you imagine like like someone gets it for eight eight hours, the next guy gets it for eight hours, it just never stops. And like when I get on, I'm like, oh god, Boxbox lost another 300 LP. <laughs> Guess I'll make it back before he gets on. 330 <laughs> games by a player in Diamond One right now. <laughs> Holy. 330 <laughs> games. That's twice as many as I have, and I feel like I've played a yeah. lot. Yeah, I feel like I've been playing almost nonstop. I, yeah. Wait, Wait Spencer in my has chat right now. He says, Frog Cow has 330 games. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking at. Yeah. Jesus, man. Jesus. Oh my God. Wait, this Frog Cow might be the one. Yeah. How this the, the game how how many the, this has been out for ten days. And so that means he's average logged 33, 33 games, games a day. day. Nah, that's a shared account. That's no way. That's a shared account. It could Wait, be, let, yeah. let, let me actually do the math. In 240 hours, she's played 330 games. Doesn't that mean Doesn't that mean she's been like almost quite literally playing like 18 hours a day? Like, let me I'm pretty sure there's been stats where like Soju has had this many games in that amount of time. That is way games too many games, man. Oh, I mean, I agree, but yeah. Forty minutes. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm just like plugging in numbers there. Okay, so <laughs> she's been playing 22 hours a day, 10 days in a row. That's <laughs> Wait, how many hours? A, an, an unlikely feat. An unlikely feat. It has to be. A Wait, how many hours a day? Uh, according to her games played, relative to how long the site has been out for, she has been playing 22 hours a day uh, for 10 days in a row. No. no what is the you, what is the average use 40 game minutes, length? Though, right? Like the average game length is closer to 30 than 40. It's probably like 35. Yeah, I would say it's 35. Yeah, it's 30. But you have to count right, Catherine yeah. uh, Q times and stuff. Let me plug that in. And average game length, let's say it averages out to 35 minutes. Okay, I mean, you was, yeah. That's being generous. Yeah. But, but the thing is, sometimes you go 8th and you're done in 25 some minutes, so like... Okay, it's actually possible. Uh, 19 hours. Oh yeah, that's not that much. That means she slept 5 hours a day, and then the rest of her waking existence was dedicated to TFT, which is actually possible. Well, you could do also, your daily stuff while playing TFT, like... You make your board, and then during like creep rounds, you brush your teeth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of times, I forget to like go to the bathroom, and then I queue it up, and then I have to like go right yeah, before. Yeah, do it between rounds. Yeah, yeah. Or like after I pick my first log bit. Okay, it, it's actually possible. Also, uh, I did take a look. She has been streaming a lot of her games, so like I don't think it's a shared account. Wait, okay. are you? By the way, have you seen um, have you seen Arya Saki's climb? Let's take a look. I I'm looking at Arya Saki's uh, profile right now. She was oh! like, she just straight up stonks to the moon. Was she streaming this? I mean, I maybe. I think so. But she was like definitely dead today and then just freaking put on a clinic. One, one, two, two, one, two, two, one, three. Wait, isn't it her birthday today as well? So it's like the birthday climb. Holy shit. This is the Raiditz. <laughs> she even hit the three star Udir in one of her games. <laughs> what the heck? My god. Wait. 
Wait, where's the VOD? Wait, people are telling me uh, that she was streaming it, but I don't see the VOD. Oh, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm proud of, of that. That's awesome. Uh, a, a certified click moment. It looks like she has discovered Kaisa, which uh, we've been talking about. I, I really like this meta. I, I think I think this is very likely to go down the best launch patch. I don't know if Ace of you agree. You've played a lot of launches. Uh, Interesting. Wait, yeah, no, like I think it is by far. Patch. Sorry, what, what's up? You like the current patch. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, think this is easily the best launch patch we've ever had by far. I, I agree. I think it's one of the best launch viable, patches. Except like Kindred, who someone thinks, who someone else is thinks is viable. So and Ash, Ash like, literally Ash. every single unit is like viable. Man, I'm trying to find someone who hates me as much as Asa hates Kindred. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> ironic. It's ironic. <laughs> uh, uh, I I really uh, did not yeah, like Ash this patch because I like level eight. So this patch was incredibly frustrating to me. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I okay, mean, the thing is, like, you know how people say four costs are unplayable? I actually think yeah. the four costs are, like, they're pretty good, but, like, you can't just make a whole game plan around them. Like, they're usually, like, supporting either the reroll comp or supporting the, the five cost board, right? But it oh. is kind of sad you can't roll down on eight oh, for, like, a lot of shit. Doing. No, I agree. The set is a little unusual in that, like, uh, you're usually not carrying a four cost, like, hey, in most thank you so much. In, like, most of your games. Yeah, yeah. four cost carries suck. And it's that's like so different than from set ten, where like a lot of the game came down to like how good you were at the flex level eight roll down. A lot of the comps are still like level eight comps though, like um, like faded, ghostly. Yeah, yeah, they are. It's it's more about yeah, like uh, seven and then level. I mean, it's it's definitely I, I would it's, it's it is interesting. I think part of it is that headliners maybe have given us a little bit of whiplash in general of like expectations around four cost because one we hit them so fast and two they were naturally more powerful because headliners give a special bonus. Um, but I, I do think four costs are in a pretty good spot. I actually think it's arguably a mistake that they're buffing Kaisa. Like I think it's, a, it's actually a pretty big mistake. But I'm not Wait, entirely they're buffing sure. Kaisa? Yeah, they're buffing Kaisa. I, I don't think huh? that's, I don't think that's correct. I think it's actually very dangerous, um, and it's very likely it's going to be like a Kaisa lottery next patch. I'm not sure. Wait, they buffed Kaisa? Yeah, they buffed Kaisa. They buffed. I mean, oh, sorry, I don't want to spoil it for you, but uh, oh, you can tell me. I'm I'm curious to hear your thoughts. They they they're buffing Kaisa. They're buffing Ink Shadow. They're buffing Zaya. Uh, it does sound like Kaisa lottery. Uh, so yeah. are we playing they Ink Shadow Ash, like three right? players a game? They buffed Ash, right? They buffed Ash. Yeah, they buffed Ash. <sighs> Ash got oh, uh, a, Ash got a, a pretty big buff. She got she got five AD. Another thing you do have to keep in mind with these is they they have to like lock in the patch for like like a week ago or something like that. So it's like now like now you're seeing like a whole bunch of, like Ink Shadow Kaisa players, but it's like there weren't that many like um yeah like, a few when days they like ago. locked in the patch probably yeah. Mm -hmm. But like I, I mean honestly I think the patch has been really good. We went through reroll. We went through. We went through it. The whole thing. We went through fast nine. We went through reroll, and, we went now, and now we're going through level like a bunch of a, a bunch of level eight boards. And now it's like at, at this point, I feel like we've seen so much. I'm actually interested if we're gonna see anything more. If, if anything, of set eleven, if that makes sense. Yeah, this is my opinion. When like TFT is the most fun to play ladder is when the meta is constantly evolving and people are finding new tech and like you could really like start to like almost innovate in a way. Yeah, there are some other stuff that people like don't really know. Like, I, I there's actually a handful of like twin terror comps that people don't know about that has actually been surfacing, and there's a couple of other different things. But uh, yeah, overall, I, I, I've been pretty happy about one. Hmm? I only know about Lux for twin terror. Oh yeah, the the Shen Senna build being discovered is really cool. I think it was discovered in response to Bard, and like now it's just like really strong it's crazy that, like build this strong was out there this whole time and nobody really knew about it well, yeah I mean, exactly. like, there's a i would say probably like a 90 percent chance like we haven't found the strongest build this past yet as like a tft community yeah like, i'm sure I someone to go find it, it but like like we don't like yeah the community like it's not common doesn't know it is what if it's Kindred? Asa? I mean, we haven't even solved Kaisa no, yet. I don't believe and, it. <laughs> and, and we're, we're still Wait, in the middle Asa, of optimizing you play a game Kaisa. Recently, you moved up to rank two. Uh, I played a game like 
I, I streamed a little bit and I went bought four three times in a row, so I got tilted in, in a stream. And I played one game after. Wait, were you playing while you were in here? No. You played before you joined? Yeah. Okay, because when we checked, you were rank three. Cool, congrats on rank two. Thank you. <laughs> this has been an insane bootcamp for you. You usually place in like the 20s, which is pretty good. But like this, this is not normally. You are contesting uh, the big four. I've gotten top eight twice before. But yes, I've, I don't think I've gotten top four before. Nice job, yeah, that's man. Exciting. Do you think you can do, do you think you can uh give me your percent chance of winning the pro boot camp? Um I kind of feel like I kind of feel like anyone like the top 5 has a chance. I don't think like replay t Lies, and Royal are going to make it. Uh but I feel like everyone in the top 5 has like like a like a 20% chance each. I see. You don't think YBY is advantaged here? I mean, he's up 100 LP, but that's just like two games. Like two high roll games. That's fair. If you end up getting first place, you are going to win $3,000. And I'll tell you what, to personally make it incentivizing for you, because this is very exciting that a new face is in the top four. If you win, I'll pull $5 from my own wallet and hand it to you. Wow. No way. $5. Right. I mean, no, that's... I, I, you, you really don't have to do that. Like, I, I appreciate that. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, okay. Oh my god. Wait, Sage Man needs to learn something from you, bro. He, he, he never offered me that. What the heck? Froden, if you get first place in the boot camp, I will also give you. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! All right, set twelve is mine. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but we should okay. also do the revive a friend option that race then. Well, wouldn't the revive a friend just mean that they revive and then die again because they don't have high enough LP? Like, is there anybody who no, sometimes died? Died. Oh, 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 actually, Boxbox, Box, I, I, I had a question. What do you think about signing up as teams? And then it's like your team collective LP. Teams? Yeah. Uh, I like the idea of it, but it sounds difficult. And I think that there are a lot of people who would not sign up because they don't want to go through the effort of finding a team. Uh, okay, fair enough. What about if, like, maybe there was, like, a format for the just the pros then to do? I think people really like the, uh, were like... Well, also, you choose your team, too, because then, like, aren't, like, Sesako and Dish Soap just gonna, like, team up? Oh, yeah, the top four would just team up and then get a Monopoly. Oh, I don't know if they would, though. Maybe you would have to draft, like, the, to the top whoever from this food camp drafts or something. I don't know. I do agree with you that the idea of teams is really fun. I think it's very hard to do it correctly. But for what it's worth, I'm glad you're asking questions about this because I have been looking to change up the boot camp. I, I can't reveal too many secrets, but uh, we do have some exciting stuff for the community, like the, the one where everybody's playing uh, for next time. Oh, OK. So cool. like for the viewers that watch streamers in the boot camp, we have exciting stuff for them uh, coming in set 12. Got it, got While it. While we're on that topic, uh, it looks like the cutoff for the viewers to stay alive is actually already quite high. It's already Masters. Oh, what the heck? Masters 39 LP. Because we're down to the top 32 viewers now. Oh! oh wow. And, uh... Yeah, the top ranked viewers. Uh, favorite streamer, Tacharu. Tacharuru. Karum, Soju, Rain, Weijin, Ujelly, Re Replay. Pocky I remember um, Wajian Iverson was like the Monopoly. Yeah, on yeah, yeah. Camps. Originally, uh, Wajian had all of his group of friends sign up under him. But yeah, now... and he won like $8,000 worth of eggs. <laughs> because, thanks to his group of friends. Um, but yeah, so your idea of team sounds interesting. If you could present to me like how you'd imagine it playing out, I, I could give like more feedback on it. But right now, just from what you said, team sounds cool. Team sounds hard to do, especially for casual and advanced. For pro, I could see it. Yeah. No one would team with me because my L my average LP each set is not high enough, though. Maybe it's like uh, maybe. I mean, maybe kind of like what uh, Asa said, though. Like, obviously, you would kind of create a system where the top players couldn't team, but I do think that it'd be fun because I think encouraging more collaboration in the boot camp is generally really positive, because um. I, I would like to see more people continue to, to interact and stuff like that. I feel like bootcamp is almost isolating at, at, at times. 
we've had thoughts of like, oh, what if people from each category were lumped together? Imagine if like a team had like nine people and there's three in each division, and then there was an incentive for the pros to coach their casuals. But then we worried that it would just turn into like the pros are playing the game for the casuals. Yeah, yeah. There's like coaching, and then there's like, I'm going to tell you exactly what to do, and you're just going to be like a really delayed mouse for me. Right. Yeah, I, I also think like a lot of the pros like would not want to be oh, yeah. coaching someone all the time instead of coach like yeah. i guarantee you soju is not going to be spending his limited time on stream to coach a streamer when he could instead just like uh just grind it out himself well the i mean last person may- i'm pretty sure soju coached was me when i first started learning tft i mean maybe next boot camp you could put him in the advanced category and he could get some coaching from a pro <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, actually, yeah, Ray, Ray and I should just go to the advanced <laughs> league next time. How about it, Ray? <laughs> yeah, I'm done. Sounds good. Oh, yeah, I I like it. The distribution for casual events were like, it's like so, like, it's so good. Like, all the casuals are like in the exact same division, and all the events are like pretty much the exact same. They're all within like 150 LP of each other. Oh, yeah. I think that's I remember really cool. In set 10, there was like some casual people that were like higher than the people in advanced. I uh, at the beginning I, I definitely felt like we made a lot of mistakes. Uh there were some people who were like too high ranked for their division. And then I was like, ah oh, fuck, we like give a free win to some people. But uh it actually ended up being very close. So I, I was pretty happy. Yeah. The people who I thought true. were gonna be like too good ended up uh actually like losing out early. Like um I thought Toast was gonna win the advance, like no problem, and it would be so easy for him. But he actually oh, died yesterday. I, I thought Becca was gonna win. But she hasn't been playing super seriously recently, I guess. But she's been like a thousand LP for like a lot of sets in a row. Oh, I thought. Wait, yeah, so- I mean, I thought Burbaholic for the same reason as well, but she also got. Yeah, I guess this set was pretty different though. So thankfully, it worked out very well. I'm happy with how it worked out. There was a guy in casual who uh, I didn't realize had hit masters before. I was like, oh no, what have I done? Oh, who is it? Uh, Happiness Ltd. Okay. Well, it looks like he's dead today. Yeah, he's in Masters twice across four years. So I was like, "Oh, we fucked up." I in the future, we're not gonna we're not gonna let people sign up for a, a division. We're just gonna have them sign up and then have a preferred division, and then I will do the assigning once I see all, everybody's ranks. I have a suggestion. Yeah, what's up? What if you had a fourth category and it's right in between Advanced and Pro, and it's called the category where box box rated and frodan could possibly do well in <laughs> wait what is that supposed to be <laughs> we can do well in the pro category have some faith like okay like the fact that we don't even go dead last is not is, is pretty good the influencer yeah, like, category well i mean i i think we're doing fine like i enjoy trying to make it to the top half that's a win for me same <laughs> Same. I mean, adding the advanced category is already like kind of iffy, just because like <laughs> once you make too many divisions, you dilute the pool. Yeah. I think three is about right, and like, yeah, it's, it's gonna have that situation where like, if you were barely too high for advanced and you're too low for pro, you're just not gonna have a chance. But like, I would hope that people aren't in it just for the money. Uh, I would hope that uh, just like participating in a format like this is fun, and players just want to see how well they can do. I think so. And and ultimately, I like, yeah. I, I think that uh, I think the boot camp's in a good spot. I don't think you you want the stakes to be raised even any any further than it is. I think it's in a. Yeah, if you raise the stakes, you might start encouraging cheating. Or yeah, not yeah. Cheating, like, and hard steel like, was cheat. last set, so we don't need to raise the stakes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, buddy. Oh, the eliminations happened. All right. Oh, Fred, you want to take a look at uh? Yes. Here we go. Hold on. Sorry. Oh. Box box boot camp. Or boxboxtft.com. Right. Eliminations Who begin. Are our 12 fallen. All right, here we go. Play us off, boxbox. All right, in the casual category, in 12th place, we have Legit Korea, 07. Trisha, who we were watching earlier today. Achawi, 07. And Happiness LTD, 07. In the advanced category, we have Jane, Tempest. Oh, I played against him today. Zyronic. And Tettles. I actually didn't know anything about Tettles. I wish I got to see some of his streams. I wonder what he's like. In the pro category, we have Appies, Karumex, Rain, and Kiyun. Karumex. Oh, wow. A lot of like well-known pros died today. Yeah. No. And will also be the same as tomorrow. Like, uh, tomorrow, I think, 
it's also going to be really big of a cut. And, and and right now, look look who's at uh, risk of elimination right now. Dish soap. Dish soap is at risk. There's no what? one the challenger is. The PP. Wait, that's intense. It's very close to tomorrow. We're gonna have a really fun race. They're so struggling a little bit right now. Yeah, I think people have caught up to his strats. Yeah, and uh, there were whispers of like, okay, is this up actually really good, or did he just caught on early to some of the early trends? And some people were like, this was making Damn. a lot of mistakes when he's playing right now. And so, looks like uh, some of those early predictors are true. And also, look at this Asa guy, man. The Asa guy is turbo climbing. Oh, something really important that I want to say to everybody watching, uh, anybody who's streaming right now. I uh, I forgot to put it in the rules, so I've been I like reminded everybody in the boot camp on the Discord, but honestly, I wouldn't expect streamers to see it. I think a lot of people don't check the pings. Starting now that we're in the final eight, coaching is banned. I uh, there's no more getting coached. There's no more getting backseated. All games must be played on your own. We can't make sure we can't like make sure that games played off stream are not being coached. So we hope that everybody's streaming their elimination games. So we can make sure they're they're played normally now that the prizes and the stakes are getting kind of high. Uh, if you guys see someone streaming and they have a coach with them, uh, remind them because I tried to <laughs> I forgot to put it on the rules list at the beginning and then I edited it in and told everybody, but I'm pretty sure some of them didn't see it. So I'm scared that some people are just gonna like, gonna like ask a coach to like be with them. So yes, if you see them streaming and they have a coach, remind them. Now that we're in the final eight. Coaching is banned. I also reminded everybody already on Discord. Uh, Excellent. This should be a very interesting final two days, especially in the pro category. But uh, in the casual, everybody's Emerald 2. Like, literally, seven out of the, the eight casual players is are be in wild. Emerald 2. This is going to be a bloodbath. Okay, that's going to be fun. Uh, in Advanced, everybody's Diamond 1, except for two people who are very safe at Masters. It looks like H. June and Vic TFT are completely safe going into the final four. And then aside from that, six people will be fighting for two spots. In the pro, this is actually the place where we're least likely to see change. It's, it looks like it's going to be Dish Soap versus Spencer for the fourth spot into the final day. I, I think that the other three are just doomed. But I mean, top eight's already very respectable. They get a lot of money for that. Yeah, yeah. Even making it this far is uh, really admirable and just it's hard. Like climbing, climbing this consistently is, uh, is very difficult. Yeah. So. Agreed. Yeah. Okay. Somebody uh, told me uh, something very interesting. Uh, Any love number three in the casual. She's a Valorant streamer. I. Uh, she was really scared of like not meeting the fifty percent stream games rule. Uh, she's very interesting. Uh, I watched her for a bit. She's quite funny. I hope she streams tomorrow and we get to see her games. I. Uh, she was like, she had like a family obligation. I think. Uh, and she like didn't have a computer, so she like streamed TFT by playing like on her phone. And then her cousin streamed from her oh, phone wow. and what? Uh, pointed the what? camera at her phone to prove that what? her games were done alone. That's gangster. That's funny. <laughs> that is low tech. <laughs> that was very cool. I, I was very impressed. That's funny. That's funny. Yeah, I'm told it was an eight hour stream like that. Holy. Oh my Holy. god. But that cousin might have some like big forearms holding that phone all day. <laughs> yeah, and also like I hope they are on an unlimited plan. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> but okay. Oh god. Cool. I think that's all for now. Great work, everybody. I'll see you guys tomorrow at nine. All right. Wait, box box. Yeah, what's up? Any any last words? What's up? Wait, before you go, can you do this on stream? It'll take you like two minutes. Okay, what is it? It's a TFT crossword. Okay. Maybe we do it together. Oh, I already did it, but you, you could do it very easily. I believe in you. Okay, uh, Froden, can I link this to you and then we'll just look at it together? Oh, right now? Sure. On your browser. Yeah, because you're streaming the browser. I oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was looking at you who were looking at me, so yeah, okay. Where would you find this, Ray? The, one of my moderators made it for me. Oh, sick. Rate it's me, number this? one. Ready? Begin puzzle. Start cool. that stat that a bow gives. A.S. A.S. The blank. Fan the favorite hero augment. Fan favorite hero augment. Chaos. Wait. No. The boss. Okay. Your LP after getting Your a fourth, LP usually. Your LP after getting a fourth, usually. Ten? Plus ten. Your LP after you're getting a fourth, usually. Tenth? I don't know. Probably Wait. not. No, there's no way it's tenth. 
Okay. Okay, let's skip that one. Let's skip that one. Okay, yeah, five, okay. five down. Team that won Masters Madrid Sentinels. Seven. J usually spam after streamer checks tactics out tools. Susja? Wow, Foxbox doesn't know this one. Oh. Oh, Dench. Nerd. No. Oh, what the heck? Dude, Foxbox's chat is so different than like yeah, every other streamer's chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, this meta sucks. The B patch needs to be now. Uh, six letters. Six, six letters. letters. This uh, meta sucks. The B patch needs to be. Uh, I don't know. Like now, but yeah. You, you... Oh, sooner. Sooner. Oh. Big. oh, oh God. God. Well, I'm cheating. I looked at my Twitch chat for that. I, I won't look. Yo, no anymore. chat, bro. No chat. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Is that two lives? Is that Fortune even two HP. lives? No. Fortune HP, is that blank two lives? Is that... I don't know. I don't know I, I feel like this are people that watch streams. I don't actually That's, watch streams. It's definitely a Soju quote, but I don't know what yeah, a five-letter word right is into it. No, okay, that one, that one you could actually get through the head. Like, you don't have to watch Soju to know. Fortune HP, is that, like, legit two lives? <laughs> Story <laughs> weavers. The... Only 10 gold going to Krugs. I'm so poor. So poor. What Raito simile Raito summer break infancy did the bug. Abused. He abused the set bug. What's up ten? Oh, what the what the hell is that? <laughs> What's Number up dog? <laughs> up ten. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's how cross cross. You're, that You're up ten. <laughs> that's how cross that all the time. Okay, and the last one. <laughs> what even is that? 14 Wait, HP is that I have no idea blank what this two is. lives? Okay, I'm gonna, it, it, it makes one complete or sense. Two. One. Oh, is that one or two lives? Solve. What? <laughs> <laughs> what is this crossword? Rick? There's no way you gave us a crossword where the answer was one or <laughs> one or. But it makes where complete sense because it's one four, or because fourteen HP like that's in the middle of one and two. No. Oh yeah, I get it. I, I like, guess so. my knowledge of crosswords. This isn't <laughs> up ten. No, Did you make this? Me, Did no, you make this? dog intended crosswords to be played like this. No, no, no. Look, these are really common in crosswords. Like oh, for really? people who actually do crosswords, like this is really this is really common. Really? Yes. I, two words. Like, like, I two guarantee words. you, like a hundred percent. If you go to like the New York Times, like uh, crossword today, they they'll have like they'll have ton of these. Yeah, they, they use multiple like words this. a lot. Yeah, I'll have a ton of them like this. Okay. Oh, what? I I haven't done a crossword puzzle ever before. Oh, I, my like my chat makes some school. TFT crosswords. I could send you. Some. They're they're much more doable. There's a lot of memes. Socks. There's a lot of memes. <laughs> Socks but. made a really hard one. That's really old, so a lot of stuff's outdated. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. That was fun. Thank you for sharing with me. <laughs> Thanks the for sharing the crossword, Ray. Hope you have yeah, show shows more, I guess. Oh, she's uh, singing. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess uh, if no one has any last things or comments to add, then we're good. Uh, we'll all be back here in about. Well, actually, I don't know if we'll see you, so you may be playing. I don't know if you want to like try to catch up to YBY, but feel uh, free to come I'm in. Be... If you are mostly playing tomorrow but i mean like i don't know i might hop in for like 30 minutes you know yes if you're free feel free to come in we like your insight uh and then the rest the rest of us will just be here at nine tomorrow uh which is for those of you watching not in our time zone 9 p.m right now is in 21 hours wow cool all right see you guys okay. tomorrow thanks everybody. peace see you guys peace. Tomorrow. See ya. yeah all right guys long ass stream today hope you guys uh had fun i think it was fun watch parties are interesting uh it's a different vibe it's a different vibe than uh when i'm co-streaming obviously with uh some other players box box is a really interesting character for sure i enjoy uh talking to him what's the kaisa tech you can go to tftacademy.com tftacademy.com and it is uh in the top a tier uh i'll link it to you there's elements of it that we haven't really covered, but I'll uh, I'll update it a little bit more. All right, I'm going to send you guys off to Dish Soap. Have a good night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow.
Thanks for hanging out.